you only pass through this life once. When you get old, all you're gonna have left is an A. So make it good. No fault. I done doubled up on the workload. I think I fell in love with the bankroll. Pray up, get money, then we lay low. Then we lay low. Yeah, I mean, they do, but they haven't had them connected for over a year. Because there's no power to the tables. They're just sitting in the corner, man. Hello, hello, hello. David Tuckman here from the fabulous Hustler Casino, seven miles from the beach. Welcome to Hustler Casino Live. I'll be joined a bit later by the great Norman Chad. David Tuckman here for the next five hours, and we hope you enjoy it. What a lineup we have for you tonight. We'll take a look at who we have in a little while. Should be a good one here at the Hustler Casino in Los Angeles, seven miles from the beach. We'll be joined by the great Norman Chad in a few minutes. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. I don't think so, because this is, there's no power here. Players currently making dinner plans for tomorrow night. The nine have decided to all dine together. Now, TGI Fridays, unusual, because tomorrow is Thursday. But to each their own. The gentlemen will have to take off their hats unless they're sitting at the bar at TGI Fridays. David Tuckman here for Hustler Casino Live. Hope you join us for the big game on Friday, always the biggest game in town. We are at Hustler Casino, seven miles from the beach here in Los Angeles. Joined by nine of the finest. Hope you enjoy Mariano and Fat Duck and Rocky and Cowboy John and Barry and Antonius and Darren and BTS Nate and Eric C tonight. Along with a cast of dealers. These are not actual dealers. We hired them from a temp store in Hollywood. We are here in Los Angeles, seven miles from the beach at the Hustler Casino. The game is No Limit Hold'em. Five, five, and ten. Sometimes we have technical problems and sometimes we just forget to plug in something into an outlet. I will be joined by the great Norman Chad in a few minutes. I am David Tuckman, and we are shuffling up and dealing here for hand number one. Should be good. Fabulous wings here at the Hustler Casino, seven miles from the beach. Hey, David. How are you? Good to be here. I was just uh, I was just learning the rule of the game. We're playing No Limit Hold'em, right? I'm Norman Chad. Nice to join you. Actually, you know, you sound more like, uh, I know you, you're Tuck. <laughs> I'm Norman Chad. Here we go. Yeah, I uh, apologize for the technical difficulties right at the start of the show. Sometimes, as the great Norman Chad says, sometimes you, you just got to remember to plug in the device. <laughs> That's all it is. Uh, we are playing 5 5 10. The buy in for this game is uh, 1,000 to 3,000. This is our smallest game of the week. And uh, we have a game We have a game like this on the floor as well, mirroring this. I was actually playing in this game before the show started today. There was an open seat and they filled it with you in a hurry, right? Oh, yeah. And did they get what they wished for? Uh, I don't think so. I think they wanted to be in the game for longer. But uh, commentary called, so I was only here for... Uh, I got to play with them for about an hour and a half. They're in college. They don't get their allowance is tuition. But no complaints. Uh, okay. uh, some of the usual suspects you might recognize. Barry, of course, is seat number five. Cowboy John, still recovering from that surgery to his arm. Did you hear about the story? 
about Cowboy John's arm. Actually, last time I was here, we had Cowboy John, and you told me the story. Yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing. And he was here like the day after, it seemed. Or it, was, it was incredible. Yeah. Uh, Mariano with the check mark. Bottom left corner of your screen, you'll see all the graphics there. Barry just in, uh, in pure bluff mode. 300. He just bombs 300. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, I didn't hold my 10, my 10 7. First thought, huh? Your 10 7. I have <laughs> noticed that, was that there are times yeah. where you see players, Norman. Three and of course, Norman Chad, David Tuckman here. Thank you for joining us here. Hustle Casino Live playing 5 5 10. I have noticed that sometimes there are players who come to the casino and they're like, I'm going to play my A game today. And then there are other nights where you come to the casino and you're like, I, I want to gamble. They're just in a gambling mood, and Barry strikes me. I feel like he's in a gambling mood tonight. But does Barry have a wide range on, I'm going to play my A game, and or I'm in a gambling mood? So I think so. I mean, okay. I have a small sample size. We've only seen him on the show you know, three or four times. But I just, uh, from a live poker's perspective, from a live poker player's perspective, I, I pride myself on being able to read players that like that. Yeah. Some guys sometimes just want to gamble, and you're like, OK, you want to gamble? Let's gamble. Thank they, you for they might be gambling without. I watched the PLO on Monday, and uh, they were having shots of a lot. They had a lot of alcohol at the table, and they seem to be in a gambling mood since it seemed like any four cards would play. Uh, I don't know if any two are going to play tonight. Oh, okay. I'm a big fan of sports, like even, even stuff that I don't really have a team. You know? Fat Basketball duck in the cutoff seat. We'll, uh, we'll learn a little bit more about these no, players man. as we no, go I, forward. I played soccer growing up, oh, okay. but uh, I know it's like criminal to like some sports without having a team, you know? <laughs> it's, it's like borderline embarrassing. I would say if you didn't play, it's a little bit different, I yeah. guess. I don't know. Yeah. I, like, like soccer, I never played, so I don't have, I'm like not really partial to soccer. No, sure. I just don't understand. Yeah. Like, I, yeah, I, I understand that. it, but it's yeah. not like I fall asleep uh, watching it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> On TV anyway. I imagine Cowboy John to put a little value bet out there. Not a lot, not a yeah, huge I mean, pop, like, but he's 120 into 175. Fuck, I just like <laughs> watching people that are really good at what they do. You know what okay. I mean? So like, I'll even watch like a, I don't know shit about surfing, for example. I could watch like a surfing competition just because like it's just incredible to me. You know? Yeah. Oh, man. Surfing Surfing's all politics. Uh, the sure. rankings, yeah. everything in surfing yeah. is politics. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Mariano mentioned that he loves watching surfing just for the competition, but he doesn't realize. I don't say it's rigged, but it's who you know. You can shout out the 20 if you want. Yeah, those of you who don't know, Norman Chad actually was an up-and-coming surfer when he first moved out to L.A. It looked like you might have, you know, it might, might be your calling, but... As you said, um, nepto nepotism, politics, all that. Yeah, it's, 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 it, you know, it's, it's, it's almost like the surfing royalty. There's Kennedys and Rockefellers in surfing. I was doing pretty good. I got a paper cut one day, and they sign line. You don't sign line somebody in, pay in surfing for a paper cut. You can still surf with a paper cut. But they put me onto the DL because they didn't want me to be on the lineup. But they're by themselves? Yeah, they're by themselves. <laughs> I went to uh, Spain okay, that's three weeks ago and I played in no, it's not rolling. It's different like casinos in three different countries. Uh, I don't know what it's oh. called, dude, but <laughs> something like that. And that's not why like, I went. I King High Flop here. Two players uh, open in, did uh, Fat Duck like and Antonius. Really? That is not Patrick really? Antonius, yeah, for those of you wondering. Everyone with a piece of the flop, maybe everyone will come along. I certainly don't think Barry's going to go anywhere just yet with top pair. England or whatever play. So nothing like you. I won every time again. I didn't go to Portugal because the 5-5 five was the biggest thing to play. I want to welcome all of you to Hustler Casino Live. Monday through Friday, we are here. Tonight's our smallest game of the week. Which is why we bring in the smallest people. Myself, of course. Thank you, Chad. Just call the cards. That was a big turn card for Barry. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't change a ton, to be honest. Uh, okay, did it not change the equity in the hand? How does it not change a ton? Well, I mean, if he was ahead on the flop, he's ahead now. If he was behind in the flop, he's behind now. Yeah, like, exactly. Thank you, Dr. Phil. I mean, it, it, it's better in the sense that maybe he can get some value from a queen. Can't, let it go. 
Because uh, I, I, I guess if you think face. about it, like yeah. in the big picture, right, thousands of dollars, John, dollars, dollars like probably worth millions. Oh yeah, no, yeah, yeah. It's just one of those. Uh, I mean, no limit hold them. I think in poker a lot, but in no limit hold them, you have a lot of these way ahead, way behind situations. If King Eight was the best hand on that flop, what did the King change? I mean, yes, in theory, one of your opponents could have had Queen Deuce. Yes, but that's very unlikely. Thanks. Across the board. There's a guy for that. Nefarious says, I'm here for Chad. I'm here for Chad. Pretty funny, actually. If you can look over Barry's shoulder, you can see me. That's yeah, me. Oh, yeah. With the black hat. You were playing, uh, were you playing this exact game? Or? This exact game. So wow. Hustler has done a pretty good job. Hustler Casino, I, I shout out to, you know, the uh, uh, the management here. They've done a great job. And what they try to do is they're trying to mirror the games that are on Hustler Casino Live. So if somebody gets knocked out, somebody wants to go home, we have replacement players. And if you want to play in the show, that's probably the best way for you to do it. Come to Hustler Casino, play a lot. And then when there's an opening, maybe we can slide you in there. Well, I prefer, I actually prefer when you're out at that other 5-5 table instead of in here. You have a mask on out there, right? I, I did. And it does, I don't know if it's mute you, but it's harder to hear you, right? It's way harder to hear me, yeah. Okay. Uh, top and bottom pair here for Cowboy John. All spades. Barry with bottom pair. Imagine this will just go bet fold. Let's see how much, how much does Barry want to gamble? Not that much. <laughs> People were very impressed with your uh, your, your voice changing skills. <laughs> My voice changing skills. Yeah, I thought your hello, hello, hello was. Oh, did, I, I don't think I sounded exactly like you. I don't do impersonations, but I had your energy. Really? Uh, and I use some of the expressions I've heard you use. That's crazy. You have a shuffler? Yeah, so we were short. I couldn't tell you. Yeah, you, you have the energy, you have the enthusiasm. I'm here to tamp down your energy and tamp down the enthusiasm. <laughs> now, you'll see uh, above Barry's head, there's a player on my left named Abo, who's wearing a mask, uh, an older gentleman. And I was talking to him and telling him that I was about to do commentary with the great Norman Chad. He goes, oh, wow, how lucky you. He goes, maybe you can learn something from Norman. And the entire table just burst out laughing, <laughs> as if I could ever learn something from you. <laughs> That's really funny. That's really funny. OK, why don't you just handle the flop turn and river, and I'll take care of the rest. <laughs> If you are just joining us, yellow chips are five dollars, purple chips are twenty-five, and the white chips are one hundred. Playing five, five, ten. Buy-in is one thousand to three thousand. So she'll take the money we owe. Oh, hundred. You see, Rocky in seat one just came from a photosynthesis convention. Like never. <laughs> was that 145? Ken Wynn in the chat asking if Norman Chad is in the Poker Hall of Fame. No, but he is in the Sizzlers Hall of Fame. You know, it's actually, that's another one that's almost politics. You just got to buy a lot of meals there, and the more money you spend, you get onto the wall. <laughs> But the, uh, Do you have actually a serious question as we joke around here? Looks like we've got a a bet by Cowboy John. This, by the way, is a bomb pot. It must be. For those of you wondering why 9-3 and 7-5 and all these other hands are in there. Bomb pot. If you're new to bomb pots, we, uh, everybody gets cards. <laughs> we put money in the pot. And then there's no action pre-flop. All the action is post-flop. And this one is gonna put in your block. What? This one is gonna put in your block. 275. This is a tough spot here for Cowboy John. Yeah. <laughs> I'm okay, actually. <laughs> See if Darren tries to represent the four. He's gonna give a shot. Oh, I missed. Cowboy oh, John just smacked. He just snap calls. I missed. Nope. Okay, so in all seriousness, Norman, how many restaurants, I feel like this is a good Laden Things question, but how many restaurants 
Do you have your 8x10 up in the wall? Like signed 8x10? Do I have a signed 8x10 up ten by on the wall? Yeah, you know, like a, like a photo. You know how sometimes, especially yeah. in LA, if you go into a, you can go into a, a dry cleaner, a restaurant, a bathroom, and you'll see actors' eight by ten photos up on the wall signed. How many establishments? That's an interesting question. It sounds like an absurd question to me, but I do have an answer. I do have an answer for that. And I just, because I just did one. They haven't put it up on the wall yet. I did one in Inglewood. Oh. Sunday Gravy, a great Italian restaurant run by a, a brother and sister. Awesome. Yeah. Nice family restaurant. So that was the third one I'd ever done, and the other two were back east. And one of them is in a famous restaurant, but we can't. We, it's hard to find it. We, I've had my brother go back there, and we can't. He can't find it. He looked. He looked. He looked near both bathrooms and in both bathrooms, but it's Katz's Deli in New York, and they asked me for one. I like it. I like it. We got a raise here from Barry with Ace Jack of Diamonds. Eric's going to make this call. Pot is 170, heads up. And there's a set of threes for Eric. Fortunately for Barry, he doesn't have much of anything, so even if he is in the gambling mood, hard to lose a lot of money on this one. And Eric's going to lead right into Barry. Barry's not a believer. He makes the call. Well, you have it. Are you close with like all the other players? That Barry's going to continue here, and I like, imagine like the hand is over. Bitter, and it is. Yeah. Seems like you play a lot in the, in the stream, so. I bring this up, so I was just watching yeah, Ted Lasso, well. the most, one of the most recent episodes. Of what? Ted Lasso. Yes. Great show. If anybody, if, you, if you're not watching Ted Lasso, watch it. Thank me later. It's a, a very well done show. You can skip the Christmas show. That was garbage. Yeah. But besides that one, the rest of them have been really good. Anyway, you're living the dream. One of the um, the uh, the gruff retired soccer player, Roy Kent. Roy Kent goes into uh, to a place to get uh, you know some food. And sure. the guy has the his too. picture up on the wall. And Roy oh, Kent goes, you know, take the effing uh -oh. picture down unless I get free food. If I'm being charged, I want my picture down. Now. That sounds like Roy Kent. Right. Uh, I, I thought the same thing. Do you get free food yeah. when you walk into these establishments? No, they uh, actually go the other way. They <laughs> charge you more? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like I paid for the picture. So it's you like know, a Hollywood star. you got to pay for your you star. you have to pay for your Hawaiian payment. Actually, you know, one of the famous restaurants in the world, uh, The Palm, uh, Steakhouse, which does pictures up on the wall. Most of those, and there are a lot of celebrities, but most of those, I was kidding about Sizzler, but you, if you are a longtime patron and go over a certain amount, like you've spent $100,000 in lunches, they'll put your picture up on the wall. You, you pay to get your way onto the wall of the, the Palm Steakhouse. And then did you, uh, so, if not, so if you're not a celebrity and this is one of your life goals, yeah. there is a way to do it. There is, in each city. Like Las Vegas does Las Vegas people, DC does DC people, and so on and so forth. Now, I know Hollywood stars. My ex-mother-in-law, I was, was going to do this. I mean, anyway, I know that, that the Hollywood stars are actually paid for by the families. Well, yeah, essentially, you have to pay for the costs of it all. Yes, they, they, it's, it costs up to like twenty five or 30000 Yes, you do. The question I have is if you're willing to make a donation, I got two can you get your name on that? Can you get a star in regardless? Uh, like, can Norman Chad get a broadcasting star? Don't, don't bring me up. Uh, I think... I think I think I don't know the answer to that, but I think it's pretty open-ended that almost anybody can. You know, they've got a they they have somebody who decides, but I think you can get on there. I mean, if you're uh, if you're somehow loosely in the entertainment world, yeah. If you live in L.A., you're somehow loosely in. You're in. They're fairly new. I feel like we're playing five five ten. <laughs> I want to thank you all for joining us here. I'm Hustle Casino Live, Norman Chad, no David Tuckman, calling the action. <laughs> I think that was, I think that was yeah. for me. <laughs> Friday night, <laughs> big game, Norman. This Friday night at Hustler. Yeah, huge game. Is it huger than huge? Or it's always huge. No, but it's the it's it's the big, big. It's the big, big, big game. Yeah, it's Garrett, Andy, God. Oh. Oh. Yeah, and we're talking about it's the game that's going to have a million dollars on the table. Like that kind of game. Okay. I've always thought it was cool, like so the that's technology behind the table, where they no, yeah. know exactly how much you That'll have. That'll be Friday, 5 p.m. Well, Pacific time. I just had to tell them. Well, if you lose a pod, do they, do they watch oh, no, that no, all they the time? Absolutely. So they'll capture exactly where you're at. 
Have you seen it? Not much going on in this yeah. game. A lot of bet and fold and bet and take it. Yeah, I did. Cowboy John well, betting a pair of nines here. How many hands you play? Doesn't get any yeah. action. Yeah. 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 But then I'm saying that part's manual though, right? Meaning yep. like the player has to. Oh no, no, they're, they're someone spec- up there doing all they're, that. They're, they're, exactly. They have a big crew. Yeah. 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 Pretty professional. Yeah. If you watch another live stream, man, it's. So poor. It's better angle yeah. than left or right. Compared to this. Right. Yeah. Angles are good. The bit, like the quality, the pressure. Is good. So, what do you know about some of these players, Norman? Well, you know, not much. I obviously, have, I don't play no limit, so I don't uh, know any of them personally. Uh, I did watch some vlogs by Mariano in C2 there with the glasses. He's got nearly 70,000 subscribers. Uh, so I watched a couple of his vlogs. They were, they were you know, pretty interesting. But his, his math is bad. He just did a vlog from Bellagio. Tell me this. He played a cash game with Bellagio, a 510. At the end, he says, I was in for 1,600. And I won 4,500 bucks. Okay. And on the screen, it puts in 1,600, out 6,304. In 1600, out 6304. On the screen before he says, I won 4500 bucks. Well, again, poker's not my strength, but I'm pretty good at math. So Mariano right there, off by $200. 204. I'm giving the just, you know, he's, he's just rounding it off. Right. So that, I marked him down there. Uh, and I, I want to ask him, I want to make sure he didn't go to the University of Maryland, because that's embarrassing. Uh, so he's wrong on that. I knew I was going to be the problem child. Maryland's the uh, Terrapins. <laughs> The Terps are the Terrapins. No reason to talk about that. <laughs> Barry's four bet here with Ace King gets through. Fat Duck lets it go. That is Fat Duck with the uh, uh, the hat in the top left corner is green. So I can only describe that as the hat. Yeah. There's other hats here, but that's the hat. I mean, we even have a cowboy hat in here, no, but that is a combination of fishing cap, walking cap, English walking cap, plus the mask, the hoodie. He has no skin. That sees any daylight <laughs> all day long. Did you? Oh man, I no, saw somebody no. was so saying some nasty again, shit. That what the yeah. guy was like, "Yeah, come over here for an interview in the back." <laughs> oh no, that show the hell with like, me. We want to talk to you. <laughs> like, oh, I noticed on the table yeah, back there, uh, Tuck, you still have chips. At the yeah, five, five. it was an amazing thing. I mean. The best thing for me is the fact oh, that sorry, I can only guys. play for about an Take hour and 20 minutes. Oh, so it was uh, not quite enough time for me to blow through all my chips. <laughs> Very excited. So did you hit and run or were you hit and run? Uh, I, I hit and run, but I did let everybody know when I sat down. I was like, whether I'm up or down, I have to leave at, you know, in 51 minutes. Okay. I don't like the way you throw your bed out, bro. But, um, <laughs> Yeah, I won three hundred and six dollars. Three hundred dollars. No, three hundred and six. Okay, okay, okay. See, just like with the sixteen oh four, four oh four, it's three hundred bucks. The six. Yes. Yeah. Uh, maybe for somebody as wealthy as you, you know, you don't care about the six dollars. You don't care about you just round up to hundred. I'm a simple guy. Okay. Six dollars means a lot to me. Okay. I, I have not. A, you know, trust me, I'm, I'm not as wealthy as you think. <laughs> Mariano with the three bet here. I don't even go to 7-Eleven without a group on. Interesting uh, flop here. So BTS Nate called the three bet. Flops open ended with the 9-10. Mariano, if you're three betting with ace-five of clubs and you get called, this is not a bad flop at all for your hand. And you can see here Mariano about a two to one favor to win this, but we will almost definitely see a turn and possibly a river. There's a bet, there's a call, pot's 585. Oh, what a card. Three bet pot, hard to put your opponent on the flush. And it is the nut flush up against what is the nut straight. And the flush still beats the straight, right? Yes, yes, nothing has changed from that. Flushes will beat straights in this game. And I, I, I mean, I don't know how, if you're Nate, you get away from it, really. Um, I mean, it's a three bet pot, so you feel like I'm losing to what? Ace King of Clubs, Ace Jack of Clubs, you know. Just not many hands I'm losing to. Even more so, the fact that the queen is a club, yep. that takes away some of the possibilities that, you know, some of the combinations. No, I like it. I mean, 
I'd look like a fool. Right? <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, this is a cooler situation. There's a call. Pot is nearly two thousand dollars. Get a zoom in. Right, I got a. I need a toothpick. Yeah. Or, no, just go ahead. Like no, no. Uh, no, go like this. Mm -hmm. like oh, here, yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. Now the only oh, thing interesting about that river card <laughs> is like Nate's going to have a lot of queens yeah. in his range, and if Mariano were to bet again, like, he does around. tell the story they, that he doesn't have aces or kings <laughs> anymore. <laughs> Yeah, I know I got a big head. Yeah. When yeah. I go get haircuts, I got to get Nate's going to check. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are messing up the camera angle. Sorry, Mariano will yeah. oh, essentially move all in, I would imagine. Oh, we're being social. All in. There it is. All in. They said they're being social. So Mariano does move all in. Yeah. Got you covered, Nate. <laughs> Easily. I think Nate has more though than the um, the graphic indicates. The graphic says 1370, but I can see probably a thousand in whites. So he definitely has more than 1370. You're right. 2475. Sorry. Hold on. I'll do that right now. So he he clearly added on. Can't be 2475. Sorry. Is it really 24? It's covered. Start with three, right? Yes, it's 2,475. Oh, okay, okay. If you want a pot. Got it, got it. You got about two. You covered, yeah. 2475? That's correct. 2475 is exactly. Looks like Nate's got about, I'm going to guess here, looks like 15, say about 1850, maybe 1900. So the pot's about 4,000, 2,000 to call, getting two to one. Two to one. It's a, it's a tough lay down. I, I think so. I, I just think you're, I, I, don't, I don't think I'm laying this down. <laughs> it is alarming that he's still betting when the queen pairs, because that should scare off, like, you know, if you had aces, if you had kings, probably not betting those hands anymore, certainly not that sizing. He's telling the story that he's got a full house, a flush, or better. You know, that's the that's 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 what he's trying to tell the story. And sure enough, obviously, we can see he does have that. But I'm still calling here and losing. I think so. I mean, you've got to be fairly certain that your opponent just doesn't bluff very often, <laughs> and. This would be uh, an exploitable fold, for sure. Nate is in the tank here. He's got the straight. This is a three-bet pot, pre-flop, so very difficult. Sorry, guys, but 30 seconds or so. I'm worried about the or so. We'll give you 30. The Friday show, by the way, we have uh, the players have a, a, a clock. You get 30 seconds tacked on your hand, and you get some time chips. Sometimes people want someone to call a clock. Do you want me to call a clock so you can make a decision? Yeah, I'll make a decision soon, really soon. Yeah. I, I, I yeah. Yeah. Maybe don't talk to him so he can actually think about it. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> clock. Well, they have called the clock. What, is it like a minute do I get with the clock? Floor's on the way, don't yep. Lauren, by the way, is uh, dealing. She is an amazing dealer. Just no doubt. Great dealer. Lauren? Yeah. She's very, very good at, at what she does. I'm always the bad guy, bro. You voted for me? Yeah. <laughs> We'll play Norman Chad. I'll remember that. Right? <laughs> <laughs> One minute, right? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I, on uh, two of the blogs I watched, I saw Mariano pull off really a couple of really nice bluffs, but they started with check raises on the turn, 
a very different hand. Let me know without 20 seconds. Yeah, there are a couple of people in the, in the chat that are saying Mariano does not bluff much at all. That I mean, like I said, you've got to really know your opponent doesn't bluff a lot to make this kind of fold, I think. I mean, I've made some huge folds in my life, and I think you can do it, but you've really got to know. There's the call. I don't mind. I don't blind him at all. Not blush. Yep. I mean, remember also, I mean, when you're getting two to one, I mean, I don't think people wrap their head around this. When you're getting two to one or slightly more than two to one, you just don't need to be, you don't need to win the hand that often to make it a profitable call. Correct. You know? All right, guys, I'm going to include a mandatory decent tip here when we win a good hand. 3,000. Yep. So Mariano, the poker blogger. Yeah, but I, in real life, again, his math is bad. Uh, we were together today at LA Fitness, and he did not wipe off his equipment after he was done, uh, which bothered me. I only go once a week. I don't, I'm out naturally. I have deceptive upper body strength, so I don't have to go that often. But I was, he's in town. He's, he's not from here, and I didn't like the fact he didn't wipe off the equipment. You are one of the, well, you're one of the guys people hate. You know, somebody who doesn't work out, doesn't really take care of their body, but it's just naturally Thank you. Adonis. Like, yeah. Uh, as I've been told many times, like the Sinatra, you know, women want to be with me and men want to be me. And uh, I feel bad because it just comes naturally. You are watching 5 5 10 here at Hustler Casino Live. Contrary to what? My partner said earlier, Hustler Casino is eight miles from the beach. Oh, oh was I wrong? I said seven. I said seven, I think, more than once. <laughs> so people drive, and they only drive seven miles, and they go, where the heck is the beach? They're going to blame me. They're going to they're exactly, they're head home. They're going to be pissed as hell. That son of a bitch told me it was seven miles from the <laughs> casino. Where is it? <laughs> Take your time, Tex. Nate has rebought for 3,000. Again, the buy-in for this game is 1,000 to 3,000. That was a raise, right? 1,000? 40. Nate's going to raise under the gun to 40. Mariano, he wants more of it. I'll give you purple. You want purple? You don't have much. I think that Mariano with three bet here, we're just trying to figure it out. I don't like it. Yeah, he did. So Mariano, after three betting and winning a huge pot against Nate with ace five of clubs, he's going to do it this time with king queen of clubs. And uh, round two. But Nate's got the flush draw this time. It's the draw, not the flush, though. So is BTS Knight a big BTS fan? We don't know. Which certainly four makes sense. Yep. So a bet of 65 from Mariano, a down bet there, and then a check raise from Nate. And Nate is going to win that one. Let's see. Everything's back to normal. One and one, right? They should be both be happy. I still need, I still need uh, break I, it, so. Okay, let me do some math for you on the pots. I don't need to do that for you. <laughs> no, I just want whites. Steve, Nate wants to break his down. Uh, I can do it if, if you want to. Very polite. By the way, you know, I'm concerned with how people conduct themselves at the table. This is a classy group. They even dress pretty well. And I like that uh, BTS Nate's wearing the, the night sports coat with a very sharp white T-shirt. That's a really nice T-shirt we have on Mariano. I don't know about Rocky and C1. No, you don't. So that's not a gold chain. That is a gold chain... Uh, on the shirt, right? Yeah, I agree. I think it is. Okay. Of course. I don't think many people can pull that off. Uh, he's not pulling it off either. No, they can't. <laughs> cowboy John picks up red, two red queens. And he can pull off the cowboy hat, especially when your name's Cowboy John. Oh, look at this. Blind on blind. Two big pairs. Now, Darren already tried to bluff Cowboy John, so these players have some history. Raise. There's the raise. Yeah. yeah. Hold my money back. Yeah, you do. Darren, longtime friend of Nick Bertucci. So we should expect some bad play. 305. 305 total. K 
Cowboy John just calls. Oh, how about top set here? Well, he's going to get his money back. And then some, maybe. Three fifty. Three fifty. See how Cowboy John breaks this down. Cowboy John, nice guy, not the sharpest tool in the shed. He still has his watch on and has left arm under the cast. Yeah, we have had a couple of coolers already. Nice, uh, nice card that doesn't really help anything, and Darren is just going for it. Cowboy John quickly makes the call. Pot is 3,300. I mean, if you've got Queens, you can't. All in. Oh, all in. there's the all in. Damn it. Damn it. Whew. See, there goes my chips again. <laughs> Very slippery, right? <laughs> Set or what? I beat everything out there. 1345. Well, not if you beat everything out there. <laughs> I'm really strong. 1345 call. I got a set. I'm going to pay him out of my pocket. Mm -hmm. 1345. Okay. So Big John's gonna pay out of his pocket. So at 1345 to see. I've never, I've never seen the pay out of the pocket move. Bill Klein did it a couple of weeks ago on a Friday show, just to avoid basically. No, I'm gonna pay a thousand on my pocket. You know, basically avoid giving all their small chips, and then then you have to go get change. Go get it. Okay. It actually saves a lot of time. Oh, it does. I just never thought of it before. There's a lot of things I never thought of before. Thank you. Probably not that common in the limit games you play. In. Is that how you do it? Obviously, like, never happens. You know, but, uh, why don't you stop laughing? I'm told to call the flop, turn, and river, and I'll handle the color. You got me to call. Throw through traffic to get this shit. I'm a much better actor hey, than whoa, poker whoa, whoa. player. It's a family show. Oh, I do apologize. It's all right. Throw through traffic to get this tuck. <laughs> Is that one and the same? Great flop. Thanks. I'll be starting with 3,000. Okay. Yeah, and there are some hands, and we've seen a couple of them already, where very, very difficult not to lose a lot of money. I mean, three bet pots, a straight against a flush. The only way you weren't going to lose money on that one was if you folded the 10-9 offsuit. Mm -hmm. And then there, queens and queens versus tens, small blind, big blind. Just, um, you know, there are nights like that where it's more a matter of... Uh, you know, can you lose less than you oh, you're, line too, right? lose lose the minimum? I should say. Uh, Rocky doing the old limp re-raise apparently, and it looks like he's probably going to get the opportunity as Eric has raised 75. Yeah, he gets exactly what he wants. There are few plays in poker that I hate more than the limp re-raise. There are situations where it's effective and it right. should be utilized. They are very few and far between. So you think it's overused, uh, the limp re-raise? Oh. Without question. Without a question. I'll buy you another one later. <laughs> Wait, is it 25 or 75? Anybody else want to Oh, I think that puts 275. Or is it 225? Can you stop Sure. Okay. Now, okay, it's good. Okay. now let's Thank say you. there's a situation oh, okay. where there's oh, a, cool. you know, a guy who's blind raising all the time, and mm -hmm. <laughs> like I said, there are certainly situations that you can imagine up, imagine that call for a limp re-raise. But I think in most typical poker games, it's uh, a, prayer, a fairly uh, ineffective play. So the limp re-raiser, the, the play you would make instead of being a limp re-raiser, just, just is to raise. simply raise right there just, and just open. Okay. Oh wow, what a turn card. What a turn card for Eric. He's actually picks up some outs. He was drawing really, really thin. Um, I mean he still only has twenty percent equity, but it went from zero equity basically to you can now catch a queen or a club. As we can see, it cannot be the ace of clubs. He, he was drawing, he was drawing essentially my second honeymoon. And now he's drawing to some real possible intimate relationship activity. Yeah, 
This is kind of a, a bit of a kamikaze effort by Eric. Take another the line, please. Think of cocktail time. Not much, just. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, if you're Rocky here, just let's get it in. Yeah. You just get it in. I mean, how... You got me, you got me. If you're Eric and you actually decided to con make a continuation bet on the turn with the nine of clubs coming off, you can't fold. Yeah, about twice? Yeah, it's fine. Twice? Okay. Yeah. Eric's looking for a club or a queen. That's not one. That is not one either. Aces are good. And as I say, limping and then re-raising is the best play you could ever make, okay? It's brilliant. That's how you get the chips. You got max value there. Uh, you make a very good point. I'm writing that one down. <laughs> you giving away my money already? So the buy-in of this game is only 1,000 to 3,000. You want such? But it feels like every other hand we're getting it all in and a felt. You approve? So we should have a lot of money to the table pretty soon. That's all I wanted. I just wanted your approval. No one else's. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Oh, sugar, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So are we doing a bomb pot on the dealer team? Yeah, we did that one early because we didn't even start. So Jared in the box now? Jared and Lauren go back and forth. Both of them are great dealers. They're going to do a bomb pot, I believe. Perfect. Thank you. You're going to do a bomb pot? I have to. I want it. If you want a bomb pot, then you can't man. Yeah. My only problem, Lauren, and off grid doofus brought this up earlier, is that Southpaw, he says Southpaw dealers tilt him. This is where I'm left handed, I have no superstitions. But when I get a left handed dealer at a table and I'm just running bad, I just don't want the left handed dealer for no reason. And so I, I, it's, it's a weird thing. You're just used to right handed dealers and you get a left handed one. If you're bothered by anything, that bothers you further, which is stupid. My bad. Okay, going back. And this is, by the way, Lauren. Oh, who was starstruck when she saw you? Asked you to asked you yeah. to sign her shirt, take yes. a picture with me, yes. and now you're going to call her out for being left-handed. Something she could, had no control over. I have no control over either. I'm just saying that it's something that will tilt me. So I apologize to Lauren. You know, I'm going to say something about Jared that I don't mean to insult him, but it's going to come up. And Jared's a good dealer. <laughs> I'm not going to say something right now. I'm just saying during the half hour or 40 minutes that he's dealing, something's going to come up, and I'm going to say something about him that you might, you know, not take in the kindest way. Fair enough, fair enough. Get a bet here from Eric with a pair of fives and a gut shot. Rocky calls. I thought Rocky called. I believe Rocky is in there with a six. Cowboy John also has a six. Barry's in there with a deuce. Yeah, I know, but I don't want to start scooting them towards you, then you think they're yours. I might miss that. I already sort of think Your turn is a nine. I might be like that. We do not know what uh, what, what Antonius has. Backdoor diamond has got there. That is Eric, who just lost the big pot. <laughs> what a live thing, by the way. Oh God, the guy just loses like a monster pot, yeah. and then he's putting a ton of chips that. in the pot, and I have something good. Like I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not making big folds to the guy who just lost a big pot. Now that's <laughs> almost <laughs> rational, <laughs> almost <laughs> logical. <laughs> if Eric picked up, you know, if Eric flopped it, if he had 3-4 here, i just go, okay, you earned it. Well done, you. We don't know what Antonios has here. So I'll put you on the spot. What is the worst hand you would call with, Norman? What's the worst hand I would call if I was uh, Antonius? Yeah. Uh, the worst hand I would call with is uh, Just a pair of five. next to bottom pair, pair, of five. Five. pair of fives, <laughs> which is what Eric has. He has looks like nine fives. So he had two pair. <laughs> oh, barely. Good old Dolly Parton. Better on the front, better on the turn with the Dolly Parton. 
I had oh, half his hand right. No, 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 that's what I was kind of surprised. I'm like, no, no, I have the top hair on the floor. Turn it to Barry said. He, he raises, he falls down. What are you doing the river, though? It's tough, right? The river, yeah. No, I like this One shot uh, because uh, you can play tic tac toe on Jared's yeah. back of his head <laughs> with a Sharpie. Yeah. Well, I'm actually surprised he hasn't asked you to sign his head. We didn't run into each other. And plus, you, you know, Sharpies are, you know, they, they are permanent markers, but in a the shower, they eventually come off. I found out seven years ago. True story. Ron Jeremy, yes, that Ron Jeremy, actually signed my wife, we weren't married at the time, my wife's breast with a Sharpie. I, I can't even, I don't even know where to start in wanting you to just dial back and give me any detail you have of how this would have occurred, where they were. I, 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 I mean, at some point, on a, you know, better surrounding, we can tell the whole story. Okay. But my goodness, though, that's yeah. that's quite a tease to the whole story, though, yeah, right? Yeah. lost her whole stag and like, but I mean, she'll confirm though. And this is the important part of the story. Ron Jeremy, my wife's breast. That is not the important part of the story. The important part of the story, and I hope you're taking notes, is that the sharpies do come off in the shower. Oh, that's what you. I was talking about that, and she can confirm that. That's good. <laughs> Nate picks up a pair of kings on the river and wins that. I thought she had uh, gotten the uh, signature from him in some type of barter exchange. It's like she had to give him something she had that he wanted wherever they were. But no, she, he just was nice enough to do that. Okay. Yes, he was nice enough. Absolutely, yeah. He's a giver. Ron Jeremy is a giver. We know that. Are we starting it right now? Yeah, yeah we'll okay. do two rounds then. We'll just, okay. Every oh, hour we'll do a couple rounds. Yeah, or a couple rounds. 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or whatever. <laughs> Cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, not enough. I think we already said that. Oh, that's not the round. Nate picks up kings. Yeah. Barry with I'll the raise to 120. That's a very big raise, by I mean, the way. I'll buy a round of shots <laughs> for 385. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Rocky with ace queen in the muck. Trust me. John's getting all this back. What, 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 is, what is it going to be? John's going to buy a new horse period. before this. I'm not a big Laker drinker. So what yeah, is it going to be? Yeah, I'm right there with like some people. Back over to Barry. 265 to call. Something simple. He makes the call. Ten high flop. Barry's going to be in a lot of trouble. Not real strong. All right, all right, let's, I can do fireball, I guess. Fireball? Fireball. Yeah, I can do that. What are we, a bunch of girls? Yeah, yeah we can exactly. do tequila. I can do tequila, yeah. too. As long as I get a lime, we're good. Okay. Are we doing shots of tequila and fireball? As long as it's not Jose Fireball, you're good. Get whatever you want. You sure? 1942? Yeah, 1942. Oh, you seen a ceremony over there. Oh, gotcha. Nothing going Barry's way here. I think you guys probably all seen And he is all in. Barry with the full gamble. Wow. Oh, what are you drinking? Oh, <laughs> you're paying yeah. for it. You're good, I guess. Kings, right? Was I read right that I thought Barry was in the gambling mood tonight? Uh, you are absolutely correct. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That that push almost threw me off my chair. Thank you, thank you. Give my phone, man. Give my ass out of here. And it sounds like Barry is going to call it a night. I guess you just know when you don't have it. Good play with you, bud. All right. right. You guys have a good day. <laughs> Barry, don't forget your glasses. Pleasure meeting you, Barry. Glasses. Yeah, glasses. Over. Over. That is a world-class punt. That is what they call a punt. I, 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 I There's only oh, just gonna say, that's me. 45 minutes into play. I, I don't get it, but we get Bearjew in there. Bearjew wearing the Lucky Brand shirt. Bearjew, uh, by the way, up to $306 I won. 130 of that was bear juice. Right, very nice. Which I'm very happy with. You know what, we're gonna do a so round, you're claiming uh, that more than 40% of your profit uh, was from bear juice. Yes. 
Really? Oh, Pedro is very sad these days because his, uh, his oldest child no, went no, to college. No, no. He had to drop him off. He said that he and uh, he and the missus are very sad they miss him. Yeah, it's the old. Uh, so what tequila do we want, guys? It's well, he's got other children. He does. Okay, so it's not the empty nest that, but no. sending off your first one is yep. always tough. Uh, did he get a scholarship to Devry? I don't know. Uh, okay. That I don't know. I'm just trying to get my uh, pre-flop uh, bets in because uh, Ryan gets. Get yeah, that shot there with Ace <laughs> Ten on <laughs> Queen Six Six. It's just so Ryan off my ass. kind of a weird <laughs> spot because what? you're just never going to do that with a Six. You're really not even going to do that with a Queen. There was no draws on the board. You're just basically just hoping your opponent doesn't have I'll do, anything. I'll do a beer, I mean, if you had called a three bet with a queen, let's say you had king queen or queen jack, right. aren't you just you're, you're probably just gonna yes, call that bet on the flop? But I want to round for everybody. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just doesn't make a lot of sense. Obviously, it made no sense in a, in a hurry. For everybody, shots to uh, Nate. I mean, I guess yeah. snap called. Yeah, I mean, I guess you get ace king to fold. That's not the I mean, you get better aces to fold. You get ace king and ace jack to fold. Uh, but still you, can, you can call those. You can call the flop and get that hand to fold the turn. I'll do a corona. You know, by floating. Wait, but we're doing a shot, right? Yeah, we're doing a shot. Whoever wants one, I'll do a shot. Of, uh, I'll do one. Not whatever I want. This is something totally different. Whoever wants, I'll just ask everybody what they want, and I'm gone. Darren's going to raise to 50 with ace-10 right, offsuit. Eric is, is going to three-bet here with king-queen yeah, suited. Chilled. It's a big size three-bet yeah. from Eric. Chilled. Yeah, it's definitely chilled. Yeah. Guys, so we're right, picking what we chill, want chill, in chill. paper, right? Just chill one. Yeah, yeah. I have a corona paper lime. Hey, hey, salt. Can you make sure we get lime? Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. So we Once again, Norman Chad alongside me, and we are uh, yeah. here at the Hustler Casino for Hustler Casino Live. It is the Wednesday show, 5-5-10. Yep. Okay, a little lime and salt, please. I would probably say it so you can't see their face too when they're black. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else's table calls? That's, that's call. why I'd be wearing. <laughs> I, mean, really I mean, the not, reason right? it's not complicated. Well, obviously not big enough. He just assumes they have corona. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you guys must like corona. Come on, you just got to the table. You're starting off with that. Come on. I'm wondering, like, what the fuck, you know? Well, that's what happened with the guy before you. He just picked up COVID and left. Finally getting a girlfriend that's on the pill. And you're like, no, no, I'll pick the condom. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I got it now. Okay. <laughs> By the way, congratulations to my co-host today, Norman Chad, so wait, wait, being brought this, back set, to cover the World Series of Poker once again yeah, this year. More, World okay. Series, of course, oh, starting sorry, at the end of this and month. You, lay down. you and Lon will be uh, so uh, back in the chair, so to speak. Uh, yes. You guys have a lot of For the uh, main event live. I don't know what's going on here. And, uh, you know, we'll be doing... We'll be doing many uh, bracelet events beforehand. You'll be doing many of the bracelet events, I believe, Mr. David Tuckman, on Poker Go. Yeah. You see one next to Nick? Or yeah, no? I was over there. Yeah, next to Nick, right? Yeah. 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 Raise here from Rocky at three bit from Mariano. From these two seats, so I like these two, you know? Mm -hmm. Rocky is going to fall, it looks like. Yeah, I grew up with Nick. Oh, you did? So heads up here. So six. My condolences. So Mariano, the poker vlogger yeah, versus Rocky. Really Do we have any MO on the on, on Rocky? We got nothing on Rocky. You just know that he uh, so like Nick. Nick was a cop, right? Initially, he was That's yeah, interesting he was taste of clothes. Uh, how about two pair? Oh wow, what a run out! Not even like a full blown. I'm still blown. I mean, second pair versus two pair on a flop. Yeah. Then a jack well, on the had turn. Business, right? So he ran his business and did that on the weekends. And That's pretty cool. Neither player yeah, particularly yeah, likes this run out. out. No, he's been playing poker for a no, long time. time. He, that motherfucker like could sell ice to an Eskimo. See if Rocky can really some thin value. He'd fucking pick you off the ground and give you a million bucks and then steal it from you the next day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Kidding, Nick. He don't want to. No, he's a good man. Good guy. Yeah. Him, my wife and his wife are real close friends, too. That's cool. That's cool. I met my wife through Nick. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. No, really? Oh, no, no, no. You owe him big time. She's kind of a, uh, a nice little sneaky, thin like, well, value bet. Yeah. She's going to be watching this. That's 20% like, of the pot. Yes, I'm a very blessed man. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> I hate, I hate that. Upside down pineapple? Thin or? value, sneaky, 20% of the pot. Major swingers. River bet. No. It just stinks to high heaven. It's like you're just reaching into my pocket. 
I might go for chump change. <laughs> it's such an effective bet, though, because if you get your opponent to fold there, you think about it, it's almost from a, from a limit poker standpoint. You're risking very little to possibly bluff your opponent out and win a big pot. Right? I mean, so from, from you're saying it could be a value bet bluff. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it looks so valuey. You're thinking, okay, well, it's got to be value. But imagine, imagine if he had eight there, and he actually got his opponent to fold a king by only risking a hundred into five hundred. All night kind of thing, but we've got to get the from a limit. I know you're a limit poker player, mixed games, but you know, I mean, if there's eleven big bets in the pot, and I can put one in there on uh, on the river or after Seventh Street and get everybody to fold, that's great, right? Correct. Do you know why they're so big? Good luck. Do I try now? Can't see. He's like, uh, that was a special request by Nick. I'm sure. <laughs> Sorry. Raise seventy. Okay, so I'm gonna make it exactly three again. Well, I guess a little under because I can't make it either. Yeah, Rocky in there as well, three ways. Three players. That is a pretty good flop for Mariano. That's an above average flop. A pair with a flush draw. Apologize for the graphics glitch. Oh, you've got another one? I don't think you hear me, sorry. Oh, he knows. I can tell. I know. <laughs> it's going to happen a lot. Oh, that, that counts, right? Well, I had to buy it. And he does not have to wait very long to get there. And it's an interesting turn card because Antonius has hit his gut shot. He's got a straight. Mariano with the flush. This is the second time that Mariano has had a flush against that opponent who has a straight. As you know, it's more than just running good. It's running good against other people who make hands. So he stands to make some money here again. Wow, and Antonius is going to raise. Now, Rocky will get out of the way. And this is, this is uh, an interesting spot for Mariano because he's out of position. Yeah, even if his flush isn't beat, he's got to redraw to the straight flush. I heard that was actually one of I thought Antonius might check this back. But he's going to bet 575. He's the best man. This is a pretty easy just call. Yeah, I don't know what his hesitation is on this one. Yeah, this is just, I mean, you're never raising. The board paired, so you're worried about full houses now. You're worried about bigger flushes. I, I don't think you can re-raise and get called by worse. Oh, no, I never thought he was re-raising. I just thought he was, you know, getting more than three to one on his money, and he... I don't think you can fold, and you certainly can't raise, so you just call and pray. No, I think this would be a pretty bad fold. If you're a magician? Oh, hell yeah. And I know Mariano can take it. He's a poker vlogger. Yesterday you were. It's kind of a nip roll. I mean, if, if I'm Antonius and my opponent is taking this long, you I think actually think, I, I'm like, oh, I got him. Yeah, for sure. He's got an ace. Just like 30 seconds. I'm boring myself already with this fucking hand. Yeah, Antonius does not think yeah. he's bluffing. He bet for value. <laughs> <laughs> you ever just like bore yourself in a hand? <laughs> it's so stupid. Straight. Oh, nice. Wow. And you see Antonius go, oh, yeah. oh, wow. <laughs> 
I know I just, you just take with my hand, I but if I was Mariano there, I would have said sorry, Flush. That took forever. All right, see you Yeah, somebody actually called him out at the table. Say, what took you so long? Did you order a drink? just wonder why it took 30 seconds to call that. All right. So it's 700, you fold then? I'm not sure, man. Is that what you're saying? I don't know, man. I thought you had a... He wasn't thinking should I raise or call. He was thinking fold or call. Guys. I want to be clear. Yeah, dude, that's how fucking bad I am. Wow. <laughs> it's not bad, tight. Yeah, you you yeah, can I see Antonio's it's a little hot so underneath his mask, but wow. he honestly was thinking fold right, or call. Now, and now <laughs> just to be clear, if the bet was much larger on the river, even if you're on quads, aces. I think then you could, you know, possibly make a case for okay. Well, thinking I, about I, it. at least thinking about it. Oh, right? yeah. I mean, if, if, if Antonio's bets pod or bets 1.5x pod, then you could think, well, I don't beat much here with just a medium flush. But his sizing it was just like that's just a snap call, I and mean, you're getting three and a half to one. Yeah, and I don't think it was a slow roll for those in the chat asking. I think oh, it no. was just. Uh, I think. I, I mean, I don't think Mariano was, you know, trying to. You called it right. Him. It was a nip roll. Yeah, yeah, he was just. Uh, he thought, okay, you know what? My opponent raised me on the turn. I'm beat here. And he tried to get a guy off. Two pair on the board. We've all been there. Didn't work out. Mariano with a pair of jacks. Oh, you played with him before. That guy, Gary. Yeah. I go to the he bathroom. You only back. brace in one bullet. And just <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. She'll be here all night, I think. You're good. It's a bigger game or something. I need some racks over here. <laughs> Not bigger. You thought you were really good, right? You were hoping to call, right? <laughs> yeah, oh, I swear I got a jack on best. <laughs> Yeah, right? I'm going to make Nick pay for, for trying to liven up the table a little bit. You're like clicking on it. How's it yeah. pass? I'm going to touch Please call. No, my buddy. How's it pass? Him and Ryan. Oh, and several others. Sean, right? Sean, oh, gotcha. Sean, right? John. 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 I feel like you should slip. Oh, it's it's good work. The 10th one. Yeah. Hey. Wow. That was an interesting lead out by Eric. Same, same people? Or and I guess he turned his hand into a bluff. Or? Yeah. You got Mariano yeah, yeah, yeah. to fold. Yep, yep. Thank you. Uh, sure. You know what I'd like, please? Chris is probably Can I please have a black coffee? Asian person. Oh, no. Again, there's no coffee. So if you're playing against Mariano, I mean, would, oh, let me first bet will know it. If you saw him take that long and actually you're contemplate folding a nine high flush, no, you're would you think, okay, I'm going to, you know, if I have blockers, <laughs> I'm going to, I, I might turn a few hands into some bluffs here. I'm I'm uh, you're, you're slightly older than me. I didn't know you're supposed to pay attention to what the other players do in earlier hands and then store that in your mind for <laughs> for later play. I really do go hand by hand. Do I have the best hand here or not? That's why I don't play double. I'm good with it. Play guitar? No, I'm just saying because they are on track of... One finger fits on all strings. Bass guitar, baby? No. I'm sure it wouldn't be a big deal if they're off by like $10. I'll put it back on. Why you play guitar? No, I just your shirt. Oh, that's crazy. Huh? Oh, no, that's probably like a $10 Costco shirt. Oh, gosh. Gotcha. Oh, no, 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 nothing crazy. Oh, dude, I, my hand is so I've seen way worse. I've seen way worse. I mean, I mean, be happy with the 40. You probably play Vegas. Costco shirt? Lucky oh, Bob? I don't know. Yeah, I, don't know. I, don't know. I don't know. I haven't bought it's myself clothes in a year. Really? That's the point I'm going to You better get married. I'm going to That lucky brand t shirt looks like it's just off the rack, Bear Chip. I got one. Are we toasting? Are we toasting? I'm with him. I haven't bought my clothes. Closing so years here, so I'm actually with them. Yeah, that's alive. Nice to meet you. Guys. Put a fucking mask on you. I mean, I just kept poking the clothes. I mean, you, you can attest this. What am I wearing right now? Oh, nice run, good. That looks so good. That run, good pullover. It might even be a hoodie. Is it just a? It's a pullover. It's a pullover. That looks like nice material. He coughed on his hand and grabbed me, guys. I don't know if anybody noticed that. Are you running good next week? I am. I'm going to be in San Diego with uh, the one and only Tana Karn and the hey, Run Good team. Thanks again, We're playing a little yeah, poker, so I'm taking a week off from Hustler like Casino Live. But I'll be back the week after. Yeah, so for those of you who can't stand my voice, which I know is the majority of you, you've got a week off with no time in. <laughs> and because you're not here, I, I am here uh, a week from tomorrow, next Thursday, with Lon McCarran in the booth. And we would not have brought Lon in unless he was rehired. I know he's going to bring him in if he's not doing the World Series. I mean, he's just a voice. But we did bring him back, so we're going to bring him in here next Thursday. So that's pretty exciting. So next Thursday, make sure you mark your calendar. Next Thursday here on our YouTube channel, you guys can watch and listen to 
Yeah. The uh, the original <laughs> Hall of Fame dream yeah, team, in my opinion, Lon McCarron and now, Norman like, Shad, commentating on a game they have no idea what's going on. That's correct. And who's marking their calendar, by the way? Nobody marks their calendar anymore. I mean, when we were growing up, we used to have the calendar on the refrigerator with the refrigerator magnet, and you'd mark things in there. Nobody's marking their calendar. That's a good point. People say I make dated references. Spray that shit on there, and then, bro, you just like you know what? I tried that. Oh, it works great. Why didn't you tell me you're a fucking genius when you said this to me, bro? It's like five bucks for that bottle, dude. Like it's golden, right? Tell them. It works good. I don't know. I know. I, love I heard. It. I heard. I love it because I never worry about ironing or anything anymore. Yeah. Just fucking flop yeah, it out there. Did you say I never worry about irony anymore? Uh, yeah. Oh, no, I don't know what he was talking about. I don't think I've ever heard, heard anybody oh, say that before. Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a. I mean, in fairness, I've never heard the other side of it either. Somebody, somebody come to me going, I'm really concerned. I'm stressed out today about irony. Irony will wear on you. <laughs> so this Friday, we get Garrett, we got Andy, we got Gal back playing in the big game. They'll be playing 50, 100, 200 for sure, maybe bigger than that. We'll expect hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars on the table. Next Thursday, we get Norman Chad and Lon McCarran. Lots of good things happening here at Hustler Casino Live. Make sure you hit that follow button. Let your friends know about it. Yeah, we're just doing one round, right? And subscribe to our YouTube what channel. Did you do it already? <laughs> I started, I started. Tonight we're playing 5-5-10. So five, 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 Max buy-in is 3,000, yeah. but oh, there are already yeah. multiple stacks no pressure. No pressure, that exceed that. No pressure, no pressure, you fucking that. better do it. <laughs> 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 it's a really, really fun group over here. <laughs> oh, man. We have uh, two YouTube vloggers here tonight sitting Anybody next to each other. That, Mariana you know like, and C2. Oh, okay. have a good time, you know? He's already got this nearly 70,000 subscribers. <laughs> and to his immediate left, uh, like, Fat nah, Duck just started a YouTube oh, channel, Fat Duck Poker. So he's underway trying to become the next Mariano. Should I start up? Should I do yeah, poker like vlogging? Should I start a YouTube channel? You know, I, you know, when I was listening to Mariano, by the way, and he was explaining hands, he did remind me, yeah, I told you last time we worked that you were very good at explaining things that people such as me, but, you know, the, the pros and cons of what you're doing in a cricket hand. So you do that just as well as he does. Uh, I think he's better looking now. Yeah, but I think you, uh, uh, you appeal to another demographic. Uh, so I think you think about it. He wants to get to 100,000 subscribers, uh, he said. I started one a couple years ago. I was, I, seriously, I got up to like 75 subscribers on the first day, and I never got to 100. So I quit. What were you, what were you, what were your videos about? I, I had virtually no videos. I was putting, I was putting the ukulukas up there that I do, but they were all on Twitter. And Twitter, they get several thousand views. On YouTube, they'd get five to eight views at a time. How much money did you raise from your ukuluka? Uh, I didn't Campaign. get the exact numbers, but each, you know, we went to four different charities. Uh, each time, we didn't raise as much as we wanted. Each time, we raised about $2,000 for each charity. It's in the small numbers. I would, I would too, bro. King, Queen, Jack, Bear Jew flops the nuts. No, 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 no. Don't know what Rocky check. has here. Pot is 265. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> check, check. <laughs> I'm going to charity route again while I'm playing the 25K horse at the World Series. First time event. I would never enter a $25,000 event. I'm getting everybody to back me with a 1.5 markup, and the 0.5 uh, goes to Hope for Depression Research Foundation. So we just, no matter how I do, uh, I probably won't cash. They get 12500 when you uh, stake me at stakekings.com. And then you got a statistically a 15% chance of getting your buy-in part back from me. Realistically, less than a 15% chance, you would, I would say, uh, Mr. David Duffy. Your horse game is pretty good. Yeah, really? but this is, I got the 25K. The, you, 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 you play 1,500 horse at the World Series, you got a lot of people sitting down and hardly ever play the other games, other than no limit. But if you're playing down 25K, you're not playing against like David Bakers and Daniel Negranus, and I mean, people really, really know what they're doing. How much? Yeah, I want to keep playing. 
Life. You already put the card So if, you, uh, no, 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 if you're interested in giving some money to charity and backing Norman Chad, uh, you can follow him on Twitter. He's at Norman Chad. And all the details, I assume, are there. Are they in your pinned tweet? Oh, I forgot about the pinned tweet. No, I will put them in my pinned tweet tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. There you go. I am, by the way, I am buying. I'm going to have uh, one little, one, yeah. one portion of you. Yeah. I mean, you can do, for instance, 25K, and I'm saying, you know, people, you want to get $100 of me? It's $100 to me, and then $50 more to the charity, so it's 1.5 markup. So 150 bucks, and you're in for 1 250th of me. Yes. Oh, hey, Chicken. Bet it like you got it, because. Wait, hold on, shit. A nine high flop here, Antonius with tens. But Darren has flopped the nuts. We've had a lot of big hands here. Nuts versus very good hands. Oh, look who raised you. You're and sometimes they're just like that. <laughs> the Cowboy John is the one who's betting here. here. He's got absolutely nothing. He's got, he's got the less than 1%, the feared less than 1% next to your name. So Darren raises, and you wonder if you're Antonius, can he get away from it now? <laughs> I mean, we can see that Cowboy John has nothing, but he doesn't know that. <clears throat> and he's going to let it go. That is a heck of a lay Wow, I would not have let that go. Really? I got the nuts. Oh! And if you're Antonius, you got to feel great about yourself right now. After John a whole round of drinks, I'm not going to take any more at it. You just did. Hold my pair, right? Pocket jacks. Good fold. Pocket hands. Queens. Oh. Cowboy John just lying through his teeth. What's that? He's lying through his teeth. Learned her lesson. He's saying that he had pocket queens there. That's what he said. That's good. Because it's not going to pursue a 7-8, right? By the way, as much as I like Cowboy John's cowboy hat, just once, in, once in my life I'd like to see somebody named Cowboy something actually wear like a Dallas Cowboy helmet to the poker table. I have a Philadelphia Eagles helmet and a New York Jets helmet. I, I don't wear one of those if you like. Well, either one would look absurd. I'd prefer you, of course, in the Jets helmet. And they just reversed on you, huh? I also have, I have two cowboy hats. I could wear one of those, <laughs> that helps. Actual cowboy hats like Cowboy John. Yeah. Oh. I have one signed by Doyle Bunsen. That's as good as it gets. Right? Yeah. And now Dan Smith has gone the cowboy hat way. I, it's taken me a while to get used to it, but now I'm used to it. Bart Hansen, who uh, commentates a lot of our Friday shows, he flies into that. He once played the 50K Players Championship, of course, the Chip Reese tournament. And he wanted to stand out, kind of like start making a name for himself. So he wore, and I don't, I, I'm sure there's footage of it somewhere, but he wore a pink cowboy hat. And it works for some people, but if you know Bart Hansen, and many of you do from commentary or from crush live poker, I couldn't think of anything more ridiculous on him than a pink cowboy hat. Darren's gonna win that with aces. So after uh, flopping the nuts with seven, eight, yeah. Getting a little bit of money, cool. he picks up aces and gets a little I bit more money. Soccer once, like not long ago, mm -hmm. literally the first time I tore up so many things that I stayed to the hospital and never you, did it. You didn't tell him put you in a goalie? Straddle. Oh yeah, I was I the goalie. Straddle. You were? Yeah. And you still tore a bunch of shit? As soon as I ran out, out. <laughs> it's an indoor like one of your grassy things, oh. and my muscle just like yeah. came out of me. Like my brain and my legs were not connected, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Imagine being the other team trying to score on him. <laughs> as soon sad. as I went to block it, my legs like. I mean, when you're a big guy, goalie is like natural position. But is yeah, Bear Two trying to claim sure. that he's athletic at all? Like, in the small field with yes, the I think. Soccer, yeah, I don't buy it. Because, yeah, that's that's a tough story to sell. So hard. I feel like the people at the table are just being nice to him. Like there is no midfield, you know what I mean? So you're not relaxed anywhere. I lasted one game. Seriously. Where was that place at? The Woodland Hills, okay. like the Soto and Victory, I think. Dirty. It's all indoor. It's all indoor. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, there's a bunch of places like that. that are really cool. Yeah, they're nice. Yeah. King High Flop. 
Shut up, Norman. <laughs> Bear Jew with the best. I'm sorry, uh, BTS <laughs> Nate with the best of it, with a queen. That's a good one. He's probably saying something about you. <laughs> so apparently on last night's show, they mentioned in the graphic that Bear Jew, I mean, our, our production team likes to have fun with the players. Right. They mentioned that Bear Jew was a former quarterback at uh, IU, Indiana Why University. Oh. <laughs> I, I think I, uh, I, think I bet too. against him. Really? And he, I mean, he, was, he was third string, but I figured if there's any chance that he gets into the game, that's huge. That's probably the best sports bet you've ever made in your life. Oh, okay. oh our Dodgers bet is coming yeah, down the wire. Is it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the 103 is the push. Yeah, yeah. Right now, they literally are on pace for 102.2. And they've been hot. I mean, they just. Yeah. You know what's gonna. You know what's gonna tilt me? Because the actual yeah. line. So every right. year, for those of you don't know, every year, minutes, Norman and I have a fun bet on baseball. <laughs> we do an over under. Oh, Two years ago, that. I had the Orioles <laughs> under. It was over by July. Uh, yep. Last year, I had the under on the Pittsburgh Pirates. It was over by May. This year, I had the over on the Dodgers, and the actual line was 102.5. But Norman finagled me. And, and swine me into giving him an extra half a game. And it's going to come down to that extra. I, I hope it does because I feel, I feel really bad and good at the same time. <laughs> I just thought it was a fair thing to do. For the record, by the way, I tweeted back then, because you took one of them, I tweeted out five over under total, win totals for baseball back in March, whenever it was. Yeah, before the season began. <laughs> and I took two of them. Actually, tried to look at your things. I, have, I, am, I am going to win four of them or a lock. The only one in question now is the Dodgers. So at worst, I'm going to go four and one. So I think you took, because I took the Brewers and the over. I took the Cardinals and the under. The I think Brewers took, over is already done. That's done. Cardinals under is done. Uh, it's not completely done. They're almost done. But yeah, so those two we took together. I have Minnesota under, just crushed. And I have under on the Texas Rangers. Oh, you're in great shape. And yeah, the Dodgers right. you still could get. The Dodgers is the one, so I'm probably going to go 4-1 and one and lose that one. Well, they had a 21-6 and six record in August that they completed yesterday. It's pretty uh, good. Yeah. I mean, they're the kind of team that can win 13 straight at any time, yeah. so you just never know. How about trip eights for yeah. Nate? Fat Duck, uh, again, we don't know what his cards are. Fat Duck, as you mentioned, the blogger, he's got the hat. I, I, you know what? It works for him. I, I, he pulls it off. Uh, it might work for him less if we actually saw his face. So I wish we could see his face, but I'll take it. I'll take him faceless right now. How good does Nate look, though? Look at that jacket. Oh, I, lo I love this look. It's perfect. It's just and so clean. It's clean, and the white T-shirt works with it. I usually uh, don't like that. And he's got it rolled up a little, like they, like the kids like to do, and uh, seems to be a class act. Man, it almost looks like he's got his hair cut for the show. He looks great. He could be in BTS. I saw BTS on Colbert like a year ago. I didn't even know them. Those kids, you, you gotta love them. They're like they were like modern day Beatles. Which, like, I'd buy that. I mean, I'd buy that before I bought Bearju being an athlete. Oh, easily. Would you buy that Eric, Eric told us, uh, Eric's in seat nine, there's Eric right there on the right side. He told us he was born with 11 toes. I don't see why anybody would lie about that. Yeah, I, it's kind of a weird thing to make up. Right. Okay. Thought we were going to assume it was a six and a five? You got to remind them. Yeah. That's a safe assumption. We can't assume anything, but it's most likely to be a six and a five, right? I would imagine if somebody said they had 11 toes and it wasn't a six and a five, they would mention it's a four and a seven. Maybe they were somehow embarrassed by a four and a seven or a three and an eight. I literally said I guess he's never going to bring my coffee. Any of those combinations, though, you can double down on. That's a good point. That's a good point. Six, eight, three. It looks even the nine, two. <laughs> I feel bad if it's 9-2, though. That's odd. Yeah. yeah. I mean, 6-5, I, yeah. I mean, listen, if I have 11 toes and it's a 6 and a 5 or 7 and 4, I, I think I would play that hand every single time. Oh, how could that you That would not? be my hand. 3-bet here from Bear Jew in the hijack. Bear Jew's game will change. He has a lot of different gears. I mean, I have seen him. In fact, when I was just playing him before, he was kind of making fun well, of me because I folded four hands in a row. He's like, Tuck, you're going to play anything? <laughs> and I have seen Bear Jew play it really, really nitty and very tight. And then there are other times where he just goes crazy. Uh, he's got a lot of different gears. 
Fat and duck. Away from the poker table, Bear Jew, what does he look at? No, I knew I was going to Day in and day out, maybe professionally. Do we know? Bear Jew? He's uh, just a, a businessman. <laughs> One player to a hand, bro. You can't play his hand and yours. We're Successful business businessman, yeah. <laughs> This is actually a pretty good flop for Bear Joe. I mean, he'd like to see one hard out there, but he's got a double gutter. Same personality. I'm sorry, he's open ended. My bad. Thanks, man. Probably good looking guy. He would think so, yeah. (laughs) That's a good answer, bro. You're you're a funny guy. I also picked. I see why he likes you. uh, Shohei Otani to win the MVP. Oh, no. He lives in Denmark now. That's huge. Uh, Okay. Yeah, he was at. I know the odds came down. He was at plus 1400 to start the season, though. Plus 1250, plus 1400. Kept coming coming down, but. Well, uh, he was born in Denmark. Yeah, he's just he's a virtual you, lock to get it now, isn't he? Yes, he is. Uh, and just when you think you've seen everything from him, last night he steals home, which is just tremendous. <laughs> for, by the way, his 20, he had two steals in the game for his 22nd steal of the year. I mean, it's amazing when you think about it. You go, this guy's going to hit what? I don't know, 40 home runs? He's up to 42. So, I mean, he could hit, he could hit 50. He could hit 50. He's going to hit 45 for sure. He's a, p- a good pitcher. He's 8-2. and two, And he has 20 stolen bases. I mean, yeah. this is it's insane. something we haven't seen in we haven't. decades and decades. He's decades. actually out the bay. Does he have to do it next hand? Or a two-way player way. Yeah. That's fine. That was good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But if you have aces, that's a big angle. <laughs> Coming in his after defense, you he hasn't looked yet. Yeah, for yeah. sure I'm calling. I don't even remember what I have. Get a raise here from Nate on the button. You guys are in trouble, my dealers here. I have a good hand. <clears throat> oh, shit. Mister, I got to leave soon. <laughs> Eric uh, <laughs> said he had to leave soon. If I don't win, I wish you would. Just no going to call. Here. Oh, no respects here. No, you got the button. Who's going to respect you, man? Oh, I didn't even realize that. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, wait. Is that what that little disc it is? I love when I raise a hand and then a few <laughs> yeah. seconds later, I'm like, oh, shit. The oh, shit. button's right here. Even better. <laughs> yeah. Well, one player box? respects yeah. you, Eric. Uh, you see this? Support your Nate. friends. Cowboy John. You're about to support me. Pot's 480. <laughs> and how about, okay, how about this? How about raising with Jack 8 on the button? Lying to the entire table and tell, you, tell them all you have a good hand, getting a ton of action, and then flopping top two. <laughs> a hand that should miss his cards, a flop that should miss him, because his hands were so bad. And Eric's going to just lead into him. That's a weird one. Eric has uh, 900 behind, maybe a little bit less than that. He is not drawing dead, by the way. He can catch a 7 or a 10 now. And then for some reason, I'm like, I don't know if you can this, but... Yeah, I want to say it says 940, but looks like he's got closer to what, maybe 600? Yeah. Yeah, that's 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Can't be 940, that's for sure. All in, there's the call, and Eric looking for a 10 or 7. <laughs> Oops. Eric just thinking, wait, do I have any outs? <laughs> wow! That bad, huh? That bad. Goodness. He just folded with about, I mean, two hundred dollars behind. Correct. I thought that again. I thought that was gonna be a snap call with that little behind him. You got it. Guys, I'm gonna double. Not again. Okay. All right. What? Overpair. Want to say goodbye to Jared? Oh, better than overpair. Yeah, but I'm gonna do double. You say hi to the uh, the South Pole. I love Lauren. Every dealer chase Rado. I don't know. I think say so. one yeah. thing yeah. just about yeah. being left-handed, and you make it sound like oh, no, 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 I, I trashed I mean her pot. entire family yeah. tree. Oh, I gotta do yeah, a, a, a bomb pot here. I mean, I don't know. I, can, I feel like I can quote Rocky after this. Yep, Friday we mentioned it. Garrett, Andy, fifty-one hundred. That that I don't feel like that sells it enough. It's fifty-one hundred, two hundred. There'll probably be three quarters of a million dollars on the table, if not more. You have to join us Friday, five p.m. Pacific time. I believe Bart Hansen will be doing commentary, flying in just for this. So uh, make sure you join us on Friday. That game should be amazing. It's- so, as I was saying. 
I can quote Rocky, right? Remember the trainer? <laughs> Apollo's trainer? Yeah. Remember what he said about they were looking through the, 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 the they were looking through the Bible of of, of of boxers for Apollo to fight. Hey, when your wife watches right. the and what you gonna say? ever watch it's like Apollo divorce. Creed finds <laughs> Here it is. It's the, the Italian stallion. That's why I want to And his trainer looked at him and he goes, No, no, it's a southpaw. I don't like southpaws. They're weird, they're strange. That's right. They're different. They're different. They do things in a weird way. Stay away from the southpaw. No, no, my oldest. I feel like that's you. You don't like southpaws. Actually, left, left handers always stick together. I gave you the one example where we have a problem a left handed dealer. That's all. Lefties were less than 10% of the population or something. Yeah, so I had to tone it down. When? When my son started watching. Oh, okay. So this is me behaving good. Is it? Oh. Well, hello to Bear Juice, son, if you are watching. Well, not bad, just like, no, no filter, you know? You can watch it. <laughs> she knows. Now this is a no, no, bomb pot. You, you it off last time, honey. Eric, all in with a flush draw. Good luck, brother. Yeah. Sorry, oh, sorry. And he is going to get called, at least hey, in one spot. Rocky's got a pair, he's got trip sixes. Antonius has a 10. How much? 150, all in. Thanks, man. Okay, so. If he's going to move, then I want to move to C5. Raised. I will say, if you knew the next hand was a bomb no, pot, you do want to keep your last little chip in there so you can get in there and get lucky. Like, that could that have been, been part of his thinking. Okay, very very wrong, smart. Yeah. Yeah. Go yeah, go ahead. See green. And uh, he's not drawing dead here. He's got a flush draw. Nice shit, man. He gave you protection, bro. We wish you luck. I know. going to need it, but good luck. <laughs> you might have better hands, yeah. I think no, no, if you're you Antonius, you can get that go, and he does. We'll Darren's going to let the I'm nines me? go. Yes, five, <laughs> oh, here we go. I think he's trying to seek Son of a bitch. Somebody got nervous over there. I don't know what to do here. transmit some chips to me. Okay. All right, I fold. No. I'm sorry. <clears throat> you want to go once yeah. or twice? Thank you. Whatever you want. Okay, let's go twice. Twice? Twice. twice? Yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, Eric looking for a spade. He's got a spade. Let's run it. Right. Well, no, yeah, deuce, deuce, ten. Uh, <laughs> oh, he didn't get it. Oh, he's not going to make it twice. He's got two spades. <laughs> there we go. Uh, twice. 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 It's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Twice. 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 And then quads. quads and Not your night, Eric. Wow. Go for three times. Yeah, so let me explain this to you, Norman. I just want to make sure, because I know no limit's not your game. I know Hold'em's not really your game. If Eric were to hit a deuce on the turn and the river, he'd still lose. No, I was actually, I was behind on the flop. I meant a deuce, do something flop. I didn't see the flop yet. That's what I meant. So I do apologize. But thank you for, you know, the, the patronizing explanation. I'm nothing if not patronizing. You know. It is 5.30. So I believe we, we're only an hour and a half in, and we've already lost two players. There's been a lot of big hands. That hasn't been like an incredible big action. Uh, even though losing Barry earlier, that was punting off a bunch of chips with nothing. But uh, it's hard to believe we've lost two players in 90 minutes. <laughs> Wisco Baron in the chat says, fun fact, Eric is not the founder of DoorDash. True story. That's a really interesting yeah, yeah, fun yeah, fact. Yeah, we did have the founder, co-founder of DoorDash yeah. on our show Stanley last week. Stanley Tang or, uh, yeah. And he and his roommate came up with DoorDash at Stanford. And uh, at just 28 years old, he is the eighth youngest billionaire in the world. Eighth youngest in the world. Yep. So in the U.S., he'd be top three probably. Yeah, I mean, he's only, at his age, there are only two people who have more money than him and are also younger. Got to trust my dealer. This is your dealer? Wow. Now you confused me. <laughs> Three bet here from Mariano. Are not that wide, you know? Bear Drew calls. Cowboy Jared. John calls. Rocky. Yeah. Queen Jack suited, I assume he's going to call. No, he's going to let that go. So three ways. Yeah, I like the zero by this guy. Pot is 8.05. Three is back on the table. 10-8 deuce. Not much there for anybody. I mean, Baradrew's got a gut shot, but it's to the ass end. 
335. Cowboy John's got some backdoor equity, and I think he's going to win it. No, hello. Bearju floating from out of position. And hits a seven. <clears throat> Cowboy John has picked up a straight draw. He checks it back. Drop King 10. Hold the King 10. Good kicker, right? Kicker, please. No, you save money, buddy. And speaking of billionaires, so uh, when I used to play 2040 Stud High Low at Hollywood Park, we, we often played with the King World, one of the King World brothers, Roger King. And so I had to explain to the poker players there that King World was the biggest TV syndicator in the world. So, you know, he's got a lot. Of, I mean, why is he playing with us? They said, oh, you know, we got rich people playing with us. So you don't understand how much money he has. And they said, no, no. So he's a TV guy. We play with producers and stuff. So no, no. So I said, do you know Oprah? You know Oprah. Okay. He pays Oprah. That's how much money he has. Oprah's one of the richest people in the world. And King World, which was a syndicator for Oprah's show, for Wheel of Fortune, he's playing in our game. Just like, you know, Bill Gates used to play 4-8 at the Mirage. So I said this last week when Stanley Tang was playing, and obviously I can't relate, but I imagine there comes a point where you have so much money, there's no game you're going to play in that is going to make your adrenaline run, you know, from a, from a monetary standpoint. Correct. Yeah, there's no money he's going to make. I mean, a million dollars, two million, ten million, it makes no difference to his life. He's worth so much. So it really just, at that point, it's really just about the competition, right? I assume. Uh, that's, a, no, that's a good point, because, again, nothing is going to give him the rush of playing for money that counts. Right. So it is about the competition or the camaraderie or a combination of the two. I mean, you can get the rush from, you know, beating other good players and outthinking somebody and... <laughs> Yeah. So you're thinking, gonna I raise here from Nate with Ace Ten, a couple of calls. Right now, but My movie is like the and uh, Baird you with the Jack Eight. Smaller version, smaller version. Yeah, the more like flops guess, the best of it. Introduction level. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 What did you? Have? I wouldn't say it's necessarily yeah. better. It's just checks around. More features. Okay. You know? Is that free? Eh? No. It's not yeah. free. Oh, I, think, I believe it costs three hundred. Three hundred a, a year? Or? Yeah. No, oh. you can just purchase oh. it. Okay. Just curious, sorry. Okay. But I think you can do everything you need to do in iMovie. Here it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When it comes to like YouTube. Another pop for Badger. Oh, man. My yeah. yeah. just kind of twinked. You know, like, do you know who Jeff sent the vibrations. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. For a long time, he made all his videos, like, yeah. on his phone. He edited them on his phone. Oh, really? Yeah, he's really? fucking psychotic. Oh. Like, I don't know how he does that. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, he was doing the video. Yes, yes, yes. Like everything was going just from this. I watch any of his earlier ones. Was it the ones where he was put in, not showing the actual footage, but inputting on the? Yeah, screen? it's just like a black screen, and all the cards are like. Yeah. Yes, dude. Like he, he did all that without a computer. I'm not sure he's still doing that. I believe he's not. But. I mean, eventually you're doing it. You're like, big, bro. It's huge. You get enough subscribers, you gotta pay somebody just to have yeah, videos. Yeah, right. It, yeah. Like, pays for itself, and they sure. can do the effects and all that shit, you know. Yeah, my buddy oh, yeah. Ethan like pays a guy <laughs> to yeah, edit, and it's awesome. Page, yeah. He just like sends it off. And then yeah, it comes back and finishes. He, put, he puts out a video almost every day. It's the only way to do yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. The workload would just be like, just not doable. It just wouldn't be doable. To play and do that? Right. Right. Like I said, I do this for fun. Um, have, you ever, yeah, like, have you ever seen Spraggy? Yeah. I have. I don't know. Yeah, you, have you watched some of the videos? He just has really quirky, like, special effects or intros. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Really yeah. Yeah. It's really creative, yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah. Some of them. Right, 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 but he doesn't come out with videos a lot, That's the thing. Yeah, so he has more time to work on a lot. From online? Yeah. I mean, it's more of, to me, it's more like uh, Twitch. Yeah, you have you know to stream. I mean? Yeah, you gotta stream. Yeah. <laughs> you notice that wine fridge? Over but behind it. Mariano is right. Why is it Why is it empty? <laughs> I feel like that should be filled with wine. Hey, that's the beauty of this game, sir. You, how'd Anybody you know it was empty? Win. You saw that you I can see. I know, I know what a bottle win. of wine looks like. I know the bottle yeah, of wine is too, but I didn't win. get a real good look at it that you could see that it was empty. Yeah, there's nothing in there. What a needle. Three bet here from Bear Jew at 8-7. That's a hand that's been working for him. It's not going to work for him here, though. As uh, Antonius has flopped the flush. Check. Check. 
Check around. Two hundred twenty-five. I mean, I'm trying to think here. I mean, the ace of spades is a hand that might bluff here, and you wonder does Baraju get a little curious at the board pairing? He might pay him off. I mean, the only hand you really think he's betting here, yeah, there he does pay him off. I was going to say, basically, your opponent's got to have a king or, or a flush, usually. I found. I mean, I think good players can certainly bet thinner for value, but... Thank you, guys. Doesn't surprise me at all that Baird, you paid him off. Can we continue on here? Hustler Casino Live. We're playing 5-5-10. Five, five, We're actually not sure. He's set to lock it. He's gone. Norman Chad, David Tuckman, calling the action. You know, in the early 1980s, I was uh, one of the first people I know to buy wine in a box. That's when they first debuted it. It was in one liter boxes with a picture of the wine bottle on the front, which I thought was cool. And I was in New York visiting my uncle, and I told him that I'd bought wine in a box. And he gave me a three-minute speech that if I ever bought wine in a box again. Yes, sir. To change my last name. He, and he was, a, by the way, he was a chemist and he was a, he was a wine connoisseur and he explained to me all the chemicals that had to go with the inside of the box to make the plastic and blah, blah, and how it should be in the bottle anyway and how bottles are better than cans and boxes. Anyway, he told me if I ever buy another bottle, another uh, wine, and then it's, it's back in vogue now. I see in the stores, but I've never bought wine in a box again. Yeah, I'm, I, I, listen, I. There was a point in my life where I drank wine out of a box, right? I mean, during college, and but yeah, that, that time is coming, gone. <laughs> Get a very nice wine fridge for my uh, for our wedding. That is always filled. Oh, then you know wine fridges. You got a wine fridge for your wedding. Was was that really on your register? Or is this somebody was nice enough to get your wine fridge? No. Um, so, uh, many people know uh, Lyman. Lyman is uh, a local legend here in L.A. Uh -huh. And he came to my, he used to come to my house once in a while. And he came to my house and, and laughed at how I stored my wine and made fun of me. So, when we got married, we invited him specifically because we knew he'd buy us a wine fridge. <laughs> That's a good play. So it was a very good play. And he got us a very nice wine fridge. So, thank you, Lyman. We still use it. Spend it all you want. <laughs> I, mean, give it away. I will tell you, if you are getting married and you're thinking about things to put on your registry, a wine fridge is actually a great gift. Because something, you're like, yeah, do I really need to spend this much money on a wine fridge? It's stupid. But if it's a wedding gift, it's actually a really nice wedding gift. I remember the wine fridge. Put your mask on. I really did. I thought, oh, he took it off just for oh, you. Oh, he took it off. I'm like, did they just see the seat change? I have a card. I'm vaccinated. I'm like, okay, cool. I can take it off. Oh, he showed you his card? Oh, wow. Yeah. Hey, that's if you get a good wine fridge, yeah. it'll, um, it, the top will be different temperatures in the bottom, so you can keep your white wine and your red wine at different temperatures. Look, way more than that's, that's a classy wine fridge. Yeah. You're going to keep your whites chilled further than the reds. He looks like a bitch. Yeah. Are you calling him out? Oh, are you calling him out? What are you going to raise here from Nate to 165. A lot of limps in there. Bear doesn't like the fold, and true to form, he does make the call. Cowboy John in there as well, so three ways. Pot's 530. Really? It's all the whiskey, bro. 24 maximum whiskey. 24. Who am I? That's a drink, and I'll do it to you. Top pair for Cowboy John. My grandparents. Oh, I just saw your hat, folks. I see. the school Really dry yeah, board, and uh, uh, Nate's gonna fire uh, this. He knows it's very unlikely for his opponents to have much. Maybe they've got one pair. Not really any two pair combinations that would call that big a raise. And Nate can he can put a continuation bet out there on an ace, a jack, a king or a queen, obviously, and he's probably gonna rep this ace. <laughs> well, I am confused. He was, he was in the blind. So I've been told that with that flop, he had the range, range advantage. Right, he's a pre flop razor, yes. Yeah. Uh, That's good. You're learning the lingo. I like that. Uh, just for cocktail parties and such. Uh, 
Does it impress the ladies? I'm never talking to women. <laughs> Party, you nuts? Yeah, and he's gonna he's gonna fire here again. Six fifty-five. And sure enough, you get yeah, you, you you put a lot of pressure on a pair of eights. You know, if your opponent has a three somehow. Uh, let's say your opponent got sticky and called a pocket five. Oh, 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 Tough oh, to continue. God, God, you guys know what you're doing. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I was saying it was my button. He wanted it twice. He wanted it twice. Secretly. Really well, well, I would have loved those cards again. Actually, that's staying. Is that good before the ace came? What was that? Is that good before the ace came? Before the ace came. Like the horoscope? I don't believe in that. There's no way that stars align to how we feel today. Get a new player at the table. Okay, I'll agree with you. Yankee fan and. Uh, yeah, it's very, very. Is that shirt? Is that like a Snoopy thing? Oh, it's a Snoopy thing, which is as old as Bear Juice t shirt. And he's got a ponytail. Tail off, and I gotta do a security check on this guy. He was actually on the show, I wanna say, last week or the week before. Not under my watch. Uh, I'm just gonna quickly vet him. Uh, Can't wait, John picks up Queens again. Be polite, he should not have to. When the blind gets to him, he should sit out just in case I toss him. By the way, everybody, we are doing our best to try to hear the table talk, but as you can probably imagine here, yeah, uh, it sounds that like that there's seven different conversations going on at once, so... <laughs> Good luck. Yeah, I mean, you know, but, you know, you the weird thing is, like, when I'm with you, Tuck, like, we're eating dinner together, just when I'm with you, it sounds like there's seven different conversations going on at once. It was an over bet on the river, too, so... Yeah. I definitely could have pulled it. Top set. And a pair of eights for Bear Jew, so... Oh. Cowboy John checks it back. Bad you're betting for value here. Ooh, really? You went to school with some of the guys? Oh, yeah. Yeah. When? What year? I graduated in 2000, but I, I'm a lot of my friends in the West. Which is I don't think it's the worst thing in the world to check back top set. But on a board as wet as this, you want to look? Mm -hmm. I'm not doing it, especially against a player as sticky as Bearju and as creative as Bearju. Did you? I'd, I'd rather give him a little rope. Maybe he'll hang himself. Well, thank you. I didn't mean to knock your chips over. I was trying to do it. Oh, of course. That's what I said. Thank you. Yeah, once I... That'd be a dick. Once, hey, I just won. Yeah. <laughs> once it's over, it's over. I didn't mean well, Helio's the one that started, but yeah. So. But Harold was the one that was really big, right? That was. I'm not um, big on Antonius, you're going to be the big one? <coughs> I'm adding two whites. Two whites. Yeah, so. Two whites? I believe yeah, we have a straddle like, here, so it's a 5, 5, 10, 20 now. I think it's really good. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot more people involved. I mean, our, Again, a lot of our class was like, I don't know, like 10 people. I want to thank all of you for joining us. So. Yeah, they, I mean, they have a big following now, which is awesome. Right? You are watching the show and you're enjoying the show, please hit that like button. And I've been told it helps. <clears throat> Have you been getting into the, uh, the the NFT world? Have you bought yourself a rock? A picture of a rock or something? Not only have I not got into the NFT world, which is a stone cold mortal lock, okay? I actually thought NFT was a new tennis league. I have nothing to do with NFT, Bitcoin, crypto, any stock actually, so yes. It's not even old school, it's just stupid. I got the money under my mattress. Oh yeah, we prefer you wear it. Thank you. Get a three bet here from Fat Duck. No rush. That's Rob, has Rob been vetted? Is he okay? No, he's got three more hands, he's not okay yet. I mean, he's got, I think, three more hands, of course, he's blind, we will pick him up. Uh, when the blind comes, just in case we're throwing them out. It's going to take about 10 minutes to bet them. I might take you up on that. I might be broke. Your ass might hurt in the morning. Well, Rob makes the call, flops top pair. You can definitely take it. What's that joke about? No, no, don't start with it. Don't take it. Don't take the ride. So you went camping and you woke up and you're... All right, the first piece of information we've got in from Rob is that he is not married and he's wearing a wedding ring. What do I need to tell you? He is not married. So it appears to be, I don't know, type of long con he's running. I was going to say, I mean, now I have seen men take their wedding ring off at certain times of their life for whatever reason. I'm trying to come up with a reason why you'd wear one if you're not married. Maybe it, maybe it's to kind of give off a, I'm, I'm tighter and 
uh, needier. Uh, I, I'm a grown man. Type. Or at the poker table. Okay. If you're trying to give off a certain air, then you're correct, and someone's doing a quick read on you, the wedding ring would indicate that you're probably I'll buy the next one, buddy, if you want. Not a loose gun, just on that thing alone. Right. Yeah. But Are you or, even you, sir? I mean, when I first started play, playing poker, Always. well before I was married, there was a saying, you know, bluff the guy with the wedding ring. That's the best advice. Uh, okay, don't worry. I know a lot of cops. We're good. I think that's kind of changed, though, <laughs> now. Yeah, I haven't heard that in a long time. None of them are watching, uh, but, yeah. If I do get pulled over, literally, I pull my cell phone out, like, hey, I'm going to hurt anybody. I don't care if you get a fucking figure. I'm going to but it ain't worth it. I know. Rob here with the best of it, and I very agree. deliberate after Fat Duck's bed. That's true, I have as well. Not fun. Yeah, it's a big right, sizing, 425 into a little bit over 600. Is that that bad? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> do we have an all-in button? All-in. All-in. I might be here until 2 in the morning. Do we have an all-in button? There's <laughs> one way to go all-in. There you go. Yeah. You fucking told him. <laughs> Rob is right here. Does deny his opponent his equity. Fat Duck all... Uh, Take a moment before mucking, and there the cards go in. No bluff. I almost said a place here. Just to make us wait an hour to see it. Ah, whatever, Dylan. All right, our second piece of information Something. on Rob is that he has never okay. been to Something. New York. In fact, he has never <laughs> been east <laughs> of <laughs> Pittsburgh. So why is he wearing a New York cap? So that's the wedding ring. He's not married. He's got the New York cap. Yes. He's never been east of Pittsburgh. You tell me. The guy's got three hands left. <laughs> Yeah, we've been doing it. I'll do it all night. Norman Chad, alongside me in the commentary box. Thank you for joining us here at Hustler Casino Live. You know, Oklahoma Johnny Hale, who recently passed away, maybe last year. Oh, wow, I know, okay. Uh, he used to tell a great story that uh, well, he was married for forever. And when he used to come home at first, he'd give money to his wife when he won. But then he realized he wanted to play more. So he decided that when he came home from any poker outing to keep her happy, he would give her money every time, whether he won or lost. Now, either she was the dumbest broad in the world, thinking he was winning every session, or she was the smartest person in the world, knowing that she was playing him. But either way, he decided, you know, it's the old happy wife, happy life. Just, you know, if he's going to go out and, and be playing, and cutting the family life, he's going he's gonna to give her something when he comes home every single time to keep her happy. It was a nice move. I like it. I like that. Uh, Nate raises it up. Mariano with ace king on a button, going to three bet this. Oklahoma Johnny... He was, was he the gentleman who used to present that, uh, the trophy for the seniors tournament each year? Oh, probably. I think, I think so. The eagle, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Call 180. Thank you, thank you. Nate makes the call, and these two battling once again. Jack 5 3, one hard out there. Ace King still in the lead. Mariano a three to one favorite. Goes check check. Now there's a six. Nate a nine to one favorite. Check. When did he pass away, by the way? I think in the last, I would say the last year or two. Wow. One pair. Good. One pair is good. And speaking of old timers, there's another guy named Jesse Alto. Could be in the Poker Hall of Fame. He's not, but I, people think he, he might be. He made yeah, a couple of main. Yeah, event, he's a like Doyle Brunson contemporary. Had quite a temper. Made a couple of main event final tables. I think maybe three when it was really a small event. Uh, knew how most poker players go broke sooner or later. Well, you know, even though he's one of the greatest main event performers of the early days, when he went he went broke a lot, and when he went bust, he used to borrow money from his wife. And his wife, Bertha, and I'm not making this up, his wife, Bertha, would make him pay interest on the loan. She charged him juice. But they were married forever, and it worked. I, I'd love to know how much juice she charged. I don't know. Uh, another famous poker player, uh, of course, used to give his his uh, his winnings to his wife because he didn't trust himself in the pits, and that was, of course, T.J. Cloutier. Yeah, T.J. Uh, probably shouldn't have trusted himself in the pit. Yeah. 
275. I love TJ though. He, again, he's not an old school. He acts quickly in a tournament. Uh, when he calls an all-in, he's calling it off. You know, he'll say, "Ah, you probably have the best of it." Just put his money in. He gets beat. He gets up. He says, "Good game, gentlemen." He just walks away. Just, just everything he does, it's just bang, bang. And of course, you brought up uh, Oklahoma Johnny Hale. There, uh, the poker world has lost some big names. Over the last, you know, over the last year. Of course, uh, Mike Sexton, one of the biggest out there, uh, personality-wise, mm -hmm. poker player-wise, what he's done for the game from that perspective. And, uh, of course, recently, uh, Lane Flack, back-to-back -back Flack. Uh, do you have any Lane stories? No, I, I mean, my favorite Lane story is actually when I first barely knew him. And uh, the second or third year we were doing the World Series, they started a Fire Norman Chad uh, site. Okay. And they put out t-shirts. They made t-shirts, which I now have a box of. How do I? Oh, my. Can I have one? Yeah, I'll, I'll go. I'll have to find them. Yeah, they're pretty good. I'll, I'll okay. take a large. Okay. You got it. I, oh, I wear I, that I'll shirt. I'll see if I have a large. So we, we were doing the, back then at, on ESPN, we were doing the U.S. Poker Championships back in ta Taj, uh, Trump's Taj Mahal. Mm. It's, it's called, like, the East Coast you know, U.S. championship. I watched it. And it was, you know, it was on it was on air three or four years. It was a big deal back then. And I'm walking in to do that, and I see Lane, and he's wearing a Fire Norman Chad t-shirt. I'm going to gamble with him. And I went, Lane, really? And he said, it was free. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, sorry about that. But anyway, I, I love Lane. I, love, I got the chance to play with him three or four times at the World Series. Always a bright light at the table. Just great personality at the table. Just picked up all the people's spirits at the table. Three bet pot here, Darren. Was a three bet with Jax. Bear Jew calls. Bear Jew flops a pair of sevens. Don't think he's going to go anywhere just yet, but he did say why so much. Let's try and change it up a little bit. Bear Jew makes the call regardless of the sizing. Pot's now 1,600. Not all that concerned with an ace. I know a lot of times you got Jax, you hate seeing the ace, but when you bet 500, you really narrow Bear Jew's range. Like, he's not going to just call, you know, with just a random ace high. Uh, so it almost has to be two pair. Mm -hmm. Jax? Yeah. He knew it. He knew it. Fucking got you You're good, you're good. Oh, I knew where you were at. Why don't I fucking get you off there, Jax? Thank you. Looks like Bear Jew is going to uh, add a thousand. Adding a thousand to that. How do I not get you off your hands? That's great. Do you have a, do you have a Mike Sexton story? I, I, I did not it's prep you, so I know I'm putting you on the spot. No, you know, I met Mike. Uh, I, I didn't, obviously, I wouldn't have known Mike very well until about 10 years ago. Right. And then we ended up playing an uh, extraordinary amount of we were a bunch of charity <laughs> events together. So it's just, he's everything people said he was. Endless time for anybody, incredibly kind, incredibly charitable. Loved poker as much as anybody has ever loved poker. Uh, and I, I, I feel bad because when I didn't know him that well, we both were lucky, and I was lucky enough, to make just the final two tables of a World Series poker event. And we were at the same table for the first time, three or four years after I started doing ESPN. And a bracelet, and Mike did not, <clears throat> was was only had one bracelet in his life. A bracelet, the World Series is the most important thing in the world. Oh, sorry, guys. You know, obviously love the WPT, but a bracelet was so important to him. And we're down to to two tables and I get into a big hand with him and I was, was seven card stud eight or better and I was posturing on fifth street I was posturing on sixth street he called me again we had very few bets left I then got lucky on the river somehow to beat him out of a big pot and he was almost crippled and I got up and I said I don't care see you you, you think you're a better poker player you've got more money you're Mr. WPT you're the voice of poker you're Mr. Charity but I got all your chips okay Mr. Class Act and I was just playing to the crowd and I apologized to him a couple years later because I just felt really bad I was just by the way to show you how good he is I went out soon after that and he made the final table <laughs> Ace Queen very much in control of this one. Bear Jew's going to let the pair of jacks go. Yeah, I mean, obviously, you were just joking and having a good time with it, but I guess in retrospect, you look back and go, wait, that, that was a big moment for him. That's what I thought about so later that day. You know, I don't see him that often. I said, Gee, I just know how much Mike wants the, 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 the bracelet. And, you know, he thought deep in any tournament. I mean, my goodness. And I'm, I'm just, again, I was, You're just being a jackass. I was just being a jackass for entertainment purposes. 
I don't think that's he's the word 10, I would have used, but now I got it. It's the word I used. Okay. Do you recognize my voice? I actually did a podcast, so I host the Under the Gun podcast. Of course, Norman's been on it before, but uh, I, I did a Mike Sexton tribute podcast. And uh, had some, some people tell some great stories. I mean, of course, Tony Dunst was on it. Uh, I had uh, Matt Salisburg, Salty, who won, uh, who was a WPT player of the year one year. He came on and told me a great story about how uh, he and Matt were up till 5 in the morning walking through Venice. I mean, hey, Mike, we're up 5 in the morning. Mike Sexton? Yeah. Just, just getting lost. Right outside that door. Of course, I had Matt Savage there. They were talking about all the golf bets. Oh, Countless. All right, all right, all right. What, do you want me to wear an all white? No, 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 no. I wear that shit every time. Turn our attention back over to Hustler Casino Live. We're playing 5 5 10. Bear Jew with a flush draw. Cowboy John with a gut shot. Seven. Now Bear Jew picks up a wheel draw. Ace high was good, and he wins it. Thank you. Okay, Billion C8 out. Another one of my favorites from the World Series, uh, another old timer, right. Jay Heimowitz, who has five or six bracelets. One's in the senior event. Uh, and I was watching the 1981 or 82 main event that was on tape. Kurt Gowdy was actually doing the the highlights of all. You know, Kurt Gowdy, one of the greatest sportscasters back in the 60s and 70s, NBC's lead guy on baseball and the NFL. And Jay Hamoids told him a story that uh, when he got into poker, he was earning like $100, $125 a week in whatever his business was. And he, uh, he hadn't played poker since, since he was in the Army. And he started playing again in a small game, like 25 cent, 50 cent game. And he was winning like 20 bucks a week. And the he just said the 20 bucks a week allowed for him and his wife to go out to dinner once a week. And he thought that was great. And so then he said, he, I got a brainstorm that instead of playing once a week, <laughs> if I played twice a week, we can go out twice a week for dinner. And so he just, so he went from there. He started winning it twice a week and they said, screw the screw the business for 125 a week. And he went on to play, poker was his profession. He won five or six bracelets and he's still around playing. The cautionary tale of that story, I think is, eventually you get to the point where there, you run out of nights. So you're playing poker every night because you're thinking, I've got to make enough money to take my wife out to dinner but you're playing poker every night, and then your wife's just sitting home. You know, that's why I have proposed going to an eight-day week. Uh, if you throw in another day there, I know most poker players who are degenerates would just play poker all eight days of the week. Yeah. But I think it gives you another night to stay at home. So I'd, I'd go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, B's Day, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So B's Day you know, would be between Thursday and Friday. And you have an eight-day week. Kind of like that fat duck three betting here. Gets called in two spots. Not necessarily the flop you're looking for with Ace King. And Antonius with a pair of nines. Bear Jew with just eight high. Is that it right there? That's an hour delay. First time ever I'd be on like camera. Oh yeah. So Fat Tuck with the three bet out of the straddle and then just the check fold. And the other thing, Tuck, is I don't I get tired of the I can't figure out which months are 30 and 31 days off the top of my head. Yeah, I know there's some song it's April has a blah 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 blah. But if you go with the eight-day week, I'd go with the 32-day month for eight-day weeks. Okay? So then you go with I'd go with eleven months and I'd get rid of February. You go with eleven months at thirty-two days. That's three hundred and fifty-two days. And then you have a thirteen week like festivus, thirteen day festivus. Like at some point it's like thirteen days that don't count to any month. And everything just, just it's like a it's like a big woodstock. It's 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 you know Lollapalooza and rock something, but 11 32 day months, four eight day weeks. You don't have any confusion. Oh, it's Tuesday. Is the 11th next month the Tuesday or Wednesday? Every day of every month is the same. Is this not brilliant? I, I, I mean, brilliant's a, a word. I'm not sure if it's the word I would choose to 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 describe this, but I will say as an added benefit to your 
your proposal to get rid of February. We do get rid of Valentine's Day by doing this. Thank you. I didn't even think of that. Which is just an added benefit. I understand. That didn't even come into my thinking. Just gave me another eyes. Can somebody do it? And what would, the, what would the extra day be called again? I, we can change that. That's up for debate. But I just, I just, when I first thought of it, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, B's Day, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Just rolled off my tongue. B's Day. Like B-E-Z Day. B's Day. Right. So, so I like it. I like it. I think I can get behind it. Um, <laughs> okay, if that's the case, please. I mean, I dated one girl many, many, many moons ago who was born in February, but... I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I mean, she was a bitch. Check, check, check. So, no, 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 I, I don't care if she loses her birthday. No, no, we, it's Valentine's right. Day is worthless. If you check ahead, Listen, I, I had many girlfriends yeah. in my you, life. You're willing to change the calendar just because you dated one girl many, many, many moons ago who was whatever you just said? <laughs> no, I wouldn't change it because of that. I'm merely, saying, I'm merely saying that I would. Right, it's just another benefit uh, to whatever you've already pointed out. There's a look at Luis. Luis is our uh, our dedicated floor man. He covers, uh, he runs the Hustle Casino Live games. Wow. No, 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 no. Go according to the book. Don't let okay. anything be slide. But we have to be careful with that because if it sets up, the check's gonna stand. Okay? But there's two out of turns here. So you guys uh, for So if it was if it was right, two people, I just wanna learn. If it was two people like heads up, I just before wanna the learn top, how to play and, poker. and he's first act and I say I'm all in. <laughs> and if if he doesn't bet, then you're all in. Wow. Yeah. Can you just go all in? That's all I want to know. Yeah. <laughs> I heard it. Am I all in? <laughs> I'm so confused. Am I all in? He checked, and then what did he do? He was he was talking about the clock before and He didn't he check it. He said I check, and then he said I check, and then I said. First he says, "Do I have to blind? To do I have to bet blind?" Check. So now they're wanting to know if they have. That's not true. Action. You didn't even put the flop. I understand, but I'm she pulling the bets in, and the flop is about to come out. It's it's. So what do we do? Okay. And he only yeah. checked after the flop, so she's kind of go. bending the truth over here. Listen, well, let's I'm, just go I'm with not the check. Fifty dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are because you only checked after the flop. Okay, let's just go with the check for this one. Oh yeah, it's fine. I just want to know what the rule is. Then I'll talk to you guys after. Is it my turn to act or is it? It's yours. It's yours. Four ways. He already checked. I'll check. 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 That's 133 seconds. We'll never get back. Norman. <laughs> that was a situation I hadn't seen before. Yeah, Darren has picked up a nut flush draw. I didn't even want to. She's also got a wheel draw with the ace. He's gonna bet it. I don't even have a hand to bet, bro. I just want to know exactly what the rule is. I've never heard of such a thing. We're talking like shit before the flop, and it's like binding. That's uh, that's I've never heard of that. All right, guys, thanks so much. Well, I understand, you know, the, we're gonna get a dealer change here, but he's saying, you know, oh, we're, we're talking these? shit before the hand and it's binding, <laughs> but it is. I mean, we've, we've heard people say, check You're line. The best. Thank yeah. you. Thank that check line is binding. Best. You can't then go. Oh, now she I'm gonna is, bet bro. because I know she is. Right. Her, um, and if you bet in the dark, which is a thing, that bet counts. She's actually yeah, and you can't, as you as he says, talking shit before the block. You can't come in to make a judgment call on whether he's talking seriously or talking. Yeah, you know, it's yep. the words are black and white essentially. So they they are binding. She's quitting right now. Let me have him explain this to you. Bomb pot, put your bomb pot. This sounds good. Bomb pot. Yes, sir. Bomb pot. That's how you won the first one. Oh, that's right, John. Okay, but last time no, he bit on the flop. No. Did I win in bomb pot? No, You're I not didn't. supposed to do that. Okay, so. <laughs> not in bomb pot. <laughs> I, I wasn't even paying attention to it. You're not supposed to do it. My bad. I'm okay, sorry. work your magic, Jared. I know. I know. I still do something. Thank you. Oh, okay. Check. I still need to run a runner, but. <laughs> but I have options. Pair of eight here. Pair of eights for. Uh, you know what? I'm going to check because I know something. Fat Duck. Pair of nines yeah. for Cowboy John. Button has to bet. What's his name? Yeah. Eights for Rocky. 150. The button does not have to bet, but Rocky decides to bet 150 into 400. Again, this is a straddled pot. I'm sorry, this is a bomb pot. $50 a person. 
Cowboy John makes the call. Pot's now 700. Really? I had a shoot all the Like really bad. One more thing. That's up here between 9, 7, and 8, 5. Famous city. Think of it? Well, let just think of it. I won't say yes. If you have to guess, famous city. What would you guess? I'm thinking about it, but there are hands. Check, check. Cowboy John now rivers two pairs. Nines were already good. Bottom left corner of your screen, you'll see the players' graphics. What their stack size is, what position they're in. That check mark next to Cowboy John's name and cards indicates he has won the hand if it goes to showdown. What's that? What's that? Oh, no, that's it. I think it's the possibility. That is a possibility. What do you got? So you were turned. Did you know that the guy's not funny? I just have one pair, but I don't like that seven. I think they're fucking around. I think seven and seven. I'll put you on some kind of draw. Oh. Yeah, you uh, <laughs> what time right now? Rocky that thinks that one's through. Let's it go. I we continue on. Queen. That was a winner, right? No. No. Norman Chad, David Tuckman here for what? Hustler Casino Live. Like We're back at it tomorrow. When I say we, I mean the show. All right. It's back tomorrow, 5 p.m. Pacific time. Tomorrow night is a 10 20 20 game. The blinds are 10 20. The big blind ante is 20. That game usually ends up being a 10 20 40 game. And then, of course, Friday, it is the big game. Garrett, Andy Stacks, Gull. Hello. Playing 5100 probably uh, will turn into a 5100 yeah, 200 like game. Most people like French. Yeah, that's cute. Cool. Sounds cute. Cool. Yeah, our yes. our golden doodle. He's like the smartest dog I've ever smartest? seen. He's like super super I know. smart. Oh, yeah. The other one just crazy. <laughs> he's a herding dog. But if so I would have said like, all in, everywhere and like I would have bought yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, it's something uh, weird. I he's a. Uh, I kind of listen. I kind of didn't. Uh, Aussie doodle, right? So he's quick with all the Australian Shepherd. Oh yeah. So he's always trying to like. He has a bunch of toys. Mm -hmm. Gathers the toys in a pile. Yeah. And he sees a lot of people, he goes crazy. How old is he? Uh, he just turned one. Oh, it's still a baby. Yeah, it's still a puppy. So. Raise 425. Look at these hands and Mariano on the button with pocket aces. Yeah, and this is a tough spot for Nate. I mean, you got ace king, you are out of position, you think, you know, the, the, a button open. A button three bet doesn't need to be a huge hand. Plus, these two players have history. And Nate remembers Mariano three betting with ace five of clubs earlier on. So, very unlikely for Nate to fold this. He could four bet it, though. These players are deep, too. And Nate does just call. I would have put all in. And, uh, a lot of diamonds out there. Nate's got the ace of diamonds. But if I sit all in, and if you would have bet $100, then I'm off the hook for that. So, I mean, but you can still go all in. It doesn't matter. You can still go all in, but you're not binded to it. It's something like that. I don't know. It's something weird. I don't know what's fucking weird. So, meaning if I am checked, then he has said all in. 280. Yeah, yeah, exactly. If you check, we check. Right. What I'm saying is, if he's going to go through it, what we talk, it stays or not. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so what if, so, okay, so you can have that once you check, that's what That's my last Yeah, yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. Once he checked, our shit is binded. But, even, but if you would have put like $10, then we yeah. could do whatever the fuck we want. It's even, even the same before the flop, so that's a crazy part. That's, yeah, well, that's what got me off, yeah, that's what I'm like, really? Nate What's makes the call. Not really. Not really. Just under fifteen hundred dollars. Oh, if you check out going. More outs here for Nate. He gets Jack. So a Jack or a Diamond. He might think his ace is good as well. I think if I'm Mariano, I want to double barrel this. You're going to get called by. Anybody who has a queen, you're going to get called by diamonds. For sure, you want to charge anybody who's got a diamond or straight draw. Yeah, I mean, if Mariano had the ace of diamonds in his hand, it'd be a little different. But even then, I think. He's looking like he's sleeping over there. Is that 17? Wow. 17? Jared, one drop. Mariano yeah, dials yeah, it up. Pot size down. bed here. Check the floor. <laughs> Did somebody grab it? Oh, he's There's a chip down. 
So Nate is three to one to lose the hand, as you can see in the left corner, your bottom left corner of your screen. But he's only getting two to one here. More on the floor. Wow. In direct odds. Well, how about implied odds? Oh, that's the question, really. I mean, okay, if you hit a diamond, are you going to get paid? I don't think so. So. You're welcome. You have the best forget about implied odds. I mean, if you hit a jack, maybe you get paid. Here, but he's also out of position, too. Stop asking, yes, he's fucking stuttering all night. All right? <laughs> all night. Ryan, they're starting to be mean to me. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 okay. See, look at that wine fridge. See any wine in there? Actually, right, okay, right now I don't. Now I got a better look at it. It's a different yeah, right, right. angle. It's completely empty. But it's on. It's plugged in. They got the temperature, right? Plugged in. I see the temperature. All There's right. no wine in there. It's kind of a waste of a wine fridge. Thank you. And if they don't want it, I will take it. I could use a second wine fridge. But uh, I don't even have one. You can just take it for yourself. Sure. You have wine in a box. I don't drink wine in a box anymore. I told you that. I don't fucking believe anything. I don't believe anything I said. Wine in the box was really marketed well back then. I put a, I put a really good picture of that wine bottle. Do you want me to call your uncle? Good luck with that. His line is his, his, nine, his number is now disconnected. His line has been <laughs> okay. Cowboy John picks up Cowboys. Damn Cowboy. He should get action here. So you okay? You have been commentating on poker on No Limit Hold'em for is it going on 20 years, 19 years? Started in 03, so 17, 18 years. Okay. I, and this is a genuine question. I'm not even trying to be snarky like I normally would be. Have you, just from watching and talking to production, people in production that play the game and watch the game and talking to analysts and, and watching live streams, have you picked up a lot? Do you think you're better? Okay, it's two different questions. Have I picked up a lot? Not nearly as enough as I should have. Am I better? Of course I have to be better. I started at, you know, at a very, very low bar. So there's a learning curve, and I have had, frankly, a very slow learning curve. I have not paid that much attention uh, to the strategy end of it. And to be frank, when I play my other games, uh, I don't even pick up that much. I, I, you know, I'm better than average of a rec player, but I don't get better over the years. I just, I'm playing because I enjoy it and I'm trying to win, but I haven't really concentrated on all the different analytics of any game I play or watch. Three bet from Cowboy John, a continuation bet from Cowboy John, and the hand is over as he wins a small one. So have you ever studied? I mean, you, you play all the horse games. I know you, 08, stud eight are your two favorite games. Have you, have you ever studied? Have you ever read a, a, a training book? Have you watched a training video? Or is this just flying by the seat of your pants? It's flying by the seat of the pants. Occasionally, I'll read an article that I'll see online about, you know, Stud 8 or Omaha 8, and it'll tell me something I didn't know, and I just I get bored by the article. You, you got know. kings from? Back in the day, did you read Card Player Magazine? Card Player Magazine, yeah. by the way, was in every poker room, and it used to be filled with strategy articles. Now it's got fluff. I don't even know. I haven't read one of those in a while. They still have strategy articles. They do? Okay. Yeah. Like Roy Cook. Remember Roy, Roy Cook? Cook? Roy Cook, limit, pull them. He, he, he made a living thing, off of, what, 40, thing, 80, 30, 60 yeah, in Las Vegas? The best thing about Roy, though, is he'd, he'd do a strategy article about 38, 30, 60, or 40, 80 limit, but then at the end of it, there was, uh, hey, and if you're looking for a real estate, I could be a real estate agent, which pretty much tells you everything you need to know about his poker plan. Okay, <laughs> he would disagree with you, but I, I thought the same thing. I'm kidding. You know, <laughs> and, and, and in fairness, there are a lot of poker players that have turned into real estate agents because I, I think the flexibility is there, and for a lot of a lot of those poker players, they're social people. They're good at people skills. Correct. So it makes sense. And now, if you're in Las Vegas, please contact Karina Jet for all your real estate <laughs> needs. She's a people person. She's a good poker player. I love Karina. And she's, she's a good great. realtor. Yeah. Now, I can't tell you how many training manuals I've read on Racco and Uno. So my game there has gotten a lot better since I was uh, a teenager. I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued to know if anybody out there has played a game of Racco. Because Norman gave, uh, gave my, our sons the game. 
As you know, I love that game. It's great for all ages. It's, it's really missed its calling. It should have a much bigger uh, amount of sales. Bear Jew is just not a believer. He does not want to bowl today. Nate is fired. The pot is now 1,400. As uh, Surf and Snowboard says, Bear Jew has a read. It's good, buddy. No, I think you're right. I, I like still should have called it. The read was right this time. Well, if you call every time, your read's going to be right sometimes. Barry Woods, who's been on our show before. I remember I used to think Barry Woods was just genius because like, he called again. How does he know? And then he just realized months later he just never folds. So. Thank you, Rumi. It's not nearly as impressive. By the way, for those of you who are not even thinking about Racco yet, besides the fact it's fun for any age, it's actually, if you want to do it, it's actually a great gambling game. There's just, you, you can, you know, you can bet. I mean, you can, you can bet on a lot of different things in Racco. Uh, so. well, Trevor Harris loves a good game of Racco. Trevor, oh, and, and the chat? Yes. Yeah, there you go. I want to thank all of you for joining us. We are uh, here at the Hustler Casino. Just eight short miles from the beach. Hustler Casino Live, Monday through Friday, 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. Sometimes we do overtime. Fridays go to 11. Sorry, Cowboy, you're right. On one of Mariano's, uh, there's Mary, uh, that's not Mariano, on one of Mariano's vlogs over there on the far left, the vlogs I was watching, he did one from Southern California from the beach. And he talked about he had been in Texas, and Texas is much better than California right now for poker. Uh, he said he's probably right. Lower rake, better games, friendlier people. But he says California's got all over Texas for one thing, and that's the beaches. And he's absolutely correct. I used to tell my, my stepkids when they were growing up, I'd tell them they want to go to the beach, they'd go, no. i tell them the Pacific Ocean is the number one ranked ocean in the world. Why don't you want to go to the beach? Is it the number one ranked ocean? Yeah, you, you, you sound like my stepdaughter, Mia, who's like eight years old, goes, to, who, who ranks oceans? I said, I don't want to hear from you. There's, there's, it, there's rankings, and it's number one. And at that time, there were only four, there were only four oceans. You know, we added a fifth last good news year. Hey, how, how do you add a fifth ocean after you Earth's been lose, around for like two, win. three, four thousand years or longer? They added a fifth ocean last year. Okay, but yeah, Pacific's easily the number one. Nobody, I mean, there's nobody else. He's that's got, close to the Pacific. He's got eight, I fold. Who are you going to put ahead of the Pacific? I, I mean, who am I to argue? I, I don't have, I'm not privy to these rankings, so I'll, I'll go along well, with what okay. you're saying. I, I, I'm surprised. I, you know, I've lived in California for a while, and I think the beaches and the water in Southern California, I'm like, eh, it's cold. Like, I know growing up in New York, I used to go to exactly. the beaches on the East Coast. The water gets warm. Human. It's oh, nice. So I, it's okay. so I used to rank the top five oceans, even though there's only four of them. Okay, so number five no. was the no. uh, Get him a full Arctic Ocean. I'm talking about cold. Yeah, that's it's not a good ocean. Bad. Okay. Number four, and people just get mad at me with this, was the Atlantic. I just thought it was it's seen its day. It was overrated. It was a has-been. So I put that at number four. At number three was the Indian Ocean. <laughs> Who doesn't like a good Indian Ocean? That's a good ocean. Breeze. At number two, and this is where I used to get in a lot of trouble, I put the Mediterranean Sea. Is that an ocean? That's what people said. It's not even an ocean. Oh, okay. okay. It is a sea. It's a sea disguised as an ocean. It is. It is. Who? First of all, who doesn't want to be on the Mediterranean? <laughs> Two, the Mediterranean is the cradle of civilization. That's where all the Greek philosophers came from. That's where they all, you know, they did beach blanket bingo on the Mediterranean. So the Mediterranean was number two, and then the Pacific is a runaway number one. I don't want to hear I mean, If the Mediterranean is part of your, your, your ranking, do you put the Adriatic Sea in there as well? Uh, okay. No. Okay, the Mediterranean, and that's a good question, because there's all these other seas, like the Dead Sea, the Baltic Sea, all these other seas. Right. The Mediterranean is its own special place. Its own special you know? place. So the Mediterranean is the only sea that I elevate to an ocean. Uh, yeah, it's an ocean disguised as a sea. I said it the wrong way. Thank you, alias M80. And uh, so, yeah, it's number two. And the Atlantic Ocean, I only have number four. Sorry. Rob just folded a pair of fours. Nobody else has anything here. So it looks like Darren will win this hand. And he does. What about the Caribbean Ocean? What Caribbean Ocean? Caribbean's not, that's not. That's not an ocean. Okay. But the Mediterranean is. I just, I just want to get clear. I want to see where we're going at. So the Caribbean, the Caribbean is just not, it's not its own entity. Okay. Okay. I forget, like 70% of 
earth is covered by water. Okay? The other 30% is covered by morons like yourself. It's not an ocean. I just told you there's four oceans, now we have the fifth, the southern ocean. All of a sudden we have an ocean, the Antarctic, they claim that's an ocean. You know, it's like maybe you can buy your way to the Hollywood Walk of Fame, maybe the southern ocean said that we're going to give you a million dollars, call us an ocean. So I don't, I don't, I haven't been to the southern, I can't rank it in my top five yet. Okay, fair enough. Mediterranean game moved out of my top five. I don't care who says what. I'm sweating with this. Are you? Yes. We're our first jacket. And gulfs are clearly not oceans, right? Thank you, John. That was a good one. Why do you think it's called a gulf? Well, I mean, I, I got confused with the Mediterranean. That's why it's called the Gulf of Mexico. Okay. Okay. That's why, I just want to be clear on the rules of ocean ranking. Are triangles clearly not squares? Duh. It's a triangle. It's got three sides. A square's got four sides. Norman Chad, folks. You want, you want a marina to be an ocean now? He'll be back on Thursday, next Thursday, with Lon McCarran. <laughs> Ace, eight, seven. Uh, pair eights here for Rocky are the best hands. He's going to fold, though. And Rob is going to bet his pair of sevens back to a club draw. He's going to win it. Nicer, somebody uh, <coughs> go with me. We <laughs> least, least on the street or two. Right, I want to thank all of you for joining us and yeah. and. Uh, Anybody know the score? Yeah. I guess you know. Wow. Okay. okay. On your phone. I mean, I'm not <laughs> anti Pacific Ocean. I trouble. will say, because I love going to Hawaii. I know Angel. And I love. Yeah, you know, that's. Yeah, yeah, I just say the Southern California Ocean. It can get chilly. Like it's no, not a swimming beach. I understand that, and actually the the water isn't as pure here. If you even when you go down to San Diego, it gets a little bluer, and as you make your way. Mm. Towards Hawaii, that's more blue, pure, right warmer right water. Right. I understand what you're saying, but come on, yeah. Yeah, you ever gone to Jones Beach on a summer day? <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. You're elbow to elbow well, we next to every person in a in a 200 mile radius. So you just got to pay like 62 dollars yeah. and get a yearly membership, and then you don't you get your own private beach. Oh, Mister, I got a wine refrigerator, a wine fridge, and I get my own private beach. Well, well, here it's endless beach, okay? You know what? Maybe if you started counting those six dollars here, six dollars there, when you win poker, you could do it. See, when I win 360. It's not 300. It's 306. I take yes, that six dollars and I put it in my Jones Beach funds. Three. Okay. Oh put that in your pipe and smoke so it. Yeah, well. Would you want a horse which too? Which you take the six dollars and uh, buy a I'm muzzle? A barrel racer. She just sold. Ten seven five. Top two here for Rob. Got three if you want to. What the hell's a barrel? They jump the barrel. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we have to go real fast. Slow down. Uh, why, did, why did he check and you were first at? Huh? Oh, uh, sorry, I didn't. Was I supposed uh, to check? No, you were supposed to do whatever the <laughs> fuck you want. I just thought, oh, I just waited. Yeah. And he bet, I'm like, wait a minute. I, I don't know what's going on. This is for you, Daniel. Hey, you're in the small blind. You're not supposed to bet. You're supposed <laughs> to check to me. I, or something wait, out there. he's not passed away. I don't know. No, 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 but I didn't know what the cards were out there. You're <laughs> yeah, watching that? Hustler Casino okay, one Live. Person we're playing 5 5 10. Norman Chad in the booth will get it, right? There you go. Are you talking to them right now? No, no. <laughs> They're talking to you, Norman. I, I just heard my name. I didn't hear what he said to me or asked me. But the answer is sure. Just tell me what time. He thinks Ace Queen is trash. John's inquiring about Norman Chad's favorite starting hand. Besides Ace. No, they're talking about Ace Queen, and, and I don't play Ace Queen, but I got that from Doyle. Doyle, uh, I read that early on that, you know, Ace Queen, he lost Whatever more money on Ace Queen than any other hand he played. Hand that, and so he stopped playing it. Now, I talked to him more recently, and he says, yeah, well, that's, you know, I was saying that back then, but I played it many times since then. But he convinced me that Ace Queen can get you into so much trouble, and it's really a good argument how much trouble Ace Queen gets you into. So I stay away from Ace Queen. He told me right after. Doyle's got 10 bracelets, but I kid him that it really should be nine and a half because back in the day, you know, we just, the last couple of years we've had the tag team at the World Series, which is a fun event. Uh, they used to have mixed doubles. He won one of his bracelets in mixed doubles uh, with his female partner, uh, Starla Brody. So I tell him he's only got uh, nine and a half, nine and a half bracelets, not 10. It's 114 to one to flop a flop. I one pot. Really? Really, yeah. No cards. Even a top pair. Get a bet here from Cowboy John. Don't know what he has. Rob has the ace of diamonds. Sorry, sorry. Rocky's got two nines, nine of diamonds. He's going to let that go. Antonius folds. Yeah. And uh, pot's 255. Heads up between Cowboy John and Rob. Flopping a flush is 114 to 1. 125. 210, I think, to get aces, right? 
or any pair after you get the first call. Hey, John, can you push your cards into the box? Hey, didn't they nickname Ace Queen walking back to Houston? That's, I don't know if that's a great nickname for a hand like that. Yeah. yeah. And, and the meaning behind yeah. that was if you overplay Ace Queen, you'll be, you're walking back. You're, you're, yeah, you're, you're losing walking. your money. Exactly. Uh, uh, I'm going to go back to that game. Yeah. Oh, my God, I broke. It, now, I've heard, by the way, as we see this one run out, uh, Cowboy John, by the way, with just a pair of sevens, is good. Uh, I'm not sure if he knows he's bluffing or not, but I assume he thinks he's bluffing, but he has the best hand. <laughs> so people are, people are telling me that Ace King is walking back to Houston. I thought it was Ace Queen. I'm gonna get this cleared up. What about the story behind uh, uh, the dead man's hand? Ace eight, two pair. I know you were actually in that saloon that night. I want to say that was the 1860s or 1850s. So you were there for that. And tell us what happened. Is that well, true story? Yeah, it is. And uh, actually. So while Bill Hickok, who was a terrible winner and a terrible loser, <laughs> let me know and I'll tell you. And he was always conscious that people might want to literally take a shot at him. And he had beaten somebody, and then after he beaten this guy a day or two earlier, he talked smack to him afterwards, which is not a good idea, as you know. It's not a graceful winner. So he came back the next day, and back then this is when they're, you know, they're playing five card, they're playing five card draw, they're playing five card stud. Is that back in that day. Oh, uh, you gotta make it so oh, they were playing five card track. draw. And Wild Bill that night had his back to the door. This is why you know, mobsters don't ever have their back to the window or back to the door as we now know. They always want to see the whole place. And the guy who he'd given the, the, you know, the business to, this is another reason not to give business to somebody, came back with a pistol that night. And he was holding aces and eights. And the mystery is that we do not know what the fifth card was. There's always been a lot of debate what that fifth card was, just for the heck of it. But he's holding aces and eights. And that's when he got shot to death. And that was uh, that's why we call it Dead Man's Hand. What do I have out there, 140? I took a or seat. 40. I was waiting at the bar. There's a seat open, you know. I can hear Norb there going, they just, they, just, they just shoved him over and... <laughs> well, yeah, that's why, I, you know, when I used to watch football, especially when I had a bet on the game, when there's an injury near the sideline and they're, they're attending to him, just move him three feet to the sideline. Let's go, I, you know. I got to get to hit the over. Let's let's see if they're going to score. So yeah, they I, you know seat open. You know the, the saloon's not open all night then. There were blue loss. So yeah, get get Wild Bill out of there. He wasn't going to survive. And I came in. We've got an action hand here. Over pair for Bear Jew. Flush draw for Nate. Darren gets out of the way with fives. Board pairs nines are still good. Nate looking for an ace or a club. And he's gonna take the card. And miss. Check back, go down. And uh, Nate decides not to try to rep the queen. Thank you. Berger's gonna win it nice. with nine. So we continue on here. Hustler Casino Live, playing mm -hmm. five, five, ten. Call that like I always do. Thank you, brother. Yeah, well, indeed, uh, again, uh, in the chat, alias uh, M80 telling us that it is the Ace King. He says what he's yeah, talking about, the, uh, about the Ace King, all comes from TJ Cloutier, one of TJ Cloutier's books. And he said they would call Ace King a drawing hand, uh, which actually a lot of people do as, as a, a nice little poker humor there. That's, you, know, you don't even know. You can't even beat a pair of pocket juices. So. so maybe it is Ace King. I thought, like, Tucker was Ace Queen. <laughs> nice try. Shadow with the blind race. <laughs> race 50. Mariano had the good start to the night. Pretty much was doing pretty well. Has been pretty quiet over the last hour. And here after the Mariano raise on the button. Fat Duck just smooth calling out of the small blind with the walk back to Houston hey, hand. Or in this case, walk back to Pomona. I would never walk to Pomona. I don't even like driving to Pomona. Just 
King, still good here. Bear Jew. Betting 250 and Tom <clears throat> Fat Duck. I just let it go. She might have checked raise there. But I would have let it go. I wouldn't have called. Bear Jew misses his spade draw. Fat Duck was not a believer on the turn. Will he be a believer here for a nearly pot sized bet? Confidently. Does not look like it's going to hold up. Good call from Fat Duck. Really good call, brother. Yep. First pot today. First call today? First pot. No, first pot today. It has been a slow day for Fat Duck Poker. First pot, yeah. I'm really proud of you. I didn't know it was that slow. There, <laughs> too. It's proud. Thanks. I'm sure he really wanted to know. Take it in so. chips for the first time. It's going to be the challenge. Let me know when you get laid, buddy. <laughs> I'm scary, man. You give a 20? Yep. Roasted at the line. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Win one hand. Straddle again for me? Uh, you don't have to. No, I'm going to do it. I was in the rattle. You got a bunch of blue. I know, but I don't know how that works. All right, just remember that, guys. When you're clear, you're losing me. Hey, no pee total. after the button. Uh, <laughs> strict rules here. I'll just pee right there. We get a cup or something. Got the back. One second, here. I didn't take off my diaper. Not much happening in the blinds. Yeah. And then. Uh, Tuck says to his friend, I have to, Irv, but you? <laughs> it's one of my favorite jokes. Oh. Yeah, it's a good one. That is a good one. King high flop, two diamonds out there. Cowboy John with a flush draw. Norman, have you done stand up? Okay, there's uh, apparently, I don't know if you're, again, you're just trolling me. But I found out coming out of college that there's a fine line between stand-up comedy and stand-up tragedy. I did stand-up for a couple of years, and let me just tell you I wasn't very good. Okay. I missed. Queen high. Oh, 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 oh. That's got to be frustrating for Cowboy John. I was hoping you'd bet on the river so I could have a hero moment. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I turned a bet. I turned a bet was on the turn, but I did that when the kid came out last time. I got, I'm not going to get away with that twice. Why <laughs> King Seven? Bro. But there's zero percent chance you call there if you bet 125. King Seven. <clears throat> right? <laughs> how, good of an act, how, how good of an actor were you when you were acting? Uh, I was. Uh, I, I think I was pretty good. Actually, yeah, it's pretty good. It's a tough. It's a tough profession. You'd be it's really good profession. and you'd get nowhere. Yeah, so yeah. That's different. Uh, that's not. I, mean, I would say that for every uh, actor in Los Angeles that makes it, there's probably another hundred that are equally as talented that didn't make it. For sure. String call. I think at the end of the day, it has very little to do with talent. And it's the same as surfing. Same as your surfing career. It's a. There's a lot of factors that go beyond talent. In Hollywood. No, they really are. <clears throat> Once again, you are watching Hustler Casino Live. Live streaming cash games Monday through Friday here at Hustler Casino. Tonight's our uh, smallest game of the week. It's a 5-5-10 five, 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 game. Darren picks up Queens. Get a raise here from Mariano to 70. Fat Duck, three bets. Darren just calls with Queens. Thank <clears throat> you. So what's the highest finish ever in the main event for an actor or a comedian? Can I get a crone to light or a crone, I mean? You can think about it. Four, four, six. Ten. Ten. Doesn't look bad at all. That's like you had the extra yeah. small pizza. <laughs> 
10 high flop. Remember, Fat Jack was the three better. 300. Mariano with a flush draw. Darren still with the best hand with Queens. He's going to bet 300. See if Mariano wants to play this hand aggressively or just call. He's got just to call. Pot is 1530. Fat Duck, the original three better with the hat. Action on him with a pair of tens. Hmm. So the best finish from a comedian or an actor in the main event. In the World Series Poker main event. Queens somehow hold up here. The 10-8 for Fat Duck went in the muck. I got Queens. Queens are good. I thought you were going bet something. Hopefully not too much. <laughs> oh, I mean, if he went all in, I think I might have a problem, but... <laughs> Nice little pop there for Darren, who uh, sporting that Yacht Club hat. Oops. <laughs> Best finish ever by a comedian or an actor in the World Series Poker Man event. Was it, is it relatively recently or is it no, way back not. when? See, I, so I, 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 see I, I know Jason Alexander had a very deep run. So I was thinking, but then I thought, this is a trick question, and it's going to go back to the 70s, where some random r actor or comedian played. Let me help. I would not be, a, I wouldn't be giving you a random actor or comedian. The two people with the deepest runs both had very successful primetime television shows. Oh, wow, okay. So these, these are big names. Are you dipping me? I am curious if the chat knows. Oh, the chat is saying Gabe Kaplan. Thank you. That's a pretty good guess. <clears throat> Gabe Kaplan, 1980. Is that right? They have right, right guy, wrong uh, every, uh, wrong uh, year. So, first of all, in 1986, Gabe finished 21st in the main event. Wow! I did not know he finished. I did, I did not. I mean, obviously, I knew Gabe Kaplan played poker. Yeah. Did not know that he ever right, finished that. Smaller fields, but 1986. Five years later, in 1991, Gabe finished 13th in the main event, which is the highest finish ever. And the year after him, in 1992, also finishing 21st, which is what Gabe did the first time, Telly Savalas, Kojak. Who wants another drink? On me. That is, that is fantastic. I, 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 did never, I didn't realize that Telly Savalas was that serious a poker player. Yeah, he was. How uh, possible we might get more than 10 minutes an hour? We don't have like. He was. He was baby before Scotty went. Who loves your baby? Round number two. From Kojak. I mean, is there anybody? Yeah, I mean, Telly Savalas. I, I, uh, I'm too, too young to, to watch Kojak, but I remember seeing movies reference it. And obviously, I know who Telly Savalas is, that infamous, famous bald head. Yeah, great dough. A lollipop in his mouth in Kojak. Yeah, I, I've seen all the reruns. It's, it was really a, a very, very well-written uh, cop show ahead of its 60s? time. No, no, no. 70s. 70s. Okay. 70s. Yeah. Rocky with top pair here. Facing a bet of 125. He's going to call. Again, the buy-in for this game is 1,000 to 3,000. You'll notice a lot of the players at the table have an excess of 3,000 already. As we have uh, had numerous players get felted. Cowboy John's going to continue betting here. <laughs> One plus eight. I mean, there's two spades, two clubs out there, and you can see that Cowboy John is drawing dead. You could have waited. I already bet for you twice. So I you know. want me to bet for you on the I don't want to bet in the river because then you're going to be like, what the hell? No, I don't call you. You got the oh. same amount of money. Anybody else want to call you? He's trappy, trappy, trappy. He's trying to trap you. Anybody? <laughs> No drinking? No, I, I mean, if I bet on the turn. Somebody in the chat wanted to know, uh, Norman, are you excited for rounders too? I know, I mean, if I rate. If it ever happens, I will greatly anticipate it. 
I prefer, you know, most sequels are nowhere close to the original, in almost every case, there's virtually very few exceptions. I prefer sequels to remakes. I never know why they remake a really, really good film, because they can just screw it up the second time. So that's happened many, many times, but I, I do help Rounders 2 happens. And I'd, I like to think, I'd like I'll to think they waited the so river. long oh, with it that they know, yeah. come yeah, up I with mean, a storyline that is I knew you didn't have a draw, compelling. So, you were like, what do you need? <laughs> yeah, I don't know if the time they waited helps coming up with a storyline that's compelling. You just don't know. And sometimes you wait too long, you get rusty. Kanish is like 82 years old now. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Yeah, thanks, Jared. And we don't know. Again, Brian Koppelman gets tired of this question, but we don't. We never know. You know, what of the which one of the cast would be back if they're cutting a deal to do it, and what they're going to do with it. Yeah. So. And said billions is back, I believe, uh, this month. And Brian Koppelman, of course. Uh, well, uh, ridiculously uh, successful yeah, let, let Hollywood producer right, and writer, <clears throat> huge yeah, poker yeah. fan, was the uh, the gonna writer gonna and creator of Rounders. Corona? Corona. Anybody else, guys? Uh, Co-writer with his uh, his writing, right. but David Levine. Okay. What do you got? Right. And then uh, one more Corona. <laughs> Pair fives, both Mariano and Cowboy John. <laughs> I almost announced it right now. AG says, Norman, if it wasn't for you, I would have never watched Rounders. That's interesting. Well, that's weird. I guess they went back to watch Rounders after they started, got interested in the poker. I would assume so. There Rounders was a small, is 1997, right? Rounders, 90, yeah. 98 maybe. 98. And it, it actually caused a small, there was a Rounders mm. effect uh, around the country. More people want to play No Limit. There was an, actually a minor Varconi effect when he won the year before Moneymaker. It spiked the field by about 30% the next year. Uh, and then, of course, the moneymaker effect. Well, it's always interesting. By the way, both players hit their uh, trip fives in a turn here. I'll let you get there. I'll let you uh, chop it. And they're going to chop that one up. You know, everybody always talks about, you know, what was the boom? And it was such a it's such a combination of effect, you know? I mean, I think the WPT has... I had a lot to do with it. Travel You're Channel. Lucky, I mean, I've been watching those shows on Tuesday nights. <laughs> no, I, I, I've always told people it was a, was a three-headed boom. Lucky it wasn't the Rounders, or literally course, anything else. Boom, yeah. Chris Moneymaker and, and you and Lon. <laughs> uh, but the year of, that we're talking about with Moneymaker, uh, you had Moneymaker winning, which had an effect. Could've, would've, could've. You had, as you said, the WPT and the World Series were on multiple episodes for the first time ever with a whole card camera. So the whole card camera, Chris Moneymaker, and then the hidden part of the boon, Sato Hidden, was online poker. Online poker wasn't around a generation earlier. It was just in its I mean, I mean, how long, infancy. Right, how long was the internet even good enough to play online poker? Yeah. Right, it was only a few years. We're good. So that, that boomed, that got a lot of interest. What the heck is this? <laughs> Thursday, September 2nd, which is tomorrow night, by the way. Suited Superman, who I've played many, many nights of poker with and many days, plays PLO. He's got a big following on Instagram. You might know him. Uh, versus Poker Traveler in Los Angeles. And uh, where are you playing tomorrow night? I am going to be commentating. A lot of table talk tomorrow night because I think I'm commentating alone. Well, those are great looking guys. I love. No buyout. No buyout. Okay. Yeah, so on, on nights where we commentate alone, which I'll be doing tomorrow night, there'll be a ton of table talk. When we get somebody like Norman Shad in here, I do like to uh, pick his brain a little bit. And of course, when you bring up the uh, the whole card cam, it, it, it's hard not to mention uh, Henry Orenstein. Who is the originator of it, and he's in the Poker Hall of Fame. And if you, you just go Google Henry Orenstein and look at his Wikipedia page and look at that man's life, it is so improbable, Holocaust survivor. If you just look at his life, you cannot believe it. Transformers. Transformers, bomb pop, by the way. Yeah. Uh, so this is a true story, I, I'll tell you, as we watch this bomb pod unfold here. Uh, a6 for Antonius with two pair. Fat Duck with a pair and a straight draw. Bear Jew with a straight draw. He gets rid of it. A thousand in there. Antonius is raised. <clears throat> Fat Duck's got to be aware of the fact that he could be drawing to a chop. I mean, his opponent could already have 7 8. King on the river shouldn't change anything. Check. Antonius can bet here for value. Four hundred 
Fifty. So Maury Escandani, who is um, a CEO of Poker Productions, and uh, he is, uh, you know, he has been in and around poker for forever. He tells a story about Henry Orenstein, where they were playing stud together, and Henry, you know, he ran out of money. They didn't know each other. But he asked somebody to stake him, and he said, hey, can you not stake him? Sorry, can somebody loan me money? Yeah, thank you. And Maury trusts, you know, he trusts his people's skills, and he said, I, I trust this guy. So he gave him some money, and uh, not only did uh, Henry write him a check and mail it to him, but he sent him an entire enormous box oh, of Transformers for Maury's kids. <laughs> and a beautiful friendship was, <laughs> was yes. burned. That one? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's a great story. <laughs> yeah, and and Henry and Maury yeah, still very, very I mean, close. I'm, I'm Henry uh, uh, made a final table at the World Series a couple of years ago. Right? He was a great seven-part yeah. stunt yeah. player. Yeah, I actually commentated on that event. Man. I can block you with 450 on the river. Yeah, I know. And I know, uh, I know. Henry Orenstein, I had him in the commentary booth as well, and I will tell you that I, I, I've had the privilege of commentating with a lot of amazing people out there. And the hour or two hours I had Henry in the booth were probably two of my favorite hours I've ever commentated with anybody. He's just a great storyteller and a very interesting man. Yeah, I live. For, I talked to Henry afterwards, and he told me, you know, you live a long, long life, and you think that you've seen everything, and now the worst thing I've ever seen in my life has occurred because I've lived so long. And I said, what? Well, so I was in the booth with Tuck for two hours. I said, that's incredible. I mean, you're like 95 years old. You've seen everything. So the time he had with me in the booth was worth worse than the Holocaust. Ah, that's, I didn't want to say wow. that. Yeah. Story checks out. <laughs> Rob's gonna raise it up with Queen Nine on the button. Clubs are cheap. Mariano's gonna three bet. Fat duck. As as much as Mariano three bets, I actually think you can four bet this because this is a button open. So I'm not gonna say Mariano is light, but I think he's gonna have a wider array of value hands. When you have Ace Jack there, you block aces, you block Ace King, you block Jacks. Put a lot of pressure on that hand, and uh, Rob is gonna call. Heads up now. Well, what are wives for? <laughs> King high flop, very dry board. When I say dry, I mean there's no no flush draws, no straight draws. People can disagree and stay friends. This is an interesting call from Rob. Floating with Queen Nine. Just, this is a stone cold float. He has nothing going on at all on this King Eight Three board, but he's going to try to take it away on the turn. At least that's what you'd imagine. Yeah. Nine hundred. Well, that will stop that option. Yeah. Think about it. Because they have a problem for every solution. That's one way to combat that. Another way to do it is check raise the turn. Obviously, a lot more risk than that, though. Uh, Brad Hunt in the chat says, uh, Bear Jew had pizza last night during the game, and he's having pizza again tonight. Do you think he should be watching the carbs? <laughs> well, I wish. Yeah, I know nobody likes to eat pizza with a fork and knife, but when you're at a poker game, I just wish that if you're eating at the table, and I eat at the table too, that you're not using your hands. I am anti-using hands. I, I will literally only order things that I can eat with a fork and a knife. Or I'll take a break and step away from the table and That's sit. the other thing you can do. Right. Uh, Which I don't like to do that. No, but I'm like, I love the luxury uh, when, you, when it's available to be able to eat at the poker table. Uh, especially if it's good food. It's just nice to have good food at the table. But I will not uh, use my hands for anything. Yeah, the food here is actually quite good. But yeah, when I see people having like, you know, we know your wings, <laughs> they're just yeah, like, they're go. licking their fingers. There you go. Oh. It's disgusting. Ace, seven, five. Two players with an ace. Ace, nine is going to play 
around. Berchu has got a gut shot. Probably Doesn't hit, hit it. Thank you, sir. I got it when you get done over there. Thank you. 100. Oh, look at that. Parachu hits the gutter. You can order another pizza. And Nate's going to bet for value here. It's funny, he has the worst hands. Raise, 1,000. Darren gets out of the way, back over to Nate, who's thinking to himself, why didn't I just check this back? Eight got there. That's the most obvious draw. But he could have just, I mean, he could also just have, like, you know, river two pair also. And that still is a reason that you'd want to fold this. 1,000 straight. 1,000 total. He just blocked 6 8. He has the 8 in his hands. Certainly knows Bear Jew is capable of bluffing here. You saw Nate at the beginning of the night in a much different situation, tank for a long time against Mariano on an all-in in a bigger pot when he had a straight, a nut straight, and uh, Mariano had the flush. Does make the call and Bear Jew hits it and gets paid. Oh, not the nuts, but second. Thank you, guys. Maybe third nuts. Take it, Ace Nine was no good. You know they comp it, right? It was on the floor. No, they didn't it. Okay, I guess you're a big fan. 1,000. I can feel free pizza there. <laughs> <laughs> Best guy, just won a $3,000 pot. He's going to buy, his, buy the player on his right a free pizza. I hope they comp napkins too. Oh, yeah. Always happens. Okay, Cowboy John, you're going to be the 20th show. I'm out. Okay, you got it. Take a look at our uh, Hustler chips. The chips here are good. A lot of other casinos, the five dollar chips are, are kind of those plastic ones, and I hate those. The chips here are all, they're all clay. They're nice. Yeah, they actually don't. The other ones in some other casinos they get worn down, uh, and the ones here seem because of the nice clay. It, it just feels better to handle them. Yeah. Four hundred good rebate. No. Have you been playing much? No, hardly at all. I'm not you playing tonight? Oh, yeah. No, I will not be <laughs> playing tonight. <laughs> I did go to play a horse tournament uh, a couple days ago in Las Vegas to warm up for a horse a uh, month away at the Lansing. I think that's good. I mean, the yeah. fact that you're asking people to put you in a $25,000 tournament, you better be ready. Yeah, I'm trying to be ready. So I, I don't like playing tournaments. I don't play many tournaments outside the World Series, but I went and played a $400 tournament. Uh, at the win and here when I came and that drove home. No, no, I had 11 whites and some change. Well, I was actually thinking. So Normachat has made a final table at the World Maybe. Series, made it in but, uh, study. Eight. And I was actually thinking that if you made a really deep run, you might have the most fans ever watching. I remember when Barney Bowman no, finally won a bracelet like, and know, the British like, Rail oh, chanting in the hallways to Rio. It's one of my, I love this game at the World Series. Yeah. I would think that it would be very similar to you here. Uh, set of sixes here for Darren. He's going to bet 250. Not sure he can get action from anybody. Maybe Cowboy John wants to get sticky with a seven. Way too much. Nope, he's already folded. 
<laughs> He's looking at me like, you <laughs> fucking idiot. Idiot. I don't, I don't even know what he did. No. I don't think he needed but I would to think that you like winning that. would be <laughs> uh, on the same <laughs> yeah, level yeah, yeah. as most like Barney Boatman. Boatman. Well, I, How excited people would be for you. Take me out of the equation. Uh, no. Barney Boatman, who I, I wish I knew now. better, is you know is a, just a funny. legendary <laughs> beloved figure in British poker. And it's just, what amazed me about what you're talking about, again, they're in Las Vegas. So they have to come, you know, the Brits have to come quite a ways to be here. And then for him to have that loud, raucous rail that is rooting for him, it's just such a great thing to see. And he deserved to win the bracelet. Yeah, it was, it was a really, it was really wonderful to see the younger generation of British poker players kind of showing their respect and paying homage to uh, one of the originals. <laughs> Funny guy. What's your name? <laughs> anyway, I, I ended up following his Twitter account. I don't follow my Twitter accounts. And Barney is just, he's just smart, cutting, funny on everything. Yeah, he's, he's, really he's everything. Guy. He's on Twitter. He is everything that I think you want to be. I want to see an idea. Okay. Just for the rest of the night. Okay, we're not going to talk to each other. That's a big deal. Just please just call his, just call, just call the hands. Okay. Pet Tuck wins with Ace King. With an IE, though. I mean, there was a lot of traffic <laughs> getting here. I don't have to come here. But you are here, and you will be here again next Thursday. That's right. Norman, Chad, Lama, Karen, next Thursday. You know. So, yeah, you're born three years old. It's also Wayne. I'm trying to see. You were born in 82? Yeah. You know, that's, I think, when Rocky came out. Yeah. Yeah, the first right? one, right? Yeah. That's pretty funny. No, that's not true. Yeah, that's not true. First Rocky came out in 77. That sounds correct. 76 or 77. But not 82. No. Oh, but one said that you were born in 82, that's the first one, and then he just says, sure, well, that's correct. I mean, what the heck is that? 60, so. <laughs> Your name is Rocky, you should know this, right? At this point. I went to a party with my dad nine months before I was born, and I left with my mom. Oh, sweet. <laughs> I'm, I'm 82 is like Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> Maybe it was Rocky 3. By then, it should but be Rocky III. No, but you, you left in the wrong hole, I think. <laughs> Everyone always thinks that about the It is incredible. You know, Rocky, Rocky movies, just because, yeah, some people consider the, the greatest frame, sports like, movie of oh, all time. Rocky I do not. Boy. But it's the, the films year. Rocky yeah, yeah. beat yeah. that yeah. year for Best Picture, days. it's just amazing. Like, three of them, yeah, I, I go, Rocky how is that not Best Picture? I have the DVD. He did not beat, Rocky did not beat some pretenders. I'll look it up right now. Yeah, that's the worst one. Interesting flop here. Pair two with the best of it now. He's got the king of diamonds as well as a pair of kings. Oh, there's a new one, huh? That just when check, check on the flop, and Mariano is going to let it go. Okay. See, I personally think, so. okay, we talked about sequels earlier, right? That wasn't bad. The one before that. sequels are very rarely as good, if ever, in the original. Correct. See, I think Rocky 1 and Rocky 2, that's just one movie to me. And 4. Cold in two parts. Yeah. 1, 2, and the rest. It's clearly the same. It's a story. Story. Russian? Like they, they never made Rocky. The they, That's clearly, Rocky one, Two is always going to be made like right after that. I don't mind three. Um, it's, okay, it's just an extension. Yeah, it's like Godfather One and Two. That's one movie. Like, the fucking black guy is fighting the grandkid. That's just like way beyond That's my head. That's a decent argument. Like, okay, fuck you. And, and there are a like, bunch of sequels money, out there that are sequels. Here, right? <laughs> but I think Rocky One and Rocky Two is as combined as one movie is. It was horrible. To me, about as perfect as you can get from a movie standpoint. So I'll give Sly Stallone always credit for this because he was a nobody when he made Rocky. Uh, one, I to make a one, yeah. So one, hang on, it's, his, it's, it's his passion project. He made it on a very small budget. Two, they shot the whole thing in 30 days. And three, and I don't know how this impacts Rocky too, they changed the ending. They originally, they had to go back and shoot the ending. Because they, they, they either tested it with some audiences and decided, no, we can't have Rocky like lose or die or whatever, they, whatever the ending is. They went back and they changed it. What was the original ending? I have to look that one up too. See, I'm really like curious. Yeah. Is it like the champ's time, yeah. ending where the guy dies? Uh, I, I hope it's God, the champ. I can't believe. You know what told me that in the champ that was going to happen? You just, no one's, we're not spoiling anything. I just, for I just you. triggered, I just triggered Norman. He's going to start crying go, again. Because the champ, I had no idea that was going to happen. And yeah, by the way, if you've never seen the champ, so and you don't cry at the end of the champ, you're not, you're not, you're not human. No, you're not a real person. How could he die? How could he die? And was James Bond oh. there? And, and Ricky Schroeder, now he's Rick Schroeder, I know. Back then oh, yeah? he was literally Ricky Schroeder. Yeah. He stole, he stole the movie from, uh, oh. it was it John Voight? Yeah. yeah. That movie. And also a gambling aspect to it because uh, John Voight's character had a gambling problem and stole money from his kid. And, uh, great movie. Uh, trip three here for Rob. Like, kind of Rocky can't beat a nine. He can't beat five, six now. 
Can't beat the three. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know, you got to sort of yeah. like find a yeah. hand you can beat. But of course, in the Rockies, you can find this, pick this one out. Oh yeah, that's what the Cowboys do. The answer is no. He's gonna pay him off. That was like the second best one after like you know Super Mario games. So back then there were five, always five films nominated for uh, best picture. Today it's ten, I believe. I didn't do anything. So Rocky beats. I'm in the blind. All the presidents I'm in my straddle. I just protect you. Oh, I guess that's nothing to you. That's a great movie. Yeah, unbelievable movie. Dustin Hoffman and Robert Redford. Watergate. Taxi Driver with Robert De Niro. Another great movie. Okay. Network, which most people have not seen, which is just a, a incredibly ahead of the ahead of its time prescient film about network TV in America, and then it beat Bound for Glory. Network Taxi Driver, all the presidents met in any other given year would, would probably win the Oscar. No. Well, back in the 70s, those, I mean, now you, you look at, like, the Best Picture nominees now, and you're like, what is this? Queen Queen what the heck? Battle, when you, when you just, just won against this man with, with an inside straight show, with a deuce three off stage. I stopped paying attention to Best Picture when the English Patient won. When the English Patient won, I was done with it. Now you triggered me. This is dribble. Pure dribble. Dribble to me, too. I feel like I'm a cultured guy. I like going to the, I mean, I go see opera. I go to plays. I go to Broadway. And I could not stay away through English patient at all just could not and in fact uh, when the oh, Seinfeld sorry. episode came out and Elaine started ripping it I go yeah <laughs> I'm with you Elaine uh, that was just such a pile of garbage I agree it looked better this uh, way. I even just liked it more than Chariots of Fire. What do you I'm, I, I'm an identical twin brother. So when you look at this Jesus. little thing, they got the camera thing going over here. It's like, yeah, God, looks like my brother. Yeah, same, yeah. same mannerisms. Oh, this guy's like, I check. Oh, I check. Really I'll, go fast. I'll go fast. I'll go fast. Got a flush draw here for Rob. A pair of sixes for Bear Jew. <laughs> There's a bet. There's a call. Pot 730. There's the diamond. Rob gets there. Check, check. But that was the year, I think it was 95 when English Patient won, and that was the year I was like, ah, I'm done with this best picture garbage. Seriously. Well, speaking of Taxi Driver, I think that was written by Paul Schrader. Yes. I, yes. So coming out next month, this month is a Martin Scorsese film, The Card Counter, in which the poker consultant for that Joe film Stapleton. is Joe Stapleton. There is poker in it. So yeah. it's got a great cast. It's Martin Scorsese and Paul Schrader. So if it's not really good, you'd be disappointed. Oh well, uh, yeah, and if it's not really good, you can blame Joe. Oh, I mean, that poker consultant Stapes? What are you, nuts? Yeah, I'd blame him too. I'd bring him in for a million other consulting things, but not poker. You can cut, you can cut, it's gonna cut. Yeah, you should try those, actually. No, I'm excited to see that. And I believe that's an old-fashioned uh, theater release. No, uh, no, I might be wrong. You know how sometimes it starts on Netflix or Amazon or Hulu, whatever. Right. I think it's, you gotta go to the theater. I might be wrong. You gotta go to the theater, okay. That'll last two weeks, and then they'll put it on. That's true. I guess I'm gonna take a normal vote. Who's wasting more time? Get a raise here from Fat Duck. Ryan knows. Ryan Darren. I don't think it's me. Calls. Flop is Jack eight three. Nobody has a pair. Darren with the best of it, Ace Queen. Apparently, as you said, the card counts are coming out. What is it like in like ten days? A week? Yeah, next week I think. Uh, okay. Yeah. So ten days sounds right. So Fat Duck, who was the original raiser, is now open ended. I have to imagine that this bet will work. Darren had the best hand, but just ace high. He's gonna call. And uh, pretty unlucky river for Fat Duck, who uh, you have to imagine is gonna bluff at this. He's got six high. He is the original raiser. And, and I think he wins this on almost any river except for an ace or a queen. Uh, I agree with you. And we should see him firing again. No, he's going to give up. Kind of a strange check. I mean, if I raise pre-flop with 6-4 and I get that turn card, I feel like I kind of had to go for it, right? I thought he was going for it. <laughs> I mean, keep in mind, Darren also checked back the flop. So what kind of hand does Darren have? Maybe he's got an eight. Maybe he's got a five. We have one that left. You know, likely has a one-pair hand that's not a jack. I feel like 
I mean, results oriented, you save money, and, but I, I'm firing that river for sure. sure. Darren, fortunate. They got a root for Darren. He grew up with uh, Nick Bertucci, and that's a, quite a burden to bear. So to overcome that uh, in your adolescence and to still be standing here today, it's impressive. Yeah, a lot of grit. Norman Chad, David nice. Tuckman here for Hustler Casino Live. We're playing 5, 5, 10. 1,000 to 3,000 is to buy in. We have a lot more money on the table than that, though, as we have had multiple like players <laughs> get felt. He was more like a lighter. Someone's social, you know, that's really all I care about. It's true. But that because guy was, was playing Queen Deuce and then trying to give us, like, <laughs> that, yeah. <laughs> this is how you play Queen yeah. Deuce, bro. So according to chat, it I mean, is that only coming out in the theaters. Resume for sure. <laughs> that's nice. Yeah, that's, okay. that's, that's, I haven't been to the movie theater since before Big COVID. Yeah. Oh, me neither. Yeah. Nine to ten dollars. Uh, I never went that often either, but yeah. Absolutely oh, yeah. fucking destroyed. Movie theaters. <laughs> when I've talked to people in the entertainment business, they're going to be the hardest ones. It's really hard for movie theaters to survive. Yeah, that wasn't necessary. The change in the culture in the last year or two. Well, it's not. It's also a matter of just. It's not just a matter of COVID, which obviously is one thing. It's also a matter of just. You know, everybody's got a big screen TV at home, and between Netflix and Amazon and Disney Plus, I, I can watch these amazing shows at home. Like I just finished watching White Lotus. Great show. It's uh, you know six hours long, so basically it's like three movies. No, it's hard to equal the convenience and the value of staying at home for the for this stuff now. Right. I mean, for somebody like me, and I'm sure a lot of people are in the same boat, I've got two young kids. So if I want to go to the movie with my wife, it's 140 bucks before I leave the do before I leave the house. So I gotta pay a babysitter. I told you I'd do it for free, but it's still then uh, my you, my kids are terrified of you. I like no, to think of myself as a role model. <laughs> So I'm, I'm, that's a little hurt. I'm a little hurt by that. <laughs> Maybe I want to be that big one day. I want to know. I want to know what he was saying. I was like fully oh watching. Bro, <laughs> he's in the head. Cowboy John wearing the cast. I want to know how there in seat number six. But I don't know what. I don't know. You know the he was uh, riding his horse. How often? Horse got bitten by a rattlesnake. And uh, as you might expect, the horse bucked, knocked John off, and uh, he had that surgery. He was here the next day. Maybe like. Last yeah, you let more people really? yeah. in. Like, no, no, not the last one. The one so now you're before where we ended up like that. Bear, so you a regular here Dr. on Hustle Casino Live? Uh, actually, no, dude. I, like I said, if I get no cars tonight, so I'd be already home in bed. Like, that's kind of why I started. Like, <laughs> bro, I was easily the smallest kid on the team. But yeah, also, go, I mean, going to the movies and like, you gotta oh, eat, like yeah, people yeah. talking and. Oh, yeah, it's like everything else, it just become harder than it should be. Right, I just feel like, for me to go to a movie, I've got to really want to see this particular movie on a big screen. Otherwise, I'll see it all. Very close of getting in cheap to hit. No, no, right. Queen Jack 10, two clubs out there. And, uh, sorry, Queen Jack 8, two clubs out there. We have two players with Jack 10. Rocky with Jack 9, so that is the case Jack. Cowboy John was drawing pretty thin, but hits his king on the turn. Now takes the lead. Oh, 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 as we continue to roll here. Tomorrow night, as we saw, Never Suited argue, Superman will be playing. You know what? I wasn't arguing. I'll was be commentating <laughs> solo, so a lot of table talk. Like, let it go. For one minute, let it go, brother. You may see behind the main table here, the TV table. Uh, they actually pipe Tuck's commentary into the casino, and he does clear out a room. A couple, three of those tables were filled when we started, and now they're gone. Well, that and, I mean, I think one of the tables was filled because I was playing in the game. Okay. Then I got up and left, and everybody left. They were like, oh, the fish is gone. <laughs> they waited the uh, 
obligatory five minutes before they got up. They didn't uh, at least they were nice. Lottery I've seen. I'm sure you've seen that. No, if, if you play poker long enough at a live casino, gone, some people are very. Um, and they go about doing it the wrong way. Listen, there's no, there's nothing wrong with staying in a game because there's a good player who's, there's a player who's good for the game. You know, the spot's giving away money. But if that player, you know, calls it quits, wait in orbit before you get up. Wait, let the guy go to the parking lot. I think I'm good. Don't make it so obvious. I can't believe how many times I see that rule broken, where you're like, you end up walking out. You know, people are walking out with him, and it just makes no sense. Ace Jack Six. <laughs> yeah. A lot of drinking. Is that your first chair? Pair of sixes that, for Bear first? Jew. Yeah, it, kind of Rocky's got a like gut shot to Broadway. Oh, boy. Oh, I wish I wouldn't drink so damn much. Oh, one beer and just. Yeah. I got my liver pill. I got my liver pill. Doesn't pocket. hit his gut shot, but he hits a king, and that's going to be good enough. Oh, there it goes. Look at that. Check, check. Another king. Again? I caught this one, and the other one. My two pairs no good? <clears throat> Probably not. <laughs> Is it a jack or a six? Six. What the no, it's no good. Maybe not. Can you see what's back at the table? Oh, you turned me. <laughs> <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> How many actors, comedians, and I mean, Somebody, a well-known actor, have won bracelets. Thank you, thank you. I know Jennifer Tilly mm -hmm. won the women's event. I know yeah. James Woods came in second, right? Correct. I do. I cannot well, think that. of. Oh, I didn't even. Did you show? A well-known entertainer who's won a bracelet yeah. event. You know, there are some poker players that do yeah, play, yeah. of course. Yeah, Jason Alexander, we mentioned oh, earlier. Oh, Kevin, Kevin Kaplan. Kevin Kaplan. Yeah, Kevin Pollack. Don Cheadle used to play a lot. Ben Affleck was a, a very good player. Yeah, Ben actually, he, he won some local L.A. tournaments. He won a California State championship at the uh, Commerce one year when he was getting, he get, co got coaching from Andy Duke for a little while. You know what, I, wish I, I think I got a broken arm or bad arm too. Not in the family. I miss Annie. How much time are you Unlimited. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Thank you, sir. Whatever you want, please. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can pull it Well, I can call Howard and yeah, see if, you know, great. Can you do that? He can side put pop. you two Three together seven. for a little chit chat. <laughs> Eldar. Ten high flop, two hearts out there, ten nine three. Nate with a nut flush draw. Darren with top pair. I gotta get rid of these these yellow ones because they keep falling over. How much is that? By the way, alias uh, M80 again in the chat, spot on. He points out Toby McGuire, who used to be a, used to play in Molly's game out here. The, uh, the book turned into a movie. I thought that was a good movie. I think that was a pretty good movie. It was a I mean, it wasn't like flawless, obviously, but I thought, you know, for a poker movie that was being made for the masses, you know, I thought it was pretty good. It was engaging. Uh, it just gets so fed up so fast. Nate has picked up a straight draw to go along with the flush draw. Darren is still in the lead with a pair of tens. Just for mental health. <laughs> Yeah. It's draining being a car sure. and traveling. Even though yeah. you're doing nothing, it just sucks. Uh -huh. I uh, delivered the Yeah, Ray Romano, Brad like Garrett, you're mentioning other people yeah. here, that's correct. And I'm convinced, According to this, like, Nate has 42% equity, which seems really so high to me. Like, no, like, I, like, I can't do it anymore, dude. I get in traffic, and like five minutes into it, I'm like, oh, Maybe they knew he was going to raise. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really? I mean, it's 50-50, basically, here? He has three aces. Yeah, dude, like, yeah, I was just Four straight eights, four eights. How much? And then the rest of the hearts. I mean, that doesn't seem like... Like I'm missing something. So I can get... Yeah, now they it seems yeah. high, I agree. <laughs> I mean, basically the rule, I mean, listen, you can win the hand by just betting or raising, but the basic rule of thumb is with one card to come, you can count your outs and then multiply it by two. And that is essentially what your percentage should be. That's correct. So, you have to hang out in your car. I mean, you didn't seem to have 20 odd outs there. I, no, I mean, three aces, nine hearts, and then an additional three eights. And I subtract one for a heart. But anyway, so that's even that's 14, 15? <laughs> You're under 20 here, and you have 47%. But are they taking into account the uh, other cards that were marked that might have been? Are but even if they were, were, I mean, what are they? Well, that reduces the cards in the deck, and if those were, there are no hearts in there. No heart, no I think that's what this. Uh, okay. That, okay. Then that's where that comes up to forty-seven percent. It must be, yeah. Yeah. I don't think it's much today. 
Yeah. I mean, they have such a big difference, though. Because even if I'm counting 15 outs, that's 30%. You go from 30 to 47. I mean, there must have been no hearts dead. <laughs> well, very few. And again, again, some of these streams uh, take into consideration all the folded cards and some don't. So I think we do. We should find out the answer to that. I, I, I know we do. I just oh, didn't, okay. I, I yeah. didn't think it would swing it that much either way. But still, yes, it did. Uh, Bear Jew 3 betting here with Ace King out of the big blind. Bear Jew very active tonight, whether it's Trey Deuce or Ace King. Oh, okay. One more time. Norm McDonald, of course. Norm McDonald. I thought you were trying to put the No, no, no. I was just shuffling chips and didn't even Ray, see Ray, it. Ray Romano? Yeah, Ray Romano, Brad Garrett. Well, Brad's not really a serious player. Ray, Ray wants to do well. He's not a particularly serious player, but he always wants to do well to main event. I don't know if you know the answer to this question, but I'll ask you anyway. Of those actors, oh, you know, Don Cheadle, Jason so Alexander, Ray, are like, of the ones that are primarily actors and not poker players, so I'm not going to put Gabe Kaplan in that category, obviously. Which of them is the best poker player? Well, the best, when he was playing his best, and when we say poker player, we're just going to talk no limit hold him. Right, right. Okay. Uh, I got to go with Ben Affleck. Okay. Yeah. Uh, from, from just what I've seen and what I've heard. Uh, Toby McGuire was pretty good. You know, it's, it's funny that, you know, Ben Affleck and Matt Damon are such good friends <laughs> growing up. And, and Matt Damon is the one who got the poker movie. And ben Damon. Oh, as it turns out, yeah. yeah. Jack Deuce 3. Nothing there for anybody. Darren is going to bet it and probably win. But I know nothing because Bear Jew is going to raise. And this is a really kind of, it's a funny raise because, you know, you shouldn't really have Jack Deuce, Jack Three, Three Deuce, but oh, Bear Jew is the one that would have, you know, Jack Deuce suited, Three Deuce even. Yes, I was gonna split it with him. He's picked a great spot to, I can hear to raise right here. Fold it, you idiot. <laughs> Somebody mentioning uh, Paul Pierce. Oh. And of course, so Paul Pierce plays a lot of poker. Actually, played PLO on our show yeah, here at Hustle Casino Live. If you missed that show or any of our shows, they are all available for free, always free, on our YouTube channel. Just subscribe, and you can watch them all. And if you are enjoying tonight's show, please hit that like button. Or four. Yeah, I watch a little Paul Pierce on that PLO. Uh, no, he's a nine. What, what do you, when this video gets posted, what do you I don't. Know, I don't. I think that's his favorite game. Uh, I don't know if it's the strongest yeah. game. I hope not. You little like to argue. <laughs> but it was fun to watch. That's a good one. <laughs> Donkey wins big pot. There's a look at Rocky. <laughs> John. Born in 82. <laughs> John gives it away. You have a white and that yellow. That's a good, that's a good one. You also got a chip back there, buddy. Yes. There you go. Oh. DGAF in the bucks, chat. Man. What's up, DGAF? Of course, 95. one of our commentators here at Hustler Casino Live. Also hosts a great podcast called Sessions. You can check him out. He will be here, I want to say, next week. So it'll be uh, DGAF uh, for a lot of next week, I want to say. When does it get good. Posted, like the next day? He sues me. You know, Tuck's voice tilts me. delay, like 20 minutes? He's just so sues DJ, yeah, he'll be, He's going to be here every day next week, except for Thursday, which will be Norman Chad and Mama Karen. That's the only day I won't be sued, because DJF's voice just sues me. Yeah, I actually just did a podcast. My latest Under the Gun podcast was an hour with DGAF. And I know what you're going to say. I'm going to stop you. I'm going to stop you. Bite your tongue. He did most of the talking. No way. Okay. Call. What's that? You've got to put five and subscribe to help. Right, yeah. <laughs> I push it like eight times, but it, it, it goes down one, and you push it again, it goes up, so they get rid of the, you can't push it a hundred times. One right. time. Yeah, it's I only mean, good for one light, yeah. sir. <laughs> Nobody's I'm crazy with any. Device. Hmm? Nobody's <laughs> crazy with any. There you go, he's device. I think I'm phone. Good boy. iPad, cell phone. Good boy. Oh, yeah. I just had a nice. Got a lot of exciting things happening here at Hustle Casino. Of course, uh, uh, Brad Owen and Andrew Neamey are having a meetup game here at the Hustler Casino. I want to say it's September 11th and 12th. Very cool. So if you want to play with uh, if your fans, if you want to play with Andrew or Brad, if you want some of their money, you can play with them. 
I think Marley Cordero is going to be coming into town. I know Lon, of course, is coming in town. I know later in the month, my good friend Danielle Moon will be here, play some high stakes. <laughs> All great people to be around. King high flop, all spades. Bottom two here for Bearjew. And Bearjew, like I was just pointing out in that jack deuce three flop, he's the kind of guy who has these garbagey hands sometimes. So he can raise on a jack deuce three flop, and actually, it's believable. Maybe I should take that nice flop. Playing the wrong way. Yeah, right. Unless you have queen tennis spade, like some people. Did I get? You did. I okay. appreciate it. Thank you. I already told you. I already gave you. I already told you. I I call those re racers automatically. So a little bit more on Marley Cordero. Apparently on Monday she will be commentating with DGAF. I want to be hungry. And then she's going to eat the whole day. Tuesday, oh, Wednesday, and Thursday Dana, of next week. We get a pizza so a little bit of love for Molly Cordero. Oh, nice we'll be here next week <laughs> along with DJAF like and along with Lama Karen. That's, I, I got to talk to Ryan. I feel like he's, he's, he's putting too many big Sounds names in one know. week. We got to spread it out. <laughs> I know Cowboys are Don't act like you don't know. Come on, bro. Uh, <laughs> Everything's relative. <laughs> can you ask him? I'll, I'll get him the same way he did. Like, I think they can't count in jail, right? But can you will be fine. Yeah, a little bit of sausage and pepperoni. I mean, I have to imagine, <laughs> since I'm not going to be here next week, yeah, right? Ryan <laughs> felt like he had to oh, overcompensate because he figured, okay, well, yeah, Tuck's yeah, not going to be here. Our best commentator is not going to be here. Our best looking commentator is not going to be here. So I have to compensate by bringing in a lot of people. That's one way to look at it. Now, I don't think you've seen the promos for next week, which is David Tuckman's on hiatus week. <laughs> and that is the pull. We'll probably hit record numbers, I have no doubt. Get a three bet here from Nate with Ace Queen. I like playing this hand aggressively in the small blinds. Bear Jew's going to call. What is Bear Juice V pimp tonight? I mean, it's just oh, 91. Uh, it seems like it's over three quarters. Right right? It's probably somewhere in the yeah. 60s. You have on the <laughs> he likes to play a lot of hands. He doesn't like folding three flops. Thank you. Love it. You never know when he might flop something big, and here he flops a flush draw. Somebody in the chat, uh, Stephen Davis says Norman sounds like Robert Downey Jr. Have you heard that before? Never. I've heard that I look like him. Okay, I have it. Fire big here, and Bearjew gives it up. Nate earns himself a pot. DQ, who has just uh, donated a whole lot of money to us here, says, uh, what's up, Chatsville? Lon, always good to listen to you on the stream. Yes, it is David Tuckman and Lon McCarran. Now, Lon won't be here till next Thursday. It is uh, Norman Shad who is next to me now. What's the <laughs> Can you deal one? So I just just for one some bomb pot I can get position. I could have called a little less. I had a So earlier on tonight, you probably saw my the back of me. I was playing in this game. I was playing in a 5-5-10 game, and that's kind of what they're trying to do at Hustler. It's a really great idea. They are going to mirror the games that are on Hustler Casino Live on the floor. So if you want to play on Hustler Casino Live. To me, the best way to do it is start playing at Hustler Casino, start playing in this game. And when we get an opening, maybe you can get in. I know Bear Jew was playing in the game on the floor, got a chance to go in there. I know Rob, who was in seat number nine, was playing in the game on the floor. He got in this game as well. I think I asked before. I attempted to win that. Yeah, I attempted to win another one, but it wasn't bad. Well, we just saw the chip counts or how the people are doing. It's been pretty static. Mariano, Darren, and Rocky have all been up since early on, and they're still the top three winners right now with not much movement. Check around. 
Two diamonds out there, two clubs out there. Cowboy John with a pair of tens. This is a bomb pot. Rocky's got a pair of tens with a flush draw. See how aggressive he wants to get here. Yeah, I don't give it to me. And uh, he's just going to give it up. <laughs> You missed the, the I think there are some people out there that sure are just a little bit intimidated by the whole bomb pot thing. Said. They don't know what to do. So just, one I'm just going to fold. I don't oh care. God. Give me my hand back. I don't blame them. I mean, it just it, it can really screw you up in deciding what to do with a bomb pot. What you're playing, what you're not. I mean, your opponents can have anything. And you're thinking, ah, how, how involved do I want to get with one pair? <laughs> The drinks are flowing here at Hustler Casino Live. We're we'll back at it tomorrow night. And then, of course, Friday night, Bart Hansen will be commentating. It is the big game. Garrett, Andy Stacks, Gall. If I know for sure I'm going to be on the show, we'll all be here. And uh, I anticipate there being upwards of a million dollars on the table. Dad, don't ever drink and drive, man. It ain't worth it. No. For anybody. Shout out to Rocky. <laughs> Who's Rocky? Junior. Junior. <laughs> Junior. <laughs> uh, I've been getting called Junior my whole life. Good advice. We are we are anti drinking and driving here at Hustler Casino Live. I think every kid like I hope so. wanted to be called Rocky. So I, think I don't like to speak for the entire I, production I, I team, but I'm going to go on a limb and say our, our entire team is anti-drinking and driving. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. That's, that's <laughs> sort of like who's against motherhood. I mean, at this point, I can't believe how our thinking has changed over that since we were much younger. We were just standing, you know, like we used to, you know, as a kid, you didn't, you know, you didn't have seatbelts on in the car, but also the drinking and driving thing was standing, which is just out of, you know, just Insane. My child is yeah. named. You're saying that when you were younger, everybody would drink or drive. Without question. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Didn't think that. twice about it. I. Are you a teacher? I love. Well, I mean. <laughs> no. That was back during the prohibition, so. <laughs> My names all had to do with Star Wars. <laughs> okay, so you. you know, first, first you had me in my prime when Wild Bill Hickok was shot down in, in the 19th century. Now you got me during the prohibition days of the 1920s. Good. You know what my last name is? You're getting closer. Is that your real name? That's a very, very strong name. A lot of you kids. Yes, it is. I used to work at Costco when I was younger, and actually a lot of people would come in and be like, oh, Rocky? Oh, that's my dog's name. That's it. Oh, yeah, like, you, oh, you are a dog's, dog's name. name, yeah. I'd be like, oh, that's my dog's name. I'd be like, uh... Hey, you, you, know what what you know what tilts me more than texting <laughs> and driving? Which, of course, is Just tell him you're junior, one of the biggest causes of increased accidents on the road. Yeah. I can't believe how many people I see in Los Angeles either bicycling and texting or skateboarding and texting. Mm. His cards were off. I have rollerblade in text. Once they weren't Actually, free, he's like, driving and texting much more dangerous. But to be on a bicycle <laughs> and texting, yeah, yeah. It's, it's insane. insane. I'm, I'm with you. Uh, it's insane. It is insane. Your king's on the other. Supposed to be ace king. I don't know. They're both the same. Wow. If I ever had Chris and you at the same table, I'd shoot myself. Seems extreme. You know, the other but I, I teach their own. Three bet from Rocky here. This is Rocky, the player, not the aforementioned you know, dog. You don't know Chris. Yesterday. Yeah, Louis Chris. Louis Chris. Sorry. What is King's good, sir? I want to see this. Show the King's in the game. Hey. Hey. Oh wow. You see him call. So Rob Fold and he would have he would have he would have flopped the stones. The absolute nuts. Diamond too. I need him to call. I want you to call. I call. Mm -hmm. Luis Rosario says, Norman, you really are the greatest. He doesn't finish the sentence, though. But did he have dot, dot, dot after that? That's even worse. No. Just, just you are the greatest. Great. Okay, scratch with a period there. Hmm. I mean, greatest what? Yeah, he's okay. Two words. Fine. The, the chat can fill in the blank, and I don't like my chances. <laughs> okay, <laughs> chat. <laughs> you are the greatest what? I mean, you're not the greatest basketball player. <laughs> we, we know what he was implying. Hey, I don't need to validate my Jeez. friendship with other people to you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Having a good time here at Hustler Casino. <laughs> of course, Hustler Casino, yeah, just a eight mile. <laughs> It's a little trip to the That's beach. The beautiful Southern California beach we were yeah, talking about before. The best ocean in the world. The Pacific Ocean. Pacific Ocean, ocean number miles. one ranked ocean in the world. Yeah, just eight miles away. 
Now, on the other side of that coin, the LA River. Oh, Lord. I don't think the LA River would rank, and there's a lot of rivers. I don't think it would make the top 25,000 rivers in the U.S. I had an allergic reaction, you know? I mean, considering that the river is very rarely filled with water. Seems, lots of it seems to be a concrete. Yeah, uh, hey, dumb. Uh, Antonius wants to get himself in a little bit of trouble here. We have top pair you versus top pair. Depending on the race. run out, we can see that Antonius gets himself. He's going to raise here with King Queen on a wet board. Yeah, yeah. Now, Mariano does have a Queen of Spades in his hand. Imagine he's just going to call this. This, is a, this could be a little bit of a problem. Some, I mean, Antonius is out of position. Five doesn't really change much. Mr. Rocky, are you married? No. I got a girlfriend. Have you ever been? No. Any kids? No kids. Never been married. Antonius is going to bet 275. Right. Can you come into a I think it's a pretty <laughs> standard call if you're Mariano. <laughs> you might raise this though. Me. When my, when my wife left, when my I mean, said, you block a set of queens. <laughs> He's going to just call. I like that. <laughs> oh, what a great run out here for Mariano and not a very good run out for Antonius. Antonius probably thinks he's wow. betting with the best hand. Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, earlier on, we saw Mariano tank in a situation. I'd say similar to this. I think this is a pretty easy snap call. Um, Do you have any pictures of my I mean, I guess you could go for thin value by raising it. Stephanie. The only hand I'm really worried about is Queen 10 exactly, but. <laughs> I'm just not sure you can get called by worse. <laughs> uh, I actually thought Antonius might not bet the it's river. It's only my, be my best friend from high school. Right, check, race, flop, bet, I'll turn, and then be like, okay, well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We would go to parties and just do dumb shit, just like this, and then like, you know, because he just, like, it seems like he might have a, he might have a bluff catcher if the guy missed, if Mariano missed a flush draw or a straight draw. And he was going to be called by worse. I, I like this a lot. Um, I mean, it's a finish raise, but I think he's understanding his opponent, and I think Antonius' small sizing induced this. And now Antonius is in a tough time, because now he's got to figure out, did I induce this with my small bet sizing, or does the guy actually have me beat? I'm selfish. And a lot of draw. I mean, Jack-9 missed, King-Jack missed, Spades missed, and there's the payoff. I don't want to be 50 well. Have that teenager. That's a great race, Mariano. Well done, Mariano. That is a fantastic race. Showing some great chops here. And he is our biggest winner tonight. Always a step ahead. At the Son point. of a bitch. How many kids you got, buddy? Yeah, you explained that again very well, Tuck. Everything there, I got to tell you. And like I told you, you could do vlogs like Mariana does. Uh, again, just clean yourself up a little. Uh, it's not that hard to shave. And I think he will. You know, he gets the younger geographic the demographic. You're not going to get, you know, the retirees, but you'll get the, the you know, the divorcees in their 40s and 50s. I think would look to you. I mean, do I need to like, uh, one boy, you know, three girls, go topless, wear a bikini, something? I don't, I don't think you have to. I don't think you have to, you know, go any in any sexually provocative manner. Uh, you don't have to go the only fans route. I think you just <laughs> keep it. You know, you've got a pretty good personality. You're a good looking kid. And uh, I think you can attract a, a lot of the over 35 crowd. Get a call here from Rocky and the hijack. It's a straddle pot. In Fat Duck is going to come along oh, for the ride. Okay. He's going to raise, actually. I like raising. That's good, though, because you guys get, you're getting paid for it. Yeah, that was a pretty, that's a pretty strange hand. I actually kind of like that hand. You don't normally see a check raise with King Queen on that board. And then, you know, check raise, bet turn, bet river, and then get raised by Ace Queen, and then get the payoff. I mean, that was a pretty cool spot. Obviously, they use your water. No, I'm saying, like, like it, they basically give you money to cover your... I mean, 90 95% of players are just kind of calling with Ace Queen there. You know, they're not going to raise. They're like, ah, I can't raise. But I, yeah. the, I mean, the fact that all the draws right missed I mean, kind of makes it pretty cool. Like five, six girls wow. So we got yeah, another kicker issue here. Dollars. This time it's, fat, it's Rocky who has uh, got the kicker issues. I'm going to fucking it. Yeah, check it back here. Yeah. Okay, sir. Okay. Nice, Sam. Thank you, please. Get hard stuff. Nice, Sam. Thanks. Thanks. You understand, yeah. after your call, nobody's going to try to bluff you, right? 
<laughs> no. I thought about betting. So if they're betting, they have it. That's a hint earlier on when you called the day's high. Oh yeah, we are. Oh yes. I'm gonna yeah. try. You're gonna yeah, try. Yeah. Nice. He doesn't speak for everyone. I'll still try. Try it. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, I'm I your didn't big mean fan. To speak for <laughs> yeah. King uh, Charles. Yeah. Uh, He's my teacher, so. <laughs> oh really? I learned a lot from Sex him. Sex Ed? Just the one. Sorry, what? <laughs> Sex Ed? No, you don't want to ask. Every day, every day, yeah, yeah, every day. Like, oh, like one, one, please. Every day. <laughs> <laughs> He's asking if I educate you sexually. Oh. Yeah. No. I don't. Not no. yet. Yeah. Not yet, yeah. <laughs> He's like, there's my opening. Hey, Not yet. That's fine. Yeah, they, I think jokes uh, might that's have to stay get. within the people. Yeah, the right people, buddy. <laughs> I thought it was okay. Was that over? <laughs> Sorry. Well, maybe maybe for that particular yeah player because he didn't get it. But yeah, I just feel bad. Like I, I just took off the shirt. Fat Jeff with a three bet. Get you through? Right? Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, so yeah. Just, you know, Don't think he wanted to get it through, but he did. You're special, bro. Got about an hour You're and a half left of tonight's show. Maybe a little bit less. No, gifted. They no, want to gifted. be called gifted. There you go, gifted. Politically correct today, gifted. Or on the spectrum. <laughs> At least it's relentless. I can appreciate that. No yeah. breaks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it comes from the heart, though. Don't worry about it. You ever heard God broke the mold when he made you? Is there a punchline? Yeah, but is there like a gay punchline behind it? <laughs> there can be if you won't. All right, go ahead. <laughs> 80. Yeah, as long as you have that personality type, but you back it up, it's fine. But if you can't take it, also when you did. Oh, I love getting that's, fucking. That's yeah, I love getting clown, bro. Okay. <laughs> love it. Then <laughs> it's all good. Right? Yeah, it's the worst when people talk like mad shit, and then you say something back, and they're just like, oh, shit. yeah, they say nothing. Yeah, yeah don't so laugh, right, bro. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rob with a three bet with Queens. Yeah, yeah, no, I'd rather have like a... A back and forth. Yeah, yeah. Answer. yeah. Then I don't feel like an asshole. Cowboy John. <laughs> no, I can't laugh at him anymore, you didn't say anything. Right? Yeah. My point of bro. Makes the call. Yeah, I know. No, I'm sorry. Cabo John has not made the call yet. He's thinking yeah. about this one. Cabo John has not played a hand in a while. Your net worth is a lot more than mine. Yeah, but you have a good hand, but... I don't know what it is. You bet too much. What's your name? You have a three? So you, won, you won 100 bucks. Eldar? Eldar? You won Mariano. That's Eldar. Eldar. Bro, that sounds like a guy from Lord of the Rings. Yeah. That's Eldar. I don't know. He raised the 80, he raised the 2. He's been raising the 2. Yeah, he's an Eldar. No. I know, yeah. E L D A R. You're both parents are tiny? Uh, yeah. Actually, well, we're from Argentina, but my parents are Italian. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Probably fled after a war. I need to see yeah. King's fly off. <laughs> this guy knows me yeah, already. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, Maya? Would you have? A little bit. I'm a mutt, though. We can see him. Where are your parents You called with... You called to... Fat Duck picks up Jax now. He already raised 80. Raised 80. Raised 80. Yeah. Yeah. My mom has, like, moved all over. She was in the military, so... Yeah. She was born in Florida or something. So your, your dad born and raised in Yukaipa? He lived in Florida for a little bit, yeah, but most of his life, yeah, he's been there. Yeah, yeah it's this little call. city, like... You, know, you buy a carton of eggs, dude, it's where your eggs come from. <laughs> <laughs> Next time you buy a carton of eggs, look at it. And I'll think of you. You'll think of me. <laughs> Is your dad, like, Mr. Yukaipa or something? Uh, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Not Do you really. live in Redland now? No, no. Torrance. I live in Torrance, yeah. Torrance? Yeah. That team from Torrance did pretty good this year. Oh yeah, that's where I yeah, played baseball at. The, Torrance you said softball. Wow, when I was 12 years old, that's where I played yeah, baseball I always at. Thought, no joking, I always thought <clears throat> that softball was for girls and baseball was for boys. It is. It is, yeah. But when you, so get, you play more. softball. When you, when, you yeah, older. when you get older, you can't play baseball anymore, so the next best thing is to play so, soft pitch, slow pitch softball. Wouldn't you just stay softball. home instead of playing with the girls? <laughs> <laughs> you don't actually. No, 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 no. Well, I mean it like no yeah, joke. I congratulate the uh, Torrance, California team for representing. But I know in high school I would have probably. Uh, the U.S. in the Little League World Series, but 
Yeah, and how Dude, I'm cynical about the Little League World Series. I don't trust that. When you're an old man, yeah. If you're winning the Little League World Series, wherever you're from, you don't go join girls. It's just like college football. You're doing something. You're not supposed to be going. I don't know if it's 19 year old kids instead of 12 year old kids. I'm telling you, I don't trust it at all. What was the story? I actually talked to DJF about this. What, what was the the, uh, the the kid from the Bronx, the lefty? Oh, from back uh, way back when. I mean, he was like 25. Oh, he, was, he was incredible. How old he was? He wasn't 25. <laughs> He wasn't 25. He was like a grown man. He wasn't 25. He was throwing the ball like 88 miles an yeah. hour. That's a pretty good thing. El Monte. Uh, uh, Danny, uh, uh, Danny no. El Monte. Danny. In my mind. I want to say. Anyway, yes, oh I just, uh, okay, so I've just seen too much say, I like abuse of rules so in every game. sport. Never. Any amateur it's sport from college down. Yeah. It's, it's it really is ridiculous. So I'm coaching this year. I'm, I am coaching a youth hockey team. I am coaching a bunch of eight, seven, eight year olds playing hockey, right? And do you have any women on your team? On one of my teams, yeah, it was Danny Almonte. Yeah. Danny Almonte. Uh, thank you, Bill, and uh, thank you, Bill Jackson. Uh, it's amazing how competitive some of these parents are. And I had to let them know right away. I was like, okay, guys, this is an under-18. I don't care about winning. This is, everybody's going to play the same. When you get a little older, when you start playing under-12, under-14, that's how they do it. You know, okay, in a close game, maybe you, you try to win the game a little bit more. That's what it's about. These are seven and eight-year-olds. Some six-year-olds. Right. No, go away. Go away. Your kid's not going to the NHL. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> well, your kids might be. <laughs> but I, I, I'll tell you now, if I'm not at Hustler Casino doing commentary, I am at the ice rink. Again, coaching. That's my, uh, that's my winter. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, the parent when I was watching my stepson Isaiah grow up and playing uh, both basketball and baseball. I'll play blind. 8, 10, 12, 14 years old. The parents at either would like at, 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 at the youth baseball, the youth baseball level, you would have one umpire usually. Right. Could pay it's like twenty five dollars a game, calling balls and strikes sometimes from behind the pitcher's mound. Hold on one second. Got an interesting. I want to hear this, but I got an interesting hand here. So Barrichu flopped a straight draw. Uh, wow. Yeah. Okay, okay. You know what? It went check, check on the turn. And then the river we didn't see, and it was a queen. So Rocky uh, bet it. I thought we'd get some action on the turn there and actually turn that check, check. Sorry. So one umpire. Yeah. Yeah. You know, just yeah. doing it to help out. He gets like 25 bucks a game. Yeah. And so the two things that killed me in the baseball game was how much razzing the parents would give the ball and strike guy and how much coaching they would be doing to their own kids as they're going up to bat. They'll call them over and t so the, the individual coaching killed me, and I also the individual coaching in, in basketball also, where during a timeout they take the kid to the side when he gets out of the timeout. It doesn't matter what the coach said; they, they tell him something differently. It just was just the dad, the dad of the mom is talking to the their own kids. Right. Like how does that work? They're men and women cheerleaders. It doesn't matter anymore. Well, you're reversing the thing, right? No. Darren's gonna raise it up oh, with King Four suit. I told you I don't know sports. I just know that men play baseball, mm. women play softball. 65, right? Typically, yeah. yes. You would be correct most of the time. In cool. high school. Yeah, in high school, yeah. High school college. Mm. Yeah. And then once you get to an adult, there's no more uh trip aces here for Bear Jew. So quit! You can't like degrade yeah. yourself. So playing softball, it's not as hard. Check her out, isn't it? I know, I know. Check her out. Oh, you're yeah. like degrading. Did he really you know? check that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Catching up on the graphic. <laughs> Baseball game is three hours long. Softball Darren game is three minutes. Darren just really checked minutes. that. Hold on, oh, everybody. Really? How much? Good Forty-five. And yeah, you don't do a whole lot of. Bear, you're the small little uh, bet. Uh, I. I no, Darren no, called. Now that he hit his king. Just depends on what position you play, but. Yeah. Badger's gonna bet pot. Let me bluff one time and get away with it. Everybody's like calling me all day long. You know what? If you weren't talking, I would have called you. But I no, I don't want you to. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. <clears throat> Why am I in this hand if I'm not gonna call it? Kicker sucks. Hey, buddy. All I beat is a bluff. <clears throat> that is all you beat. 
Nice ball. Good block. Yeah. Almost worked. I don't see that one in an hour. No, I don't think so. I think I made a good fold. Yeah, he I had picked a up on the talk correctly. Yeah. And he almost yeah, he, he, had a five he, he is a picked good up bet. on the talk. He figured it out. His instincts were okay. I was going to call until he started yeah, talking. Was the five good? Then Baird, you almost no, we, no. he almost kind of good. like wiggled no. his way out by keep keep talking. <laughs> Hmm? <laughs> it was a couple of big lies. Yeah, I was like, just let me bluff one, and then later I don't want you to call. Why would you <laughs> mock that, bro? Because you had it. Best hand, buddy. No, was it? Was it? You'll see. I can't lie. It's like fucking television. That's true. No one's going nuts right now. That donkey. Donkey. He keeps thinking I'm going nuts on him. I'm not going nuts on him at all. I don't go nuts on anybody's strategy. Well, go nuts. Idiot. Donkey. Yeah. Is there any other sports that people, like men, go from men to women, or sport? You think baseball is the only one? Where, where mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Well, it's the one thing I will say as a poker player, when I think about my career, I was a poker player. You know, I haven't played as many tournaments as I probably would have liked. I really enjoy playing tournaments. Just the time and doing commentary, so I can't. But another thing I've always wanted to do is I've always wanted to play with Phil Hellmuth and, and be on the other end of a Phil Hellmuth rant. That's a dream of a lot of people, yeah, understandably. And I think, but at this point, I know Phil and we're friends, so I just don't. And, and he, he's kind of matured past it a little bit. He's still, a little bit. He still does it, but it's not as bad, and I just don't think he'd ever rant against me. Like, a real rant. He's fake, but... Like here. Bear Drew has yeah, flopped the nuts. Queen Jack. Darren's going to make another fold on him. <laughs> so Bear Drew keeps making the hands, and Darren keeps folding the second best hand. How's that? Like, you do, like, a small crime, then you go fuck all the girls in jail. So I got to... Uh, Guys, play a stud eight tournament at the World Series with <laughs> Phil at my table for about an hour and a half. And he wasn't ranting against me, but I, I happen to have two hands in short order in which he was playing a high pair, and I was on a free roll after fifth or sixth street. And I made a straight or a flush or two pair, and he was, his jacks didn't hold up each time. And after the second time, he said, you know, he stood up, as he likes to do, did a 360, comes back to me, says, you know, every hand you just bink, bink. You bink, bink. It's good to just bink, bink. I said, Phil, man. I don't understand a whole lot, <laughs> but isn't the idea in this game to scoop? So if I got low straight cards and I make a low and then I'm on a free roll, I can beat a high. Yeah, what am I doing wrong? But you just keep bink bink. I said, well, you keep playing a pair. <laughs> but yeah, so he gave like as a if, mini ransom. If, if somehow, you, you, let's say you started off ace three, five, six, and he's got a pair of jacks. He's getting crushed there. Yeah, yeah take, take a look at the equities. Yeah, yeah it's study. So, yeah, but that he just even, and he knew me, but he just couldn't stand the fact that he's it just happened. He's coming. Right. I, I haven't done anything wrong. Bink, bink. Bink, bink. Uh -huh. So, a raise from Rob, no, she's a coming. call from Antonius, the uh, earlier, suited connector, bared you three bets. Cowboy John has picked up a hand as well, but he folds it. So Cowboy John with a really tight fold, but a very disciplined one. He folds the nines. Back over to Rob, who makes the call. Let's see if that brings Antonius in here. He's not that deep. That's one of the problems. And if you're going to play a hand like this, you really want to be very, very deep. But he's going to call anyway. And uh, Pot is now just over $1,000. Yeah. Me too. Some low cards. How about, the, how about he just flops the straight? Yeah. Yeah, he does have the ass end of it, but in a three bet pot, you probably, uh, you like this a lot. How, when's the last time you haven't had your phone, like, right next to you? Like, 24-7. It's kind of nice. No, I wouldn't. This is a, uh, a pretty ugly flop for Bear Jew and Rob's hand, but Rob is going to bet. Oops. Sometimes you have food when you're on the air. Oh, yeah, yeah. So sick. now with a decision. He's got kings on what is a very wet board. He has to try to figure out, does my opponent already have it? Yeah. Or is my opponent on a draw? Does he have a hand like 10x of clubs? <laughs> You have to get out the combo draw. The problem is a lot of those combo. It's a three bet pot, so he's not going to be in there with like King 10. He's more likely to have a suited connector like Jack 10, in my opinion, or already have two pair. 
Right? I mean, he yeah. just doesn't have right. cards that are going to be like a far apart from each other. So when you start thinking about that, it's like, what draws does he have? Now, I mean, Berger doesn't have a club in his hand, so Antonius could have like ace, ten of clubs, theoretically. You know, maybe king, jack of clubs. But those are only a couple of combinations we beat. You know, we lose to jack-10, we lose to 5-6, we lose to sets, we lose to straights. I mean, I'm sorry, we lose to two pair. You might not be thinking your, your opponent would play jack-10 in this manner because, you know, it's the nuts. 5-6 makes a lot of sense. And there's the all-in from Berju, and he is drawing extremely thin. Obviously, Rob can get rid of the ace-queen unless we have his cards wrong. They're both all in? This is weird. I was going to call if he didn't with this. I was going to call because I don't think he has. No, I don't. I don't he has to draw. <laughs> it's hard to make a right read. Jeez. I have you crushed. We can do it three times. You can do it nine times. Two times, two times. Two times. You have uh, I, fl I flopped it. Ah, oh, so it doesn't matter. Mm. I oh, you flopped it? Oh, no! Oh, wow. Wow. I hate to waste that, Kim. <laughs> oh, they hit straight, though. They're actually going to chop the second one. So... I mean, Berju could have, he had like 3% equity. Yeah, he had 3%. And he actually could have won that. He hits a king. If the board pairs, he wins the first time. And then the second time, we get a straight on the board, and they chop it up. That would have been so ugly. I mean, the fact that Berju is getting any money out of this pot. So what's happening? It's sickening. Well, that's ugly enough. Okay. My favorite part of that entire hand was Rob going, I would have called it this because he doesn't have it. <laughs> it's it's hard to make right reads. Like I said, I just think, I think if you go back to the flop, I'm sorry, if you go back pre-flop and you notice that he called a raise and then called a three bet, he's going to have a lot more suited connectors than gap suited connectors. Like I said, I mean, cards that are together and... If you look at that, then he's going to have more straight two pair sets. Then he's going to have just like you know a flush draw or just a straight draw. You know, maybe I mean maybe ten nine there, but you're not really doing that well against the hands like ten nine. You're ahead of it, but is the button right, bro? Yeah. It's just one of those issues when you've got kings there. It's like you're basically either coin flipping or you're crushed. So uh, Mariano up five thousand, Darren up twenty eight hundred, Rocky up. Uh, as well. Remember, the buy-in on this is just 1,000 to 3,000, so that is a, a pretty good day for this kind of game. That was a big, brave call, free flop, and you hit. Five, six, shoot it. Bam! I think we came to gamble today. I don't know. That's what, what I should have done with my 8-9. I would have tapped him probably yeah. if he had him the queen. So Berju, 3-betting. Nate's open. See what Nate does here against Berju, who might be on tilt a little bit. Just calls. Tilt. Robin there as well with queen five. Yeah. Antonius folded twos. I, I got to tell you, if I see, uh, if I'm closing the action and three people have called, I'm going to call and see if I can bake my deuce. Yeah. Three players. Three seventy-five. Three, three of us, right? Yeah. game I think I've ever played, bro. Mm. Fucking people. Limp calling. We've seen weirder games, but uh, Norman, talk us through this hand. What's happening? I, I, I have... 
<laughs> the flop yes, essentially sir. misses everybody. There's a gut shot for Rob. Come on, man. All in. I, I am, I am now. It's, it's, oh, it's over my head and yeah, it's under my feet. Wow. Show it. Five six. Come on. A lot of acting no, no, there. He had a big hand. You're gonna make us wait now. He didn't call with that. He called it a big hand. Said, I'm on tilt. <laughs> At any given time, <laughs> I don't know if Bear Jew is is right? up 10k or down 10k. I don't. I don't remember. He's involved with so many pots. I'm still thinking about Rocky. And here, Rob. I'm still thinking about Rocky and flopping the nuts. I mean, that was a three-bet pot where everybody basically missed, except as you said, Rob flopped the gut shot with backdoor clubs. And it went bet with nothing. Okay, I, I, yeah. that makes sense. <laughs> Call with nothing. nothing. <laughs> and then shove over the top with nothing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is a good game. <laughs> that was a fun hand. Tomorrow night's game a little bit bigger. We play 10-20 with a $20 big blind ante. A lot of times that game will uh, transform into a 10-20-40 game with a $20 big blind ante. The buy-in in that game tomorrow, I believe, is 3,000 to 10,000. I got 20 out there, right? The food bring you the positive hmm? energy, right? The food bring you the positive energy. Somehow, some way, Berju is not in this hand. No, I, I, I believe you are just not seeing it correctly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, no, I mean, I clearly have missed it. Yeah, I think he's in, and I think we also missed yeah, it on the graphics. Uh, Rob has got a flush draw. BTS Nate has the aces. Darren has top pair. So expect action on this one. Pot is 545. It's 200 to call. Cowboy John can get rid of his 9-7. But I don't think Darren's going anywhere, and we'll see how Rob plays it. I mean, Rob just played queen five of clubs on the eight, seven, four, one club board by moving all in. How aggressive does he play ace three of clubs? This is actually too good of a hand for him. Two, 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 three players? There's the ace. Oh, wow, case ace there. Oh, and that is, uh, that'll save Darren, but it's really gonna hurt Rob. Might also kill our action because now Rob doesn't need to bluff at it. Like he well, can, he might he, not get the opportunity to bluff at it. No, he's not going to. Nate's just going to keep firing. Rob has no idea that he's drawing pretty thin. He needs a club that can't pair the board, so uh, any club except the six of clubs will do. Oh, he's definitely coming along. Come on. Yeah. Oh. oh, wow. He's wow. All in. We got the answer to your previous question. Oh, How many times wow. do you run it? I go one time. Oh, you only go one time? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, Rob is going one time. That. He's a four to one dog. Right. Oh, and there's a club. Wow. I thought you were going to go like two times. So I was like, okay. Holy crap. Oh, I'm like, you got so lucky. I know. I know I did. When, when, wow. he, when he did that, I'm like, Hell yeah. So you went all in on a draw. 2K, uh, the ace was the worst thing to see. Wow. I wasn't going to fold for anything. Oh, sorry, sorry. Bad beat, man. Sorry. You want that. You want that every all day. 28.45. Total? You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. It's 30 something hundred. I love how the guy who just gave you the guy a bad beat tells him, you want that. 38? What happens on the river, though, if I go all in? Well, uh, Rob, uh, trying to be gracious, uh, and like that, that six, bad eight. beat cost BTS Nate most of his profit for the night. Boom, oh, yeah, boom, I mean, that's a, that was a, that's a $9,000 pot. 4, yeah, he was up 5K or so. Right? I mean, in the game with a $3,000 cap, you got a $9,000 pot. That's sick. You gotta get shit for your dealing today, bro. Right, 38. I love you, bro. 33? 33? 38. 38. 45. And I actually thought that Rob might play the hand more aggressively if he didn't hit the ace, because once he hits the ace, he has showdown value. Good, good. You know. 3, 35, 38, 45. Just bad players get rewarded. 
I would tip you a hundred bucks if you gave me that base on or that club or whatever. Uh, three max, three, three total. Yeah. I'm sure he's gonna Nate is gonna rebuy for another three K, <laughs> and he has had a tough, tough night. I mean, right from the start. Yes. Remember, he was the one who had nine, ten. Oh, that's right. I'm confusing Nate with Mariano. Actually, Nate was not. Uh, winning, he's he's had yeah right off from the start. Nate versus Mariano, yeah, and, it was, and that I mean, was the that nine ten hand. He lost it all. Yeah, so I, I, let me correct myself. He wasn't up five k just now. Mariano's one up five k. Nate's having a really tough night, and really no fault of of, of his own. Just that's how poker goes sometimes. Not for that. What do you do when you're playing? You know, you're playing in one of your mixed games, and it's just not your night. You're not hitting your draws. Your opponent's always hitting. Well, I don't know what to do anymore. Do you just get up and, and call it a night? I wish I did. I don't play often enough to understand when the cards are running bad. You just got to cut your losses. Uh, I keep playing if the game's good. So it's that simple. And my worst nights are, you know, especially like in Omaha 8, are when you, you know, you miss, you know, you, sometimes you, you, you keep flopping. Not, not draw. And you get nothing. So... Yeah, it's not really bad beats as much as missing hands. Right, you've got ace, deuce, three of hearts, and, and the board comes out like, you know, six, seven, jack, two hearts, and you're like, okay, let's go to war. Yeah, you go to war. So, I literally forgot what I So, I checked. Does your game change when you are losing? Do you think it changes? I, I think everybody's game except the best changes uh i have made so, people used to tell me i have made so many good comebacks from deep holes uh i have usually made them by being disciplined your thinking usually for rec players is you know you, you, you can't get it back unless you're involved in pots so you actually end up playing more when you're losing i actually tighten up a little especially if the game's really active so i say i want to still get it with the best of it so I, I have recovered from so many deep holes that one of my best aspects of my game is not going on tilt and just being very disciplined when I'm way down when I'm playing good. So things at the poker table don't make you go on tilt, but people can make you go on tilt. People can, yeah, without question. I fucking love this guy. Ray's here from Fat Duck, 7-6, Bear Drew calls, Cowboy John calls. There's a very sad-looking Nate. <laughs> I think he might karate chop it. Yeah. Who? Does he go to who? Karate chop who? We're going to see multi way action. Let's see if Rod three bets this. What did he get? No, he just called. <laughs> Rocky's going to call as well. And we'll see it five ways. Good luck to me. Bring up. Everybody has cards. Yeah, what he tips. That's his business. Queen eight three. I believe. Fives are still the best hand. And they are. Rocky's fives are the best hand here. Rob's going to bet his ace jack, though. Sorry. Okay. Everybody folds. And Rob's heater continues. This one he earned, though. Mine, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Actually, three hands in a row. Oh, I mean, you see him yeah. shove with queen five, gets a king queen to fold, king jack to fold, and he's aggressive. Then obviously he gets lucky with the ace three of clubs, and then there. And then, of course, here we have our uh, our big game is on Friday night. Garrett and Andy Gall will be there as well. They're playing 5100. Don't be surprised if it turns into a 50, 100, 200, 400 game. Last time these guys battled here at Hustler Casino Live, we had about a million dollars on the table, just a tad under. So make sure you join us Friday night, 5 p.m. Pacific. Bart Hansen will be commentating on that. And we'll take a look at our leaderboard here. Nate is our big loser, as you said. Down nearly 6,000. Cowboy John down 2,500. Uh, Rob, our big winner, up 6,000. With the lion's share in that very lucky hand against me. Just get you caught up. He went. He had set aces and no, no. Stop. And he. She's gonna see it. I turned the flush draw on the river and he got it. I charged for all bad players. Top pair and flush draw. Five dollars in bad horrible. Eight players. And with the jailer change. Yes. It's bomb pot That's time. Oh, oh, bomb pot brought to you by O'Reilly oh, Auto Parts. O'Reilly. Oh, they're not a sponsor? No. What the fuck is that? That means he's out. He's out. He doesn't get to play. 
Whoa! Very nice. Well, can't be two buttons and then I'm like, what the hell? Play your king. Play your king. No, I know. You're a terrible shot. Mariano. But if I just call you. Flopping top pair. You're going to get away from a big bet on this. And he will bet it. Middle pair for Rob, who's on a heater. Huh? I'm just playing with it. All right. Showing good discipline there, and this one will be over in a hurry unless Rocky feels like early Christmas gift right now. Gut shot hunting. So that bomb pot fizzled out. The right button. <laughs> it should feel good when someone shoves on you when you have enough, right? Yeah, fuck. Yeah. You were like, you gotta be kidding or in you. me. But I only go one time. Any, it doesn't yeah. make I didn't know that either. I don't yeah. think I make that move. Everybody was kept going twice and everything, so I'm like, it's okay. Just, it just changes the variance. Yeah. yeah, it's not. Well, yeah, but at the end of the day, you know, the ace is the worst <laughs> card. <laughs> but you know, you know, at the end of the day, yeah, it's all no, max pain for me. Right. Mm, Either way. Right. It's nothing to think about. It's a nice hand, and you just no, I got lucky. It's like <laughs> there's nothing more to think about. I know. Call sixty-five. Cowboy John, very inactive over the last couple of hours. Picks up the pocket eights here, calling Bear Jew's raise. Four to the flop. Ooh, pocket jacks for Fat Duck. Uh oh. Someone's gonna steal. Steal it. Raise. Oh, there you go. <laughs> The hat raises. I might follow him home just because I, I want to see what's under the mask. Just the whole body's covered. I, I need to know who I'm commentating on. It's like, uh, you know, when you're closed up like that, it's like commentating on a condom. Yeah, you, you want to see what's going on? What's the pot? If I were to pot, how much would it be? I can't tell you that. Wrong game. I can tell you. Three bet from Fat Duck. Yeah. And that should clear out the crumb bombs yeah. and shoe clerks. Yeah, right here. <laughs> is this still a bomb pot? Oh, no. no, this is the next hand. You're allowed to tell it's going to come along. It was a 6 7 suited <laughs> that started uh, Rob on his uh, heater. I just keep telling me I'm wrong until I get it right. <laughs> or that, he actually had 6 5 suited. You can't get it wrong every yeah. time, man. Exactly. <laughs> Two diamonds on the flop, nobody with a diamond, and the jacks are still good, a fat duck. Nothing going for either Bear Jew or Nate. 400. Bear Jew's got to say uncle. They still say uncle in the 21st century? Good, he said uncle. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like in this politically correct world that we live in, it's more appropriate to say and occasionally. You gotta mix it up. I guess so. You know, I didn't think of that because it's always it should be gender neutral. Nice yeah. raise. Yeah. Yep. Be they, he, she, <laughs> auntie. It doesn't sound as good. You go aunt or aunt. plus aunt can be pronounced aunt or aunt. So uncle's so much easier. Oh, you're doing. You cry uncle, uncle. Right. You go aunt, someone goes, ah, oh, you're so pretentious, it's aunt. You go aunt, you go, that's incorrect, it's aunt. Yeah, then you get into the whole thing, and you don't even know what you're talking about anymore. What, what's the origination of cry uncle? Uh, I bet you it's something British for some reason, but I don't know. That's a, that's a good question. <laughs> I mean, we've, all, so we've all heard of that. I don't care how old you are. I mean, you've heard a saying, right? Well, you're getting left at twice, though. Oh no, multiple times. No, 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 like on the oh. table and in the chat. Oh, I don't even know. Oh. And I'm sure they've had something to say about your shirt. I mean, maybe it's simply because your aunt, your aunt, is never holding you down and beating you silly while your uncle is more likely to do so? That's perhaps. You've seen him on the street? It's American English, so I'm wrong about the Brits on that one. You're thinking of other men. <laughs> what? A straddled pod here. Yeah, I don't see it. I don't know where it comes from. It's like we're going to see this one five ways. Pot's one hundred ten dollars. King nine six. Nobody with a king. Antonius with the pair of nines is going to bet. 
see if Rob gets sticky with a pair of sixes. He is. Over and not me. <laughs> yeah, Makes the call. I'm starting to get a little nervous. <laughs> He's starting. I'm taking that off the table. <laughs> yeah, I'm Mariano's got a gut say, shot. He's going to let it go. I think I'll pay for that Uber instead of you going there. Yeah. Come walk into your next one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you might not come out, buddy. Jack nine still, still good here. Antonius, no slowdown. <laughs> Despite the fact that Rob called the flop, Antonius is going to keep betting. This time, one ten. Right, I play softball and, and the hand is over. And I'm losing in the table. All right, according to Wikipedia, that's wherever that's worth, there, there's right? three so theories on the origin <laughs> of Uncle. One theory is that it derives from a phrase uttered by youngsters in the Roman Empire who got into trouble. And the phrase translates to uncle, my best of uncles. That makes no sense to me. The second theory is it may be based on a joke from 19th century England. I did say it might be English. Uh, about a bullied parrot, about a bullied parrot being coaxed to address his owner's uncle. That makes no sense. That makes no sense to me. A bullied parrot? That's, a, that's an animal, right? A parrot? And the third is that it may be derived from an Irish word, anacol, meaning mercy or quarter. I, I don't believe any of those theories. I mean, Wikipedia is something where, like, I mean, I can just post something on Anyone Wikipedia, can post on right? Wikipedia. I mean, Wikipedia has got strengths, it's got weaknesses, and you just mentioned one of the weaknesses. There's no verification whatsoever. None, essentially. So let me, I, you know what, tweet us, at Norman Chad, at Tuck on Sports. If you can tell me what the origin of uncle is, I, I'm intrigued now. It could be as simple as, again, somebody was, you know, a, a, a parent, an adult was rough, rough housing with his nephew, and the nephew said, enough uncle, enough uncle, you know, because Uncle Bob or Uncle Abe. And then somehow uncle, uncle became, okay, uncle, uncle. It could be like that. I'm getting a walk, you know. I suppose. Bully like parrot. Oh How's a parrot know he's being bullied? <laughs> yeah, I don't buy any of those. Yeah, your hand's not that good. Yeah. It's good, but it's not that Is your Wikipedia page Go correct? It's probably good. Uh, I haven't looked for a while. It's it's 90-some percent correct. There's there's mistakes in it. Yeah. I'm going to update it. <laughs> just That's, you know, I originally did not even know. This is like 10 or 15 years ago. I didn't know I had a Wikipedia page. Somebody else has to do it for you. Somebody else did it, but somebody has then informed me that whoever did it was somebody who hated me. It was like a, it was like a screen against me. So he said, I'm going to fix it. You pay for it. I don't know who it was. And then he had a lot of mistakes, but he did fix it. And then people fix it routinely, and I don't know who's fixing it. Pay for the pizza. They update it. Got the <laughs> <laughs> Andrew is still talking about pizza. <laughs> was he paying for everybody? I guess. On the, uh, that was 775, bro. There is a bacon store, so. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God I didn't ask for avocado. By the way, Operation Pizza Oven, for those of you who have been following me, I built a pizza oven at the house. Operation Pizza Oven has gone swimmingly well. Yeah, we want, that's one of the reasons when I was going to come over with my wife, and I told her, I've shown her the pizza oven, and she actually wanted to see pizza oven in operation, if possible. Oh, well, we'll make, I mean, it looked happy, great. happy to make pizza for your wife. You can wait in the car. Got an interesting flop here and uh, and run out here, so Fat Duck can't lose the hand, but Bear Jew doesn't know that. Now, the board did pair, and maybe that gets paired you out. Both players with a flush draw. Fat Duck with a pair of eights to go along with it. You see the check mark next to Fat Duck's hand. That is only obviously if it goes to showdown. He's not folding, is he? Oh my God! Oh my God! What? How? I see the river. I don't understand. No. How? No. Okay. You don't have buddy. to see. Thank you, baby. Did I get the heart or no? No. Uh, if you got a heart, you're gonna. Heart is no good for me? Uh, yeah. I had you all the time. You had better than three highs? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, explain that to me. I, I, I can't. Uh, I, I, I really can't explain it to you. I don't understand. Four? I mean, the only thing I will point out. Thank you for folding. Uh, and I don't like to make guesses on people's finances because I have no idea. But I know that this is our smallest game. And I like to. I, I think there's a chance that people want to be on Hustle Casino Live. And this is our smallest game, so maybe they're playing a little bit above their normal comfort zone. 
and because of that, maybe, so every dollar means means more. I mean, maybe they make folds they wouldn't normally make in their normal yeah. game. Yeah. Yep. I did the impossible. That's my only guess. Otherwise, oh, I, 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 can't, I can't imagine a scenario oh, where I'm folding Jack Eight of Hearts on that board. Oh, very good. Yeah. Yeah. Shit, now I want to know what it is. Go check. You'll see it I'll later. Check. Yeah. Okay. Ten. I'll check I my tell you, I tell you. What is it? Four. 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 David yeah. mentioning uh, that no, no, I should no, no. be able to make eight some great eight baguettes eight. in my pizza oven. I have oh, made garlic know. nuts yeah. in the pizza oven yeah. and pizza. I got a pear and The next, I do want to start wow. making calzones in there. I think that would go over really well. Three, four, huh? Baguettes is a good idea. Baguettes wow, are tough to make them good, heart, but that's a good idea too. Queen eight, deuce two arts out there. Rob with a flush draw. And uh, Cowboy John with a pair oh, of 75. eights. 75. Rocky with a gut shot. Oh, 75. Cowboy so John's going to call. You fold, but ace high you call. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to understand how you play. Yeah, different, different astrology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Jack of hearts. Cowboy yeah. John makes two pair. Rob. Yeah, pair. Oh, wow. That was the card right there. Yeah. No, no. Norman. Eight, Jack. So eight, Rocky eight. hits his gut shot. Yeah. Rob makes the flush, and Cowboy That's John makes two pair. I mean, that was the gin card right there. For everyone. Ace, I didn't get it. Indeed. Yes. Cowboy John, with the worst hand, raises. Gets called by both players. Yeah. Cowboy John betting for value here. Just in case. Just a call? Why am I betting your hands? I don't know. I was betting him, you raised it. You. Yeah, and I think the sizing by that no. bet by Cowboy John. Almost. <laughs> Was so enough. Really if, if we saw it earlier on with Ace Queen. If somebody bets 200 into 800. I didn't I think you should probably raise the second nut. <laughs> seems like that pot should be bigger. No, he raised uh, me. Right? Just seemed like. I, raise you. I just called. I didn't raise you. I bet. Oh, he bet on the river 200. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I wanted oh, him to make a move. Flush, you just see Nate's face there. Wait, you just called the river? I mean, the funny thing is that oh, Nate might have made, I mean, uh, Rob might have made as much money as he could have. Because if he had raised. By the way, what is he going to call? He maybe gets the 10 9 to three hearts out there. You're not going to call anything. I get 200 from him. Maybe he goes crazy. By just calling, he actually got the 10 9 to He did get the 10 and actually, he mentioned he wanted to see, he wanted the 10 9 to try to do something. He got that call. Yeah. I still, I, 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 I'm going to raise there, but I, I think from a results-oriented standpoint, uh, he probably made the most. Definitely not there a month and a half straight, though. No, I'm just yeah. going, I'm going October 3rd through the 7th. Okay, cool. So they are talking about the World Series of Poker? Just, no, no, I'll play, but okay. I'm just going to play like a 1,500 <clears throat> tournaments. And, yeah. Cool. So will you be in Vegas for the entire series or going back and forth? Well, I'll be Vegas back and forth, but I'll be there <laughs> for a good deal of the series. Get back to the community a little bit? Uh, probably playing three or four events. Bracelet events, probably calling four events, so it puts me there for... Dinner at Todd Brunson's place? If, you know, I, I, I have a tab there, so if I have no money in my pocket, I can go there and... Uh, can I put? Can I get dinner on your tab? I don't think he's going to allow it. I wish you could try it. Uh, the tab's never been paid, so go right ahead. <laughs> I want to try that. I really want to go in That's there and order idea. like nice I want to order a chicken parmesan or something. Uh, Todd Brunson, of course, Doyle's son, owns a an Italian restaurant relatively close to the Rio. Yeah, Spring Mountain uh, Road, uh, Roma Della Cafe. Roma Deli Cafe, yeah. I feel like this promotion alone, I should get a free meal. You should. Actually the food's like, actually, actually like to run bed quite, uh, then, it's good. Quite good, yeah, it's, it's great comfort food. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. A lot of good red sauces, good Italian, good, yeah. good old style Italian yeah. place. <laughs> is he partnered with Max Pescatore? Yes, he is. That, yes, Max Pescatore, of course, uh, crazy Italian wizard. He is, uh, Pescatore is good at all the games. I want to say he has four bracelets now. Does something he has four bracelets, known as the Italian pirate. He's, uh, he's a good, good fun guy. So uh, Max and Todd own that restaurant together. That's pretty cool. I hope neither one of them is ever allowed in the kitchen, but it is a good restaurant. Friday night till Saturday. Oh, shit, really? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ask Atlas, he'll Get a raise here from Fat Duck with 4-3 of diamonds. Called in a whole bunch of spots. 
So the 5-5 five five with the 50 ante, right? right. That thing? Yeah. That's the game. Tuesday. On Tuesday? Yeah, that's a big game. Yeah, yeah. You're talking about the it's Tuesday big, game, which of course yeah, is a 5-5 five five blind game, but a $50 no ante, that game gets oh, insane. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, that's where it makes it big, yeah. right? You got like 25 That game plays pretty big. It seems like everybody's gambling. The, well, the open range size in that game, for whatever reason, is like 200, 250. Okay, cool. I mean, you could literally open raise to $10 if you wanted to. I don't give you action, man. But they go 200. <laughs> we don't want you to die. Uh, but it's weird. So it's the game tomorrow night, which is 1020 with a $20 big blind ante, the opens will be to 100, 80, maybe 120. King 8 3, pair of threes for the original Razor. But as you can see, yeah, those guys are way too good this three bet here. I, and, uh, I get torched on Friday. This is kind of one of those situations where whoever bets is probably going to get it. I was trying to be like Nate. this guy, man. Yeah. <laughs> Nate being the Didn't aggressive player pre flop takes it down post. Thank you. Yeah, I think I'd get crushed in the first 10 minutes if I tried to play like this. If you are just joining us, yellow chips are five dollars, white chips, uh, purple chips are twenty-five, white chips are a hundred, and you can see a green chip underneath uh, elders' whites. Those are a thousand each. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got to talk to the production crew like about these close-ups and no. bear. Dude, what is going on? Like, I mean, do we ever really need to see him that close up? I mean, this is HD. Okay. His family sees him in HD every day. Right, nobody else needs to. Please. Best film you saw like it. You want to see how we play? I'm sure he's worried about me. To me, he seems like a nice guy. To be honest with you. No, yeah, he seems super nice. Yeah, I don't know why he's saying. Rubbed your way off. Uh, I've heard him say a bunch of really. No, no, I said that. Uh, I say a lot of shit like yeah. that too, but I'm a nice people. guy. And I say a lot of stuff that sounds like I'm a fucking asshole. Oh, come on. <laughs> you right? Wait, what do you come on me? She's about to say you yes. You wanted a raise? Fuck you. Rocky and Straddle just checks. Wow. Yes. Right, but maybe I don't need more. So this is a, uh, we're playing 5, 5, 10, 20 now, and Rocky decides not to raise out right, of the, the Straddle. Mm -hmm. I'm really totally trying. Totally, dude. Fuck. Go, go. Yeah, the purple chips are 25. Checks Ooh, through. A, a lot of flush draws came out for our players. Yeah, Baird you now with a, a pair of sevens card. and a flush draw. Rocky with a better flush draw. Yeah, Nate with the best hand right down. now with two pair. Two down. One down. Coming to me? I don't pull nothing. I Darren, by the way, has an open-ended straight me. draw with a bad flush draw. Okay, we got two down and two forward. Oh, we got Rocky thinking. I don't even know what I want on the river. Four-way action, Bearju. Need some help. That's not going to be it for him. And in fact, it's going to be Nate who's going to win this now with two pair. Nate's going to put out a little bit of a blocker, kind of small value bet. No, he's going to check there. He's going to check through. Two pairs. Two pairs. I hope you're not lying, because I just smoked my fucking huh? hand. <laughs> <laughs> I just smoked your hand. <laughs> I thought you said, fuck, I said, oh, wait, you that. lost. That would be funny. You didn't, uh, you had to win a hand, but you didn't one bet. I thought that was what you meant. I need a nice space for a fucking straight flush. Yeah, if you're new to live poker, you know, let's say you play you online and you just jump at the casino. How high was your space? Don't always take no your straight. opponent's word for it. Game. Don't muck your hand no until they show you the winner. No, I had a spade. That's what I'm saying. King of spades. And indeed, I've seen some of the uh, worst arguments lose, uh, afterwards when someone does muck their hand to somebody declaring their hand incorrectly and just gets uh, obviously gets very mad. <laughs> no, that can't happen. Yeah, I and you win. get these angles too sometimes where yeah. I've seen guys do this where they'll have a po they'll have pocket deuces. There'll be fours on the board. Wow. And at the end I'm of the hand, they'll go, two pair. two pair. And then the other guy's like, okay, and he folds his jacks, thinking you've got a, a real two pair, not like... Hold on, John. And it's, sometimes it's innocent, and sometimes it's not, so... But either way, Tuck is correct. Hold on to your hand until you see the other player's cards. You know what, though, Thank you. Guys, can we make the 40 live? Anybody object? Thank you, Patrick G. What? 
Yeah. Yeah. 40 a double live. Yeah. We got okay. 40 more minutes. I don't care. We don't mind. Okay with yeah. making the 40. Can you ask them, please? Jack 6-3, so rainbow? Is, uh, straddle? Yeah, 40 would be the straddle, because we're playing anyways. Uh, yeah, we're playing that anyway. It's fine. fine? All right, cool. I'm stuck my left nut. What well, 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 difference doesn't make? No, it could be a straddle, because we're anyway. Are they on a larger I'm straddle right. or a is double straddle? Third? What are they or? trying to do? No. Yeah, no, 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 no. I, I think they want to okay, make a $40 yeah, yeah. straddle, but apparently, I don't know if that one's live or not, but I don't know why it wouldn't be live. Unless he's trying to make sure that everybody does it. Yeah. He's saying somebody does it. Yeah. Oh, okay, gotcha. I mean, I think I'm all the straddles here are live. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Just saying that I just really wanted to be live if I do it, it, you know? Oh, gotcha. So it's not that bad. Gotcha. It's not as bad as it's I think Bear Drew's just down and wants to play a bigger game. Oh, Mariano getting robbed to fold the best hand there. Mariano with a workmanlike knight. Mm -hmm. yeah, it started off well for him when he three bet with ace five of clubs. Turned the flush when his opponent turned the straight and he got paid off. Yeah. 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 If you don't put it 40 down, next time you come, that's four people live there. But, uh, like probably three. It's a different world, right? Yeah. It's not bad at all. It's just, it's just I think they were like 17 bucks for Seven dollar pizza. That's, really nice. that's not bad, actually. It's nice. I want to be a server sometimes. You want to be a server sometimes? Sometimes. Bear you with the suited connector. He's gonna raise. Eighty dollar make you holla. You have like a gazillion dollars in there. <laughs> Rob is going to three bet this out of small blinds. Cool. Very action. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> right? So what is it? 230. Bear Drew makes the call. 80. Pot <laughs> is $500. <laughs> Get in there. I didn't win you to race. I'll be back to there. Real quick. Right. Interesting you say it's 500. You said you won 306. I said, well, you won 300. The pot's 495. You say it's 500. Case closed. You made a big deal about $6. Because this this is not my five dollars. It's my five dollars. Then I make a big deal. Good point. Six dollars. Yes. Okay. I stand corrected. Patrick G in the chat says Marley and DGAF will be a great combo. That is Monday. Marley Cordero will be here next week. So will DGAF. And uh, Marley's going to play on our show Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. DGAF is going to commentate Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, and then of course Norman Chad and oh Lon McCarran will be commentating on Thursday. Oh no. <laughs> you can just go 40, right? You can just go 40. I gotta get a fucking hand. I haven't had a hand oh, like an hour. I don't know. I, I don't know. It's they probably won't allow that. Oh, okay. DGAF and Marley Cordero yeah, right. are not <laughs> husband and wife. Marley is actually married to Spraggy. Spraggy. Jonathan? Yes, sir. It's on you, sir. Good. Terrible. Better. Oh. Sorry about that. You're right. Very slick. <laughs> Got about 30 minutes left in tonight's show. I want to thank all of you for joining us. We are back at it tomorrow. I'm going to be here commentating on my own. So it'll be a lot of table talk. Playing 1020 with a $20 big blind ante. <laughs> I have not eaten today. You want pizza? No. <laughs> Check. Pizza. Pizza has dominated the menu. Yeah, they love pizza here, huh? I mean, I will say the food at the Hustler Casino is really good. I've never had a pizza here. Well, with the few times I've played here, other players at the table got the pizza. It looked good, and they told me it tasted good. So it's. I, I definitely will go pizza in the future. I feel like I've got to try it, but see how my pizza. Two pair. Yeah. With the you know, compares to the pizza here. Yeah, okay, Wolfgang. Oh, that's the only thing I can beat. Literally. Literally. 
lost tonight was just really it's rent for like two weeks out in New York. <laughs> yeah, no. I'll, I'll what, what do you get on your pizza? <laughs> Actually, I'll ask you. What is your your I'm already behind wait, them right away? Now. Like your uncle said, yeah, no. wine bo- if you get a bo- wine in a box, oh, well, you're no longer a Chad. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What is, what is your you disgust me when it comes to pizza? You see somebody do it. What is your name? Oh, put Nate. something on pizza. Nice yeah. That, uh, okay, there's something that's pretty popular out here at a couple places. Uh, French fries on the pizza. <laughs> right. I love French fries. I love You're pizza. Right. Uh, a place in my neighborhood, you said their po- most popular, <laughs> popular slice right with anybody under the age of 18 was whatever they call their their French fry pizza. French, French fry pizza. On, French fries on top of the pizza. Sounds delicious. I'm not gonna lie. But uh, you're, that's you that's. You're I just don't want it. You know, and I'll, I'll take actually yeah. virtually yeah, almost any. Thing on the pizza, even though I tend to be conservative, I'll eat anything on the pizza. I feel like I failed as a parent every time my kid orders a pizza because he gets a pineapple pizza, but no. not not the Hawaiian. But without There's no see, ham, with it's the Hawaiian, it makes sense. That's why you have failed I because like the, failed the meat and the meat and fruit thing does work. Right. But I'm okay if he wants to go. That's I even say to him, I go, "Do you want ham on that? You want bacon on that? No, no, just not pineapple." Yeah. Okay. You you've really failed them. I think so. Ten on the turn, Rocky now. With a pair of tens, just enough to get himself in trouble as Cowboy John is flop top set. Now, obviously, a second set. Pot is 7.65. Oh, pretty ugly run out if you're Cowboy John. Well, I didn't get the help. He didn't care about the ugly run out. No, I mean, and, 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 and it was so quick. <laughs> yeah, I, I was shocked. <laughs> uh, and he didn't even bet small. He bet 300 at the 765. I just have a top pair. I'm sure it's not good, though. You have a set? No. Hey, you yelled at him, too? Yeah. <laughs> no, I asked. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is a weird spot because you'd be thinking, well, my opponent either has a straight or nothing. No, I'm going to be yelled at. And uh, Cowboy John has got the next best thing. You're right, absolutely. And he's going to get paid him off. I sound like a noise again. I must so. adjust just so you know, and I, I call too. that fucking yeah, that time, time it worked out. French fries on your pizza. Board. So you know, anyway, I have had this. I've had buffalo yeah, wing pizza. Every other pair I've had. So it's it's I've it's mucked, buffalo, I've like it's like uh, like like, uh, so like a spicy buffalo, 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 buffalo right. type sauce. Right. That right. That you might put on your wings with chicken. I would have flopped three sets. That's delicious. If I called, I haven't had that either. So if you had to choose one item, it's the only way you eat pizza for the next year. What's the one item? Yeah, it's the only way you're able to eat pizza. You're eating pizza, let's say once, you know, twice a month for the next year. Whatever. Only one item to put on the pizza. What's the one item? Your first choice, and what's your second choice? What's your first choice? I mean, cheese and sauce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Normal pizza. Normal pizza. Yeah. And I get to add one item. Yeah. I mean, look, I know, but I should... Garlic? You know, I it would be garlic, huh? I should have Simple. called with the okay. that many people. A little bit of garlic. Okay. okay. Do you have a second choice? Second choice, I'd probably go... If I could only do it that choice, I'd probably go... Five, 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 five. So where's the action? From mushrooms. Garlic surprised me. I love... I mean, garlic's great <laughs> on it with everything, so... I just feel like... I mean, yeah. I, I feel like I'm not going to get bored of that. You know? Okay. <laughs> and mushrooms don't I don't want too. pepperoni every time. Once in a while, I'm going to pepperoni. I don't want it all the time. Now. You know? I actually had it. Man. You? It could be pepperoni. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Every time, pepperoni? Does it end, or do people play yeah. it more? Oh, you can Raise you from Rob with two red eights. Okay. I bet just everyone sips up and leaves. But I never thought of garlic. I mean, I like garlic. I never thought of garlic, so. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. I mean, I like simple. It's just simple margarita pizza with a little bit of garlic on there. Yeah. Simple-minded, like simple things. I'm mm. in no mood to fold, buddy. You it's a perfect match. <laughs> We've got uh, people liking pepperoni, people liking steak, people like bacon and onions. Somebody wants Italian yeah. sausage with red onion on a thin crust. Thin cable, Very just take the mic off. Yeah. A, Are you a thin? Oh, top set again. How many times are we getting a top set here? By the way, Bearchu does have outs here. He can catch a four, and if he hits his four, this pot's going to be huge. I went and looked at my phone just now. Only bear two can hit the yeah. floor. Not tonight. Yeah, Another good. night for sure. Yeah, kids are all, I can't believe Jalapenos we, we got in there. Basil. I go, I thought I had the best. Sell them on your fucking horses. <laughs> Rob's going to continue over. firing, and yeah. I think the hand is probably over now. Oh, for sure it's over now. Did he just bet 1,600 in the seven? You are correct. Wow. 
Rob what do you have? Down. I'll tell you what to do. <laughs> are you a thin crust or you like are you a New York style pizza guy or are you more of a Chicago? Chicago. 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 I'm a lot of dough. No, I, I mean I eat them all. And if it's really, really good, I love, you know, a lot of dough. But yeah, I'm a thin I'm thin crust first. <sighs> without question. Yeah, was, uh, uh, bad joke. <clears throat> Yeah, again, I judge the pizza on crust, you know, crust, sauce, cheese. I mean, for starters. And Some people in the chat are um, echoing, saying pineapple is the nut low topping. Yeah, like I said, I mean, let me see if others are going to do it too. I try to support my son, and I've clearly, I clearly failed. I should have done that last time. It's obvious. I thought you did. I don't know what happened. No, it had to be 40 because I raised it to Does he have any other? Is this Phineas? Or, uh, Finny, yeah, sometimes he'll like. Oh, okay, sometimes okay. he'll put pepperoni on there with the pineapple. Okay. And sometimes just pineapple. <laughs> but with any other foods, is there any other one where you really let him down? Where you go, besides the fact he's putting pineapple on pizza, you're going, why? You know, how come you're putting feta in your cereal? No, no, he's he's pretty good the rest okay. of the way. I mean, he he likes to put chocolate milk in his cereal, but I mean, he's eight, so. Okay. It's chocolate milk. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. I miss chocolate milk. Six yeah. seven or up six seven. Pair of kings here for Bear Jew. Not much going on for anybody else. Cowboy John could get involved a little bit. It goes check, check. check, check. Goes checks through, and uh, Darren hits an ace. It's given, right? We all know that. See if Darren goes for a little bit of value. That's a great card to go for it. And he bets 100, and Bearju pays him off. And Darren's good night continues, and Bearju's nightmare continues. You got eight again? Yeah. And a lot. And a lot of pocket pairs. He doesn't play them, but he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my I mean, nephew had a particular I mean, weird yeah, habit. I'm He's now a grown man. He's now <laughs> 25 <laughs> in the Navy. Um, but he, I mean, even until, like, I want to say until he went to, like, Annapolis. No sauce, but not even like I mean, on his pasta. No sauce, not just no so sauce, but no butter, yeah. nothing. Wow. No ketchup, no butter, no sauce. Period. Plain pasta. And I'd always look at him. You, you want me to? Just, I can melt some butter and put it on there with a little cheese. No, nope, no, nope, nothing. That's very unusual. I mean, you'll see it just with the butter. You'll see it just with yeah, you know, butter, a little, oil. whatever, right? No, no, no nothing. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, sounds I was going to, and I just I don't know how I missed it because he did it, and then all of a sudden I missed it. That. Besides the fact that's a deal breaker in a relationship for a roommate or um, his husband or wife or whatever, uh, I don't know if I'm letting him into the Naval Academy. I, I'm going to go on a limb and say that during his interview, they did not ask. That didn't come up. I swear, if that came up, he's not getting in. And there's no reason for that to come up. Make sure. sure. The pot was 400. You bet 1600, man. What fuck are you talking about? He's really mad. What are you playing behind? So we got a <laughs> raise here from no, Bear Jew. Just, I'm just, I'm just seeing them. Rob, look at a three bet here. Right. Rob's got 10,000 behind. <laughs> or in front, I should say. <laughs> you know? Like, I'm on, The best needle you ever. Have, <laughs> FYI, you haven't covered it. <laughs> oh. Here's a three bet from Rob. This is one of those where... Eighteen hundred? Would you call forty? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Size it up. Especially here. Yeah, I, I think I want to allow. I mean, Bear Drew wants to gamble, and, and I've got him crushed. I really want to let him gamble. The one hundred dollar max hand. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to bet an amount of money that's forcing my opponent to play, make the right decision. On another stream, I saw they were like. I want to purple tips like induce mistakes. Okay, so even there, pre-flop. I want to make sure I'm going to get two thousand. Four thousand. <laughs> no, go thousand. Yeah, especially against Bear Jew, you're saying you want you you, you want him coming in. Yeah. Okay. I mean, if he, listen, if he outdraws me, he outdraws me. But you know, I've got Ace King. I'm gonna have him dominated some of the time, and when I don't have him dominated, I'm still probably gonna be ahead. Love you, brother. Love you too, buddy. You can see I'm having a hard time. Looks like there's someone else spinning the night tonight. <laughs> I will give you my, my weirdest food habit when I was in college. 95. Leftover pasta. 
I'd like it cold. What come I have left? In college. This is, you know, That's a bad start. Go ahead. Leftover pasta. We'd have it in the fridge. I'd, I'd, I'd have it cold. And then sometimes it would just be too dry, and I was too lazy pocket, to cook tomato know, sauce or, or any other sauce. I so I would pour A1 on it. it. Okay. I made and I would have cold leftover pasta with A1 <clears> just because I wanted something wet on it. And it was actually pretty good. No, it wasn't. <laughs> okay, if, I mean, you could have saved me if you had told me this <laughs> four hours and 36 minutes ago. I would have let you do this alone because I'm not going to sit here with somebody eating cold pasta with A1 on it. I would have, I would have walked to the furthest Del Taco in L.A. County and just ordered everything on the menu like you put through my in protest. This coming, somebody, this coming from somebody who has dates with his wife planning their trip to Popeye's. Or was it Del Taco? No, it was Popeye's, and I'm, I'm not going to I'm not gonna get defensive about Popeye's. Are you, are you nuts? You sound defensive. Huh? You sound defensive. No, I'm not going to get defensive. I'm proud of Popeye's. A1 on cold pasta. Sometimes, honey. I mean, I will say, it was a dark time in my life. I was in college. I was lazy. I mean, you're thinking it's one in the morning, you're coming home, you're you're hungry, what's I'm in the fridge? Eh, it's dry pasta. Eh, just throw me one on it, it'll be good. I mean, you would have been better off if you just microwaved that cold pasta for 90 seconds and just salted it. Yeah, I know, I know. Uh, Alias M80 says, oh my God, Tuckman is confessing to felonous. Well, thank you, I, I would not have stayed here. <laughs> Thank you, Emmanuel. Popeye is 10 stars. I, I still have yet to eat there. Yeah, we, we, ever in my life. Well, I told Tony that, my wife. She was shocked. She was actually saying we were going to come over. She's bringing certain oh, things she's going to cook. She was also going to bring you over some Popeyes. <laughs> I feel like I should. I, maybe I should. We should. We should live stream it. I will go there and I'll live stream my first Popeyes. What do you? What do you order? What's the thing again? Well, before I, I don't get the chicken sandwich, which people like a lot. I just always get a two-piece or three-piece combo. I mean, I just like their. I like their fried chicken. The chicken sandwich. So it's just Kentucky Fried Chicken. Except better. Oh yeah. It's 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 fast food fried chicken, but better. Raised from Cowboy John. Called in a couple of spots. Pot six fifteen. What is the name of the fried chicken place you, you said was going to open up in Pasadena? Howling, Howling Ray, Howling Rays, okay, but not H O W L I and apostrophe. Howling I'm, Rays. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, <laughs> Nate's not going to be particularly happy with this flop, but he's still in the lead. <laughs> and the continues to be in the lead. <laughs> Bear Jew is drawing dead. Cowboy John <laughs> can only hit a seven. Got that right. <laughs> so you see my action. Cowboy John is gonna bet it. Well, that worked. And win. You hear me oh. Hey, don't be You're telling me I'm in here. I know, but I'm saying that I was simple. can't believe I got another. Pick. Yeah, that was that was, <laughs> that was too easy. Okay, so I'd have a lot more money if I didn't just play some shit Thank one time <laughs> here and there just to get enough action on the table. Amen. <laughs> Oh uh, yes, uh, seat okay. seven. We're gonna ask Nathan to leave. <laughs> Tomorrow night. That's right. We are back at it. 5 p.m. Pacific. It'll be me. It'll be a lot of table talk since I'll be commentating solo. So when we do commentate solo, we like to uh, let the table do the work. And uh, suited Superman Poker Traveler will be here. I have uh, I have logged many many hours with suited Superman, so I'm excited to see him play tomorrow night. <laughs> yeah, you know, Rob you up 7,600, Mariano up 5,400, Nate down <laughs> nearly 6,000. <laughs> I'll see you soon. <laughs> right, mind the button, gentlemen, mind the button. I gotta get something on this one of these bomb pots. Check. 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 Pair of threes okay. for Nate, fours. Oh, this is a bomb pot. Which challenges my uh, quick glancing. That's club. I know when Check I saw it. Looks like seven to the best hand. I don't know what to do here. Obviously pretty Norm. vulnerable, but if it checks to <laughs> Darren. Yeah, if it checks to Darren there, I'm betting. There's only one overcard to my sevens, right? I, I just want to get the riffraff out. I don't want to, like right here. Fat Duck picks up eight deuce. Right, Rocky picks up eight three. Those are all hands I'm getting to fold. Well, the riffraff has improved. You're right. Yeah, you just don't want to. I mean, you're not necessarily betting for protection, but it's a little bit of you know, it's a little bit of equity protection. So what do you do with my pair of seven? Really, the only way to win that hand is to bet it. Seven, throw it over. Eight three. With the same suit. 
Oh, you I will tell you another uh, yeah, odd food that. thing that I do. I started this in I started this in high school, but now I make them. But I swear by this. See, okay, pasta with a one sauce is admittedly disgusting. Okay, it was a uh, um, a time in my life, a rough time in my life that I was going through. But I will tell you this: Have you ever had a cream cheese omelet? Actually, that's no, I haven't. But that sounds thirteen times. More acceptable than the A1 sauce on the cold, dry pasta. A cream cheese omelet. Not only is it acceptable, but it is delicious. And to the point where I am the omelet maker in our house, and our boys and my wife request cream cheese omelets. Well, that's impressive then. It's a you sold me. fluffy, cheesy goodness. It's, just, it's delicious. So, just gonna put that out there. If you've never had a cream cheese omelet, make yourself one. So Thank me later. What else besides the cream cheese and the eggs? Can I get a water? What else is key to your cream, yeah, che well, cream cheese omelet? That's just, just it. That's just, oh wow, that's pretty simple. It's just omelet. I'll do another couple of scoops of cream cheese in there. I didn't know you were doing some spices, some sour cream, some butter. Just cream cheese and omelet. Cream cheese and omelet. Uh, that's, that's pretty good. You've almost, but not. You've almost recovered from the A1. No, yeah, the A1 is, is disgusting. I'm not going to lie. You, bro. I a shot. Shot. You want a shot? I'll do one. I'll buy it. No, I don't want to buy one. I can jump on that one. No, with thank you. you. Okay, thank you. We're doing shots again. When was the last time you did a shot? You have one on. I'll do a... You know, I, I hardly ever drink anything besides right. wine, so it's been a lot. Because they always, every Friday night where I go to eat, they always have tequila shots right after, just one each. Hey. I never have one. It's been a long time. recall. Uh, you seem like a shot of beer guy. No, I, I like beer. Oh, yeah. Drink selection. I, uh, I, I will do a shot occasionally yeah, for a special occasion, yes. but I don't enjoy them anymore. <laughs> I don't want one. <laughs> 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 I <would> much prefer <laughs> just drink wine uh, and beer. I'm just, oh. if he has I can aces. have whiskey. I, I do like whiskey, though. Uh, close. You have to check now. It's bullshit. Tell him your drink. Fuzzy Navel. Or Sex on the Beach. Fuzzy Navel. Sex on the Beach. Fuzzy Navel. These are shots. Is my drink. Same thing. Fuzzy Navel, same. Fuzzy Navel, same. Welcome, same. welcome to 2021. No, oh, I want to stay in 2020. This is a little baby raise here. Raise to 40. Nate is going to three bet to 100 because he desperately wants the action. He's like, I want action. Please give me action. And he's going to get it. I gave you a white. <laughs> that was a, she was giving you that. You're slowing down the fucking game. game. I can't, his hands are over. Nice no Thank you. Thank you. Nate gets the action he wants. Pot is 240. Check, Nate. And he hit flops top set. Then he checks it back. Check, Nate. Kind of sounds like checkmate. Yeah, and you can just hear in Bearju's voice that he's checked out on this one already. But he's gonna, wow, well, wait a second. Does he call? Yeah, he does call. Check, Nate. <clears throat> kind of an odd check call by Bearju. On the turn? Yeah. Yeah, because I feel like when Nate three bets pre, that size, specifically that size, he went really small. He went 40 to 100. When he checks back the flop, he more likely actually has showdown value. You know what I mean? If he's, if he's on a complete bluff, he has nothing, why wouldn't he try to represent the king high? The king high. You know, when he checks back, he doesn't necessarily need a set of kings there, but he could have tens, he could have jacks, he could have something. He's got showdown value. So I have heart you know, ace high is just not likely the best hand there, ever. I did a thousand, buddy. That's why you, I mean, that's why you won $300 today playing this game out. 306, you son of a bitch. Jesus. Yeah. It would have been bigger. I hope I never see him again, It could have been 300. You know, sometimes if I win 306, I might just, you know. That six goes to the final dealer. Okay, so it would have been 300 then, but you walked away with 306, so you won 306 officially. Yeah. I think it was 309, and I think I tipped the dealer $3. 306, yeah, okay. Wow, Nate, I had eight high, Pat Duck's raising it up with sixes. <laughs> Got about 10 minutes left of tonight's show. No, 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 irrelevant. I just really thought you had shit. <laughs> 
Yeah, there were two plus draws, so I could have had a lot of different types of shit. Well, if you're not going to flop a set, this is not a bad flop for your sixes. So one and two. Hmm. Are you playing tomorrow? Well, actually, I'm going to ask for the lineup. No, it doesn't. Well, not a great turn for Fat Duck, but I don't think there's any reason for him to slow down. Uh, I think I'm first on the list. Yeah. No limit? Yep. He did slow well, down, the so they generally go against up, whatever you, you have say. A good chance of, um, oh, I thought you were already in the game, though. I'm in the game, well, yeah. So I'm saying you probably have a good chance of Somebody playing. in the chat Why? said, I want to see yeah. Tuckman and Norman Chad do a modern-day oh, rematch. of the, the odd Do they do the same game? Even if, do they do 10 no. to 20, 40 out here, and then drop them that's, down? I mean, no. No. Like, here they have the it game. It would never get made, and if it got it's made, nobody would watch it. But that's a... I'd love to do that. They're just started... Support your friends. I like that. Yeah, that's nice. But it was, you know, when I got here, it was already yeah. going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. five, I'm not sure which, five, uh, we, we have to change it. I don't think five, one of us is clearly five, Felix five, and one five, of us is clearly five, Oscar. Five, same game. So. Ernesto is suggesting that Three I would be man. Felix. You're four, and you, four, Oscar. Four, but I, I, I stand with you. I don't know. I don't know if which one's clear. It's not clear. Even though in this case again, Oscar was a sports writer. I am a career sports writer. But that's just a coincidence. So, as far as the, you know. The other parts of their personality, the gruff, dirty guy, the you know, prickly, clean as everything guy. We have no clear. We we we, we have no clear delineation there. We have to change the characters. So this is uh, again. We're doing this double straddle. <laughs> Darren has picked up King. It's a little, total. little spice. More. A little spice. Running out of time. It's 150 more? Yeah, the cool will be fine, but. Oh, he. John, So a raise from Darren. Nate's going to call. Bear Jew's going to call. Because he's got 69. And another, again, we see top set with Kings. I wanted to like hurt, but just the right amount of pain. Nate's going to take a shot at it. 255. You think this works, Norman? Well, of course it's not going to work. You only ask me questions that are clearly yes or no because I know nothing otherwise. <laughs> By the way, will you play? Somebody in the chat asked if you would play on the show. Right now, obviously, we only have PLO and No Limit Hold'em, but let's say we played a mixed games or we played Stud or something like that. Would you play? Yeah, I'd play anything. Yeah, yeah. I would not play No Limit Hold'em. Uh, I wouldn't play PLO that big. But yeah, I'd play everything else but No Limit Hold'em. I'd play on the show if we had something else. And the mix would be great. <laughs> I want to say hi and thank you to all of you who have donated to us uh, here in the YouTube chat. Uh, DQ, thank you very much. Very, very generous of you. Must be nice. Oh, just what am I doing with life? And of course, for all of you who have been here from the start, thank you so much. We are here Monday through Friday. If you ever miss a show, then uh, you can watch them later on at your leisure. They're all available for free on our YouTube channel. All that we ask you do is uh, hit the like button, subscribe, and share it with your friends. And if we ever got the eight-day week, which I was proposing years ago, a few hours ago, and that would be B's day, creating an eighth day, you could w miss all five shows, let's say if you're busy, and then you could, you could binge all five shows, five hours each, in one day, 25 hours, and that's B's day. That's the extra day you get. So that's the other benefit of an eighth day in a week. You can watch all five of these shows. Now, B's day would not be a work day, right? That would be like another, another weekend day. It's not a work day. It's a day off. You know, just thinking back, you know, you know, in the, 
I was going to raise on like half a lifetime ago in, in America. That was a six day work week was standard. It was a really big deal when they went to the five day work week. So now we're going to be talking about a, a, a five day work week and a three day weekend. Oh. Yeah, I, I see. I just spoke to my son about this because he he was uh, protesting the fact that he had five days of school and only two weekend days, and he thinks it should be four and three. And I, wow. I, I agree with him. Cool. That's that's a great thought on his part. Yeah. Yeah, once you get used to the, you know, some jobs actually have, you know, four 10-hour days, and, and people actually prefer it because it gives them, it's like, the weekend goes away so quickly if it's the other way, but uh, it's a 10-hour day is longer. But I love I mean, obviously, days. neither one of us have conventional jobs, but I would much prefer to work four days, a couple of hours extra each day, and then get an extra day off. I would have done that, too. I went to ESO. But now we're talking Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, B's Day, Saturday, Sunday. Spot, yeah. Baby! Fuck you. Fuck me, Just right? for knowing that. I finally speak up and it's some Bob bullshit. points out that being a chat pro is more than a full-time job. Good point, I Bob. <laughs> well, I mean, if you do it well, like you do, then it is a full-time job. Oh, the bluff. Oh, should have called you. I hit the river. Just a few hands left in tonight's action. We are back at it tomorrow. Again, it'll be me commentating solo. Suited Superman, Poker Traveler will be here. We're playing 10-20 with a $20 big blind ante tomorrow night. So did that. Of course, Friday, our big game. <laughs> I had diamonds still. Garrett, oh, you're Andy diamonds Stacks, yeah, Gob, will be fun, here. Yeah. I anticipate oh, somewhere in the neighborhood of three quarters of a million dollars to be on the table, so make sure you join us for that. Oh, and then, of course, Monday, in. it'll be the start yeah. of DGAF week. It'll be DGAF and Marley Cordero commentating on Monday. Marley will play all week next week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And then, of course, on Thursday's show, it's not a bump it'll be my partner in crime tonight, Norman Chad. You could pretend And yeah. his normal partner, Lon McCarran, commentating next Thursday. So make sure you tune into that one as well. The only crime here tonight is you confessing to A1 sauce on top of yeah. cold pasta. <clears throat> I would have thought that I would earn some credibility for being honest with you and, the, so. and our audience. Because this is something I didn't have to admit. I could have just kept this as, as a, a hidden disgrace sure. for the rest of my life. I could have died with it. But I came out and told everybody. Because I, I feel like honesty is the best policy. Fuck me last man. You're killing me all night. I, I, even though honesty is generally the best policy. Hey, keep laughing. You know what's the best policy? Don't get jacks when your opponent has aces. That's a good policy also. Just another way jacks lose. Really? Oh. Oh. Nine I'm a five. Good luck, sir. You know what? I guarantee I got the best hand. Well, if you're guaranteeing it, it's a pretty easy call. No guarantees? All right, I'm going to lay it down. Good bet. Wow. Good play down. Well, it's not a good lay down if he says he guarantees he's left to end. Night's over. We're even in 20 minutes. Can we do it? One more. I think it's all it is, buddy. Twice enough. Just fold the jacks to a three bet. Thank God. Where were you? I am somewhere. Don't worry, brother. Okay, where are you? Who's been nice to you? Anybody keep me? Everybody, my friend. Right. Right. That's a look. <laughs> All the way to, is that a feather on the right side of that hat? Yes. I don't know what it's I'm doing. Yeah. I thought he was going to wait, too. I'm sorry. Are we not doing that anymore? That's tremendous. 40. 40? Yeah. 40? No, I said I was there. I don't think you could call, call it off. Okay. Nice to see you. Hey, nice to see you. It was very little I could pull off. That's not on the short list. Get them all. No? Nothing? I just want to learn. Don't threaten us, Carmen. We'll, we'll be here for three days, so don't worry. We'll be back. I feel like the pocket jacks Ray code would have been more impressive right, if he did preempt it with oh, a, I knew I had the best well, hand. Well, actually, you're right, because actually, actually, actually when they say I know I have the best hand, that's usually when they fold, because they don't want to fold, but I know I had the best hand. But it would have been more impressive if he just right, went that said, bang, bang. I think you got aces. Oh, see, this is such an unfortunate turn of events for Fat Duck. So he picks up aces first jacks, where he really should make a ton of money. But instead of making any money on that, his, his opponent makes a tight laydown. Then he picks up queens when his opponent to his left picks up aces. That is a butterfly effect, I don't know what you want to call it, but a, a very tough couple of hands here. Now, 
That is a action clock. Don't think Fat Tuck's going to go anywhere just yet. He's getting a pretty good price. He's open ended. Yeah. But obviously yeah. aware of the fact that he can't beat Ace King. Oh. Hey Norman. Oh. Norman, what do you can't think? Can't beat Jacks. Can't beat Tens. Pot is eleven hundred dollars nearly. Check check. Now the spade gets there. Both players have a spade in their hands. Check. Three hundred. And now Antonius is going to go for some uh, some value. So he bets flop. Checks back turn, and now is going to go for value. No, no, no. If you guys no, enjoyed no. the show, please hit that no, like button. I we really do appreciate it. Fat Duck's going to pay him off. I know. Well played. Another, you know, relatively small pot considering we had Queen versus Aces. And I think that might be the last hand of the night. That is. So uh, we'll take a final chip count here. Rob with over 10K. Remember, the, the most you can buy in is three. Uh, there's your VPIP for Bear Jew. You, you, you hit the right number. You said it. You thought it was in the 60s. <laughs> Pretty insane. Uh, Bear Jew, also the most aggressive player at the table. Not surprising. <laughs> Went around. <laughs> and there's your winnings. Nate had a tough night. Bear Jew with a tough night as well. Mariano has been at 5400 for about three hours, $5,400 ahead. Yep. Uh, that is going to do it for us, Norman. Uh, thank you for joining us. It was uh, actually a, a deceptive pleasure, a surprising pleasure. Well, I, I think that's the best I can take. Yes. Anyway, we are back at it tomorrow, 5 p.m. Pacific time. For Norman Chad, for everybody here at Hustler Casino, I am David Tuckman. Goodbye and good night. <laughs>